check in, check in to any station. Call now. about a five and six five and seven here um, I guess um, I'm a little strong um, you're a little stronger to me good morning all right Howard I got two oh seven three eight as your e cars number I didn't hear you say that over uh, yes I did I'll say good morning hope everything is well and um, I'll be listening out here for a little while so uh speak to you soon, and I uh, hope uh, you have a good rest of the week. You as well, Howard, and I thank you for the check-in. Have a great day. That was November 2, Golf Oscar Tango. Howard, who is uh, in Brooklyn, New York. This is November 4, Hotel Charlie, Italy, looking for check-ins. Call now. Over. <laughs> Check-ins, any station, call now. November 2, Papa Hotel X-Ray. Check-ins, check-ins, any station, call now. November 2, Papa Hotel X-Ray. November 2, Papa, November uh, something, uh, come back over. November 2, Papa Hotel X-Ray. Uh, I'm getting the November 2, Papa part of that, but uh, I'm not getting the rest. Uh, come back. Free light. November 2, Papa Hotel X-Ray. 
to Papa Hotel Patrick. Papa Hotel, was it X-Ray? Over? Correct. PHX. Is this November 2, Papa Hotel X-Ray? John out of Tom's River, New Jersey? Over? Correct. That's me. You're correct, Bob. That's who it is, KB2NSA. Take care. Certainly, uh, I'll be changing net control operators here shortly, and I think you may have a better opportunity with my relief. That was an unrecognized call sign. This is November 4, Hotel Charlie, Italy. I'm looking for check-ins. Call now. Over. Kilo Delta 4, India Zulu. Kilo Delta 4, India something? Uh, Kilo Delta for India Zulu. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Jack? Come back. Uh, not bad at all. By the way, you had the last guy's call perfect. He's in Tom's River, New Jersey, um, and uh, I can verify that. You, you have several other callers, too, but apparently your uh, received conditions aren't the greatest. Over. Well, now, that is the understatement of the hour. Uh, that's that been pretty poor, Jack. You're coming in clear as a bell. And I'm at the end of my shift, uh, so I do need to pass this on to my relief, uh, which might be a little close for you. I don't know if you're going to hear, Paul. Anything else, Jack? Not at all. Just wanted to say good morning, and I usually can hear Paul. Uh, he is... Kind of ground wave for me because I'm up high and I can hear uh, people on the other side of the bay. Katie, four eyes said, "Take care. Have a great day." You as well, Jack. Thanks for the check-in. That was Kilo Delta Four India Zulu. Jack out of Parkton, Maryland. Kilo Three, Papa Golf. Are we going to do this? Paul, are you there? Over. Yeah, in four HCI. N4 HCI, K3 PG, K3 Papa Golf, you copy, Bob? Very weak copy, Paul, but do copy. Uh, you are number 37 for the day. Hope the band gets better. From my point of view, it's been pretty poor. But it's been busy, a lot of folks out there. You have a good shift. Uh, to everybody, we're changing net control operators, and Kilo 3 Papa Golf is the new net control. Paul, it's all yours. Okay, Bob, real good. And 4 hci K3, PG. And uh, I'm trying to get my logger going, so give me just a minute, and uh, we'll start taking check-ins here. Uh, but this is ECARS, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. That control for this hour will be Kilowatt 3, Papa Golf, K3, PG. For uh, I said good morning, Paul. Uh, hope all is well over there. Yeah, yeah, it's going good. Uh, KD four I Z. I'm trying to get my uh, uh, my logbook uh, going here, and uh, I can't figure out uh, uh, something's changed in this program, and it's messing me up here. So uh, uh, let's see. Maybe this will work here. Uh, no, uh, that didn't do it either. So, uh, well, how are you doing up there? And uh, uh, how's the band sounding where you are? KD4IZ, K3PG. Well, I'm doing great. Um, really upset about the uh, collapse of the, Fre uh, the uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge uh, last night. Uh, that That is going to uh, create a major traffic issue down in Baltimore City. Uh, we're up here in the country right near the Pennsylvania state line. So uh, 
other than uh, having all the emergency service folks on alert, I don't think it's going to have much of an impact here, but uh, to have that major part of 695 uh, knocked out, that's a, that's a mess, Paul. Over. Yeah, that's for sure, and uh, the uh, uh, I have no idea how that happened. I just heard Ray uh, uh, mention it a few minutes ago. I hadn't heard it at all uh, on the news or anything, so, uh, 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 and uh, I hope, uh, uh, it, 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 what did the news say, and uh, did anybody die driving on the bridge, and it's going to be a major uh a major thing for uh, the shipping channel. Yeah, Roger. Well, basically what happened is a container ship was leaving the port, apparently, and uh, this is not fully confirmed, but apparently it momentarily lost power and veered into one of the major span uh, abutments, hit that, and the bridge collapsed, and the pieces of the bridge are sitting across the bow of the container ship. Other pieces are in the water. Uh, they are, uh, they, they rescued two people, uh, one critically injured and taken to shock trauma. Um, the, uh, the crews that are out there and everybody, all emergency services have been activated, uh, that they're out there searching. They think there's several vehicles underwater, and uh, you know they've got a, one of those search drones, the, the, uh, the submersible uh, drones uh, down under there, and uh, I guess they're going to try to do as much salvage as they can as quickly as they can. Uh, but with that bridge being out, that's going to be a mess, and of course it's going to block the shipping channel. So uh, nobody's getting in and out of Baltimore Harbor for a while. Eighty four eyes at Yeah, that sounds uh uh that sounds really terrible. That sounds really bad. So uh uh what what time did that happen? Uh, it must have been uh must have been after I turned the T V off last night. Do you know what time that happened? Yeah, they reported it happening about one thirty. And several of the uh, security monitor uh, cameras uh, caught the entire incident on uh, on, and so you know the 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 big news services are all spooling that uh, spooling that uh, video. Uh, it's pretty spectacular and uh, very very sad. I'm uh, I'm hoping they're able to. Uh, figure out what all was going on. I know there was a construction crew on the bridge at the time working on patching uh, parts of the, uh, the pavement. And uh, there was a, at least one uh, tractor trailer rig and several cars. Uh, they could be uh, searching for up to 20 people. Uh, beyond the two that, that they recovered and uh, were able to rescue. But uh, the water is uh, very cold and it's murky. And uh, of course, that's going to cause uh, a, a great deal of trouble, too. Anyway, sorry to be the, uh, the, the bringer of uh, pretty terrible news this morning, but I'm, I'm watching that. Our. Uh, EOC group was supposed to activate tonight the uh, the ACS team and do a drill and I have a feeling that the uh, Baltimore County EOC is going to be uh, pretty busy so we're probably not going to be able to meet ever. Yeah, Roger that. I imagine so. Uh, I imagine so. Well, I, thanks for the uh, uh, for the update there. And uh, I still don't have my log uh, uh, program working, so uh, and I can't remember your name. Give me your name and uh, QTH. I'm just going to log manually till I get this thing going again. Over. Okay, not a problem. Uh, the name is Jack. I'm one of the uh, net controls tomorrow at 11 o'clock, and I am in. Uh, well, the. the <laughs> The FCC says I'm at my mailing address, which is Parkton, Maryland, 
Uh, I'm actually five miles west uh, as crow flies. Uh, as far west as you can get and still be in Parkton, according to the post office. Uh, I'm really in Upper Co, Maryland, and it's kind of halfway between Hampstead and Hereford, if you know where those are, Paul. Yeah, Roger, yeah, we uh, we had some friends that used to live in, uh, in Hampstead, and uh, uh, so Upper Co, and I've driven over there from the eastern shore a number of times. So uh, I know kind of where you are, Jack. And uh, uh, well, I didn't hear this until uh, until uh, Ray uh, 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 Ray mentioned it. So uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I guess he heard it this morning, and uh, that's that's just that's a terrible uh, terrible tragedy, and uh, it sounds like. Uh, loss of life that, and some that hasn't been uh, uh, confirmed yet. So that sounds really bad. I, I can't even imagine that, uh, Jack. But uh, uh, thanks for coming on and uh, talking about it. And uh, we'll, uh, I'm going to start uh, taking some check-ins here, and uh, uh, we'll see who else is out there, Jack. So thanks for coming on, and uh, uh, I'll listen up for you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you, Paul. And by the way, if, if you hear mobile stations that are bound north and south on 95, tell them to take the west loop around Baltimore or try to go through one of the two tunnels because uh, the bridge is going to be, that, that whole area is going to be closed. So uh, that's a, a real mess. It's all the way from Brunning Highway uh, north past Sparrows Point. Uh, all those highways are closed up there right now for uh, emergency access. Anyway, uh, thought I'd help out uh, anybody that uh, is planning on traveling that way. And uh, I thought I'd go ahead and get out of your way so you can run the net this morning and have a normal, uh, slightly more cheery than that day. Over. Yeah, okay, uh, Jack, real good. Well, thanks for checking in, and uh, it's good to hear you. And uh, we will uh, uh, catch you next time. Uh, so we're clear with KD4IZ, and this is eCars, the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. That control this hour is Kilowatt 3, Papa Golf, K3PG. We're looking for check-ins. Anybody I can hear, call now. November Alpha 1 X-Ray. November 3, Victor Echo Tango. Mobile. Papa. United Illinois. Oscar Bravo, Victor. Whiskey Bravo 3, Italy, Quebec, Juliet. Okay, uh, I didn't get too many, but I got uh, one X-ray. I got a W-2. I got Romeo, Romeo, Papa, Oscar Bravo, Victor, and uh, IQJ, I think. So uh, let's see if we can uh, make something out of these. Uh, one X-ray, one X-ray. Good morning. Oh, good morning, Paul. Good morning to you. Call is November Alpha 1 X-ray. NA1X, the name is Joe Juliet Oscar Echo, located here in Agawam, Massachusetts. And I have an E-Cars number of 10099. Good morning, Paul. Yeah, real good, Joe. Good to hear you today. And uh, I'm having a terrible time with my logger. I can't get my... Uh, my logger to, to uh, function correctly, so I'm just writing stuff down and uh, trying to remember. So, uh, how are you doing today, uh, Joe, and uh, what do you got for us? Over. Oh, we're doing okay, Paul, except that the uh, band conditions are not very good. It's very poor up in this end, and a lot of static, a lot of uh, electrical noises, and all kinds of things going on here. Other than that, we're doing just fine, and it's nice to hear you. Nice to hear you. Over. Yeah, okay, uh, Joe, real good. Well, the uh, uh, let's see, the A index yesterday was 64, and I've never seen it uh, that high. Uh, since I've been uh, following the uh, A index, which I don't every day, but I look at it, now it's down to 22, which is still bad. Hey, Joe, thanks for being there. It's good to hear your voice. NA1X, K3PG, anything else, Joe? 
Yeah, I can't hear anything anymore. That, that's how bad it is up here. Seven three, Paul. Take care. Have a good day. N A one X, and I'll be clear. Okay, Joe. Seventy three. Okay. Uh, next up, there was a W two a station. Uh, w two. Your full call, please. Whiskey two, Foxtrot, Whiskey Mike. Whiskey two, Foxtrot, Whiskey Mike. Uh, good morning. Good morning, e car. This is Whiskey Two, Foxtrot, Whiskey Mike. Frank, I'm located here in Tom's River, New Jersey. 42 degrees. Wind is whipping as usual. And my e car number is 21219. Is that a Roger? Yeah, 21219. Uh, real good, Frank. You're coming in pretty good from Tom's River today. And uh, I guess you've heard the news and. Uh, uh, just, uh, uh, man, that, that's, uh, that's hard to believe, that bridge catastrophe. It's just, that's unbelievable to me, uh, Frank, over. Yeah, I hear you. Well, that's because we're not taking care of our infrastructure. I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, it's a, ter a terrible tragedy, and uh, something like that isn't going to be fixed overnight, that's for sure. And uh, uh, lots of people, uh, uh, well, they're probably lucky it happened at 1 o'clock in the morning, but uh, 20 cars, uh, I think the one guy said there might be 20 cars off the bridge and crews working, and uh, it just sounds terrible. Well, anyway, Frank, uh, thanks for checking in. Let me pick up some these other people and uh, have a great day in Tom's River, okay? Roger that. Thanks for picking me up. 73 and back to the net. Okay, real good, Frank. Okay, next up I had a station with uh, uh, Romeo Romeo, and that's got to be my buddy Ray down the street. Uh, Ray, uh, uh, I just heard that uh, when you mentioned it on eCars, so good morning to you. Good morning, Paul and the rest of the net. This is Kilo 3, Romeo, Romeo, Papa, Ray over here in uh, Centerville, Maryland on the eastern shore. Uh, E-cars number 30563 for the roster. And yeah, unfortunately it's, it's true. And, uh, it was certainly surprising, uh, to me this morning to hear that news while I woke up. Uh, I'm sitting here looking at a video on YouTube right now from the uh, closed circuit, uh, television monitoring the bridge uh, overnight and you can actually see the container ship strike the bridge and see the bridge fall down and there are cars going off of it into the water i don't know how how many or have any idea but uh it's uh let me let that repeater there in the background to hush up for a second but anyhow it's uh, quite a catastrophe that's for sure and uh, my thoughts and prayers are with those people who have been uh, uh, injured or lost. And, uh, uh, yeah, and it's not even just part of the bridge. It's, it is the whole entire bridge is down uh, from shore to shore, uh, all the way across the Patapsco River there. Um, you know, that's the bridge that we always see uh, going in and out of the harbor on the cruise ships uh, that, you know, they barely clear it uh, height-wise. And... Uh, you know, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it, Special K and I were scheduled to go out of there on a cruise in three weeks. And uh, I bet you my bottom dollar that that one's going to be uh, canceled, over. Yeah, it'll be canceled or uh, they're going to load it up somewhere else. Yeah, that's a possibility. If they do that, I'm not sure that we'll go. But, uh, yeah, that's part of the the um, uh, attraction for us is being able to go in and out of Baltimore because it's very convenient for us. But, uh, yeah, it's just, just unimaginable what I'm seeing here on this video. Over. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine it. Uh, that's, that's for sure. And, uh, I just, uh, uh, I just can't believe the whole thing would come down. But, uh, you know, that's the way those are made, I guess. So, uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, that's just un unbelievable. I can't even believe it, right? Yeah, Roger that. Uh, I studied uh, engineering for a while when I was in college, and uh, we used to study different bridge collapses and things like that. The uh, world-famous Tacoma Narrows bridge collapse, I can remember seeing that film over and over and over, and I was just mesmerized by that. 
But uh, this thing, the ship, uh, there's a YouTube channel called What's Going On With Shipping, and I highly recommend it. The guy on there is very knowledgeable. He's a retired uh, uh, Navy guy and also a merchant mariner and uh, does analysis of different things going on with shipping. And he's uh, analyzing this uh, video that I'm looking at. You can see the ship approaching the bridge, and then all of a sudden it loses power. All the All the lights on the ship go out. And uh, it starts drifting around in the channel, and then all of a sudden the power comes back on briefly, and then you see it strike one of the pilings on the bridge. And when it hits that piling, it, it the whole thing just buckles like a, a, a row of dominoes over. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Uh, well, I've seen. Uh, oh, I've seen. There's some uh, 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 TV uh, series on uh, modern marvels or something that has uh, that has that, and uh, just uh, uh, you know, uh, unbelievable, unbelievable. So, uh, oh boy. Uh, well, that's something. Well, thanks for coming in, and uh, I'm not sure. Thanks, but uh, I heard it first on eCars, so uh, that's that's something anyway. Well, thanks for being there, Ray, right along with me, and uh, I'm still tr struggling with my logger. I, the logger opens, but I can't get it to uh, uh, work right for me for some reason, so I'm still kind of struggling with that. So uh, let me sign with you, and we'll pick up the next station, okay, Ray? Roger that, Paul. I'll be sitting here listening. If all else fails, control alt delete. K three Papa Golf. K three R R P. Yep. Believe it or not, I've already uh, <laughs> I've already been I'm already past control alt delete, which I haven't done in years. So uh, anyway, uh, it did it did uh, kind of lock up. Uh, and uh, okay, well, uh, uh, real good, uh, uh, real good. And let's see, uh, here we uh, maybe I can try this, uh, database manager. Uh, maybe that, maybe that'll work. Uh, let's see if that works. No, uh, that's not doing it either. Anyway, uh, thanks, Ray. K3 RP clear with you. Next up, Oscar Bravo Victor. Oscar Bravo Victor, good morning. K3, K3PG, Paul, this is N8OBV, Monty here in Lansing, Michigan. Well, we got 46 degrees and cloudy this morning in Lansing, and it looks like we're going to about 55 degrees in rain this afternoon. Uh, but I'm not hearing you real well with today there, Paul, but I'm still pulling you out pretty good. Back to you, N8OBV. Yeah, okay, uh, real good, uh, Monty. Uh, it's good to hear you. Uh, and, uh, uh, you're about a S7, uh, you're about a S7, uh, today, uh, Monty. Uh, so, uh, I got you pretty good. And, uh, from, uh, Lansing, Michigan. Let's see how far away that is. Uh, you're about, uh, uh, let's see, uh, if I can find it. No, I can't, I can't find it here for some reason. Anyway, uh, th here it is, distance, 510 miles. Uh, so you're making the trip, Monty, and, uh, I'm gonna give you a 5 by 7 but it's not as good as, uh, sometimes. N8, OBV, thanks for checking in, Monty. Yeah, thank you, Paul. Yeah, I'm, uh, thinking, uh, you're, you're about 9 over 7 here. Yeah, but uh, it comes in and out like like always. But uh, back back to you, and we'll catch you later. Okay, uh, Monty, real good. Thanks for checking in. And uh, we've got uh, uh, let's see, we got uh, uh, oh oh here we go. Uh, let's see, I finally got it. I think. Uh, I finally got it to open the uh, database uh, so I can get you in there. N-A-O-B-V, really distracted trying to do this, Monty, but thanks for checking in, and uh, we got you in the logbook. And uh, next up, we got IQJ. Let's see if I can figure out who that is. IQJ, and uh, let's see, that's got to be... Uh, uh, WB3 IQJ, uh, Don, is that right? Yeah, good morning, Paul and everybody on the net, WB3 IQJ here. 
Just uh, wanted to jump in this morning, say good morning. I missed yesterday. Uh, spent some time in the hospital, so I got that squared away and got home yesterday, uh, really last evening, so we're good to go. 42 degrees this morning. It's come up a little bit, and I think we're supposed to get up into the 50s, and sorry to hear about that tragedy with the bridge. So, and like everyone else, my prayers and thoughts go out to those people who are involved with that, uh, everybody involved. So, anyhow, Paul, a nice signal this morning. You're 20 over. And I'm not going to hold it. I know you got a long list there. So, K3PG, WB3IQJ, back to you, my friend. Yeah, okay. Uh, real good, Don. And uh, congratulations on uh, getting home. I uh, hope you weren't in the hospital too long there, uh, Don. And thanks for checking into eCars. And uh, we'll catch you next time, okay? Roger, Roger, Paul. You have a blessed day. WB3IQJ, clear. Okay, uh, 73 is done. And, uh, okay, that's the end of that list. And, uh, I got my uh, logger going uh, finally, so uh, let's see, we can catch up a little bit and uh, take another list. So this is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, looking for check-ins. Anybody I can hear, call now and spread them out a bit. November 1, United Call November. K9's led you. Lima Delta Bravo. November 1, Fox Spot, Golf November. Okay, I got FGN, I got 9ZU, Lima Delta Bravo, anybody else? United Delta Whiskey. Uh, was that Delta Whiskey? United Delta Whiskey, USL. Okay, I'm still not sure, but I got Delta Whiskey. Okay, uh, Leroy, uh, FGN, good morning. Good morning, uh... There, and uh, this is Leroy up in West Southfield, Connecticut, 1814 on the Ross of her life. we got a bright, sunny morning here, this, and uh, we have a temperature here of 42 degrees. Over. Yeah, okay, uh, Leroy, real good. Uh, uh, we got, I don't know what it is now, I should have asked Ray, uh, but it was 37 earlier going to 51. And uh, you're a little light, but not too bad, uh, Leroy. So I uh, uh, got 42 degrees from you, and uh, I hope you have a good day. And uh, uh, I guess you heard the heard the bad news about the bridge there, uh, Leroy. Over. Yeah, it was so. I certainly did. 42. Hear, and I I heard Ray there, and I heard Monty, and I heard uh, Don this morning. They came in pretty good there. Uh, over. Yeah, okay, Leroy, real good. And uh, Ray said it's 42 here also, so uh, same uh, same temperature, uh, same temperature there, uh, Leroy. So uh, uh, thanks for checking in, and uh, we will look for you later, Leroy. Uh, Roger that. And then when and NA1X was on there, and he was a 15 over the day. Right, he was only seven miles away from me uh, there, over, over Paul. Yeah, okay, well, the, the propagation's a little uh, uh, weird with what the sun's doing, that's for sure, but uh, uh, I'm hearing uh, people uh, uh, a little bit lighter, but uh, mostly I'm hearing people, uh, and the noise level's not too terrible uh, for me. Anyway, uh, let's see, George, uh, 9ZU, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Paul. Uh, three things come to mind this morning. I probably won't be sailing to the Inner Harbor for a while. Uh, I don't know why they didn't put a couple of tugs out there with boats leaving the uh, dock like that. And um, uh, let's see, what was the third one? <laughs> oh, well, canines led you. Yeah, real good, real good, George. Well, I tell you, I've uh, I've thought about uh, that, you know, going over the uh, uh, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge with uh, big boats uh, up there and uh, being close and that kind of thing. And uh, you know, I've thought about it driving, uh, uh, being in a car and uh, looking down and seeing the uh, uh, seeing the uh, container ships going underneath the bridge. Uh, uh, and I've, I travel some on the Key Bridge, but most of my traveling has been on, uh, the Bay Bridge. And, uh, we go over to, uh, uh, you know, my, my wife is, uh, from, uh, Baltimore and, uh, she, she kind of grew up in, uh, uh, in that area serviced by the, uh, Key Bridge. So, uh, we go over there to visit, uh, uh, and that's about the only time I've used it recently. But 
as a sailor, it makes you think about it, doesn't it, George? Oh, yeah. I mean, that, the fact that they had two pilots on board and their electrical system supposedly failed. Who knows what actually happened? It still could have been sabotage, but it's uh, probably not too likely. Uh, I actually knew somebody that was connected to the Maersk family when I was in Denmark briefly, but uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, real good. Well, it was a long time ago for, for all of us. Well, for me, it was anyway, that's for sure. Uh, okay, uh, George, thanks for being there. Good to hear you today. Have a good day. Thanks for checking in the cars, buddy. All right, Paul. Hang in there. 73, K9ZU. Okay, uh, talk to you later, George. Uh, let's see, K9ZU, we got you. Next up, Lima Delta Bravo out in the clay mill. Uh, how you doing, Jim? Good morning, Paul, and everybody else, everybody else within the sound of my voice. The call here is Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. Jim here at the clay mill this morning. Well, we got 49 degrees, Paul, dreary, a little drizzling rain. Got about a quarter of an inch overnight. And yes, that was a terrible tragedy about that, uh, uh that container ship hitting that bridge. Uh, uh, George's opinion, they should have had some, uh, tugs escorting that thing out or something. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, they'll get her square, uh, sorted out, I guess. But, uh, just terrible loss of life. But anyway, Paul, how, how you doing this morning? Over. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And you're coming in your S9 over here, uh, uh, Jim. And, uh, yep, things are going good. We've been enjoying, uh, uh, the sunshiny weather for the last couple of days. But, uh, uh, you're in the, you're at the, uh, uh, you're in that next, uh, weather thing we're going to get in a, in a day or two here. That's going to come this way. Uh, that's for sure, but it, we're enjoying springtime, uh, Jim. Everything's all, uh, springed up with green and, uh, people are starting to cut their lawns and, uh, uh all the flowers are up and, uh, uh, I feel like we live through the winter again. Uh, that's what it's looking like on the eastern shore, Jim. Over. Roger that, Paul. It sounds like a beautiful day over there. Anyway, I'd like to say hello to George and Bob out there, the voice of Fort Wayne, and Leroy and Ray. And uh, if I missed anybody else, uh, forgive me because I'm 74 years old and I can't hardly remember what I ate for breakfast, over. Yeah, real good. Well, you're a year ahead of me, uh, uh, and uh, it's it's going down uh it's going down fast, faster and faster, I hate to say it, Jim, but I know what you mean. Hey, 73, Jim, thanks for being there. Roger that, 73, Paul. Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo, I'll be listening. Okay, real good, and uh, clear with LDB out the clay mill, and I had one more, I had a, uh, I think it was a Delta Whiskey, uh, station with Delta Whiskey, good morning. Good morning, Paul. Whiskey Bravo 9, United Delta Whiskey. Bob in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and hello to you, Jim. Ah, 9073 for life, Paul. And uh, a rainy uh, overnight, and it's uh, going to be rainy today, thunderstorms and all that good stuff. Uh, everybody's talking about the bridge collapse. I always go on the Bay Bridge, but, man, I can't even imagine... Being uh, in a car on that bridge when that bridge collapsed, that had to be uh, a shock, not knowing even what was going on. Anyway, we'll have to pray for those folks, and hopefully uh, hopefully we don't have any loss of life. Gosh, we hope not anyway. Paul, how tough it be? You're tough. About 5x7, five 5x8, by seven, five by Fort Wayne. Yeah, okay, uh, real good. Uh, real good. And, uh, you're about, uh, you're about the same. Uh, so, uh, you're about the same, uh, Bob. You're coming in pretty Q5 band. So there's some QSB on the band that's going up and down. But, uh, it's, and the, uh, A index was 64 yesterday, which I've never even seen. And, uh, uh, I, I was hoping, uh, uh, we could be talking about Aurora in Alabama or something like something like that instead of the Bay Bridge collapse. Uh, anyway, uh, that's what we got, Bob. Thanks for being there. WB9, UDW, K3, PG. Anything else? Uh, no, sir, Paul. You have a great day and a good Easter. Uh, God bless. Thanks for rounding that. WB9, UDW, 7-3 all. Ken over, Clay Mill. Uh, okay, uh, who is...
Who's that? I just give him a signal report, Paul. Kilo Echo 8, Lima Delta Bravo. 10 over to Clay Mill, Bob. Hey, hey, Jim. Hey, there you go. Let's see if we get another little list going here. That's that list. So, uh, this is ECARS, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. That control this tower, Kilowatt 3, Papa Golf, K3, PG. Looking for check ins. Anybody I can hear, call now and spread them out a bit. Kilo watch only one, Mike Romeo. Kilo Delta Foxtrot. Romeo Foxtrot Kilo. Delta Zulu. Okay, I got Mike Romeo, Zulu Delta Foxtrot, RFK. Anybody else? Juliet, Sierra Lima. Sierra Lima, another one? Okay, uh, let's try these four. Uh, MR, ZDF, RFK, and Sierra Lima. Uh, Beantown Ray, good morning. Good morning. The band's way down this morning, and I guess you're right when you say it's, it's uh, Aurora or something. I don't know, Paul, but you're not even a nine this morning. That's unusual. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, that's, uh, band conditions, uh, are, uh, poor, uh, with the, uh, What's going on uh, with the solar weather, I think, uh, Ray? How are you doing? You're coming in well. Oh, yeah. You, you're getting a 5'8", which is way low for you. And uh, I'm doing fine. Had my breakfast, feeling super. So how are you doing today, Paul? Yeah, you're uh, at your, right then. You're solid at uh, 5 over 9. Uh, uh, one red bar over 9, uh, Ray. So uh, sometimes you're stronger. But, yeah, we're doing good. Got up, uh, had some breakfast, got a cup of coffee, uh, started up e-cars and heard the bridge news. And uh, um, just trying to process that. Uh, but we have a good uh, day down here. Uh, and... Uh, uh, things are gonna, things are gonna be okay in my house, uh, that's for sure, Ray. I hope they are for you too. Yeah, you came up to a five and nine that time. And, uh, yeah, I think my wife's heading to Florida for four days to visit my old, our oldest son. So she's gonna have a ball and I'm gonna be in the rain, too, so. Yeah, okay, uh, and uh, she's leaving you at home uh, without supervision, Ray? I know, she trusts me, isn't that great? Yeah, okay, well, uh, keep checking in the e-cars, and uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on, on you for her, uh, Ray. Hey, thanks for being there today. It's sounding good, and you were up uh, up a little bit last time, too. So uh, the band's going to fix itself. The ionosphere isn't going away, uh, Ray. Thanks for the check. Very good. Yeah, well, I got the cat. He takes care of me. If I do anything wrong, he sneers. Have a good day, 73 is KC1MR. Okay, Ray, real good. Uh, clear with KC1MR. Next up, we got a uh, uh, Zulu Delta Foxtrot, and that's going to be uh, uh, W3 Zulu Delta Foxtrot. Uh, John, good morning. Hey, good morning, Paul. Boy, got a nice signal here. You're peaking 10, 15 over and, uh, 30241. We got a little bit of sun out. Them clouds are supposed to rain, I guess. And, uh, like I said, you got a nice signal here today. How do you copy? W3 zebras don't fly. Yeah, W3 zebras don't fly. Uh, real good. Uh, real good there, uh, John and Jeanette, Pennsylvania, 209, um, uh, miles, and, uh, got you, and let's see, uh, when I got, last time I worked here was, uh, back in the fall, uh, uh, in, uh, so, uh, hope you got through the winter okay there, uh, John, it's sounding good down here, and, uh, wh what are you running, what's your antenna today, uh, John, over? I'm running a real old Yesu FT-1000, and the antenna is an HT-18 high tower. QSL? Yeah, okay, on the FT-1000 and uh, the high tower, so uh, real good. Yeah, I got two... Uh I got two FT-1000s here in, in my house. I'm not using either one of them. I got a I got a FT-1000D and I got a FT-1000MP uh, Mark V. 
And uh, right now, though, I'm on a 991, and uh, I've got a uh, uh, off-center fed inverted V uh, at 30 feet in the backyard. Uh, and uh, you're coming in good, John. Thanks for being there, and uh, we'll look for you next time on eCars, okay? Okay, Paul, have a good day and stay safe. W3, ZDF clear. Thank you. Okay, uh, real good, John. Thanks for uh, checking in. Good signal, too. And uh, next up, we got uh, uh, Radio Foxtrot Kilo. That's uh, Ken in uh, Archdale, North Carolina. How you doing, Ken? K3PG, this is Whiskey Bravo 2, Romeo Foxtrot Kilo. Ken in Archdale, North Carolina, where it's cloudy. It's supposed to get rain this afternoon, Paul. Uh, but outside of that, everything going good. A little on the cool side. It uh, started out at about 40, and we're close to up to 61. So I'm going to stay on the warm side of the door and play radio and then go on and work on my uh, puzzle on the back porch. Yeah, okay, uh, Ken, real good, uh, real good. Well, have you, start, have you started mowing down there yet? Are, are you starting to mow your grass yet down there, Ken, over? Ah, uh, you're right, my noise level on that, Paul. I, I, I couldn't get it, but uh, uh, I got uh, two dogs here, and Thomasville Buses is going like like, uh, like a house of fire over there, and uh, everything going pretty good, Paul. Is the second thing here? Is the second thing here? Is November 8th here? All right, okay. Second thing here. And the frequency is in use, over. Okay, uh, okay, uh, Ken, I got you. Uh, you're kind of in and out, though. Uh, WB2RFK with two dogs. Uh, okay, thanks for checking in, Ken. In Archdale, 307 miles, and uh, you're kind of late today, but I got you in the logbook, and thanks for being there. WB2RFK, K3PG. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Paul. Have a good day, and I uh, hope to catch you more often. Okay, uh, same to you, Ken, and uh, give those two dogs a pet for me. And uh, next up, we got a Sierra Lima, Sierra Lima Station. Uh, your full call, please. Yeah, Kilo, Bravo, 9, Juliet, Sierra, Lima, Clarence, over in Dunry, Indiana. Okay, uh, KB9, Juliet, Sierra, Lima, uh, Clarence in uh, uh, Dunruth, uh, Indiana, uh, and uh, real good, uh, Clarence. I got you in the logbook a few times. Let's see if I can find any uh, notes on you here. Uh, and uh, otherwise, you're going to have to tell me uh, about your uh, station. Uh, but oh, here's one. I got a uh, uh, let's see, a nine one zero six for an e cars number. Uh, running a uh, an ICOM seven zero six and a and an NFED one hundred and thirty two fit NFED. So uh, back to you, Clarence, and uh, thanks for being there today. Uh, KB nine JSL K three PG. Go ahead. JSL, yeah, you got her all there, one hundred percent. Kind of a rough coffee this morning there, so we'll get out of here. Thanks for taking up. Have a great day. Great day there. Seven degrees. Kilo. Bravo. Nice. Juliet. Sierra Lima. Thanks for that. Okay, uh, real good, Clarence. Q5, about a S6. About a S6, and it's, it's, uh, the band's a little, uh, the band's a little rough, but, uh, you're coming through well, so, I uh, got good copy on you. Thanks for checking in, and, uh, we'll catch you next time, Clarence. KB9JSL. Okay, we're clear with KB9JSL, and uh, let's see, that's the end of that little short list, so let's take another one. This is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. Net control this hour is Kilowatt 3, Pop Up Golf, K3PG. We're looking for check ins. Anybody I can hear, call now and spread them out a bit. Kilo 3, Dango Charlie, uniform. Mike Romeo, MR. Okay, I got two. I got Tango, question mark, uniform, and Mike Romeo. So, uh, Tango, question mark, uniform, uh, your full call, please. Hey, good morning, Paul. Uh, Kilo 3, Tango, Charlie, uniform, Gary, up here in Seneca, Pennsylvania, 3145. Good to hear you, Paul. Over. Yeah, okay, Gary, real good, 3145. 
Uh, I got your number uh, in uh, Seneca, 251 miles. And uh, let's see, I got you uh, only. Uh, uh, so uh, it's good to hear you, Gary. And uh, I haven't worked you for a while. So uh, uh, how are you doing? And uh, what's up with you these days, uh, Gary? Over. Yeah, well, good, Paul. Good to talk to you too. I follow you around on your ventures all over the all over the country and <laughs> enjoy keeping tabs with you. Uh, not much up here. Uh, I work uh, a lot of CW anymore, so I'm not on uh, on sideband too much. Uh, but anyway, uh, running a 7610 here at about uh, oh, I'm about 350. Uh, into a Novacraft KTA 500, but um, I heard you talking about your uh, uh, FD 1000s there. I've got a 1000D here that I used for years, and, and it finally uh, uh, quit outputting, so uh, I can't get any output on the uh, on the radio. But uh, put it in the box, put it back in the closet. Boy, I'd love to uh, love to get into that thing, get it fixed. Uh, I sure love that uh, FD series. Over. Yeah, re really. Well, I had uh, uh, I switched. To, I used to be, you know, have all ICOMs for years. But this was back in the '80s, and uh, somewhere I switched over to Yasus, and uh, I got a nine a nine ninety, and uh, then I got another nine ninety, and then I started selling the nine nineties and getting uh, one thousand. So. Uh, uh, and I've got one uh, that I used. The, the power supply for my Mark V died. Uh, the Mark V has has an external power supply that's got, uh, uh, I think, 48 volts and 12 volts, and it died. So uh, uh, I'm still waiting on getting that fixed, and uh, I've had shipping issues getting it shipped, uh, getting it out to uh, be try to be repaired. And then I got... Uh, uh, I just put the 991 on, as, which was my two meter rig, really, and I've been using that. But uh, real good on the uh, the CW. Well, I, I still make an occasional CW contact, and uh, uh, sometimes it's nice not to listen to uh, not to listen to the people uh, uh, talking and all, and uh, so many lids, especially uh, for contests there, uh, Gary. And I haven't even done that, but I used to really enjoy uh, CW uh, contests. Uh, uh, DX and uh, QRP. Anyway, it's good to hear you. I haven't had you in the logbook for years, Gary, so uh, thanks for checking in with us, and uh, have a nice day up there in uh, Seneca, okay? Okay, sure will. Good to hear you too, Paul. Thanks, Gary. Enjoy your travel from the and I'll keep my eye on you. And uh, good morning, uh, KC1MR. K3CCU, uh, 73. Yeah, okay, uh, real good. Uh, real good, and uh, we're clear with Gary K3 TCU, and uh, next up we got a Mike Romeo, and uh, I think that might be uh, uh, Dave down there. The uh, I think that's uh, I don't think that's Ray because I already worked Ray. Uh, Mike Romeo, good morning. Well, hey, greetings from North Carolina. This is November Delta Four. Mike Romeo in Wilkesboro, Wilkesboro NC. And, uh, yep, after a few days of perfectly beautiful spring weather, it looks like we have several days of rain lined up. So I suppose we deserve it, you know. And uh, Anyway, member number is 4260. It's currently solidly overcast, not raining at this time, and it is, I'm looking, looking 49 degrees. How's that? Uh, thanks for being our net control guy from ND4MR. Yeah, real good, Dave, and uh, good to hear you. I like when I can work both. Uh, I call it working both of the Mike Romeos. <laughs> anyway, uh, we, uh, Ray said we had 42 degrees here, and uh, it's uh, light overcast, uh, so it's kind of bright out, but it's really overcast, so we'll call that uh, bright overcast, uh, Dave. We'll have a good day down there in North Carolina. We're going to, I think, our next trip, we're going to be headed out to uh, North and South Carolina. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm always looking forward to that. But we're home. Uh, we, we came home. We went down south for February, and uh, 
Uh, I think uh, in April we're going to take off again and uh, go to North and South Carolina or something like that. I'm not the travel coordinator. I'm just the driver and uh, uh, and sometimes the cook, uh, Dave. Hey, thanks for being there. ND4MR, K3PG. Anything else, Dave? Nope, that covers it. Uh, as they say in California, have a nice day <clears throat> from ND4MR. Real good, Dave, real good. Uh, five by seven, good copy. Signals are down a little bit uh, today, but that's the way it is. Okay, let's see who else is out there. This is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. The control this hour, Kilowatt 3, Papa Golf, K3PG, looking for check-ins. November 2, Zulu Golf, November. Kilowatt Charlie 8, Sierra Delta Lima. Uh, I think I heard a golf November, uh, golf November, uh, try it again. November 2, Zulu Golf November. Uh, but boy, you're just really light, uh, really life, uh, November, uh, uh, November something golf November, no, uh, November something golf November, uh, try it again, over. Hey, Paul, uh, send a uh, 2ZGN, November 2, Zulu Golf, November, how uh, to copy now. Yeah, okay, November 2, Zulu Golf, November. Uh, yep, uh, what'd you do, turn on the amplifier? Negative, uh, I went to uh, my secondary antenna, and uh, you have faded down. Uh, we've got some uh, solar activity over. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, you're better on this antenna for me, so uh, uh, so that's good, uh, Frank. And uh, we got you, Peru, New York, uh, 400 miles. And uh, uh, so, what are the two antennas? Uh, the secondary is working better uh, for me right now. Over. Uh, Roger. Uh, the uh, first antenna is an inverted V. Uh, 10 to 80, uh, off center fed. Uh, this is a horizontal, but it's polarized in the opposite direction. Uh, it's 90 degrees, uh, opposite. So, uh, okay, very good. Yeah, it does work better in some areas than that, but uh, at other times it doesn't make any difference, over. Yeah, okay, Frank, real good. Well, it's working better for me right now, so uh, so that's good. And I don't have a real good antenna. I have a really a really poor antenna, so uh, I have to uh, uh, remind myself that some people aren't uh, aren't hearing me uh, that well. But uh, you're coming in good. So wh what do you got for weather up there, and uh, what's going on with you today? Over. Uh, it's N2 ZGN. Uh, well, the weather up here right now is overcast. Uh, it's a light overcast. 41 degrees heading up into the uh, mid-50s today. Rain tonight and tomorrow. And, uh, we got about three inches of snow left on the ground from our six-inch uh, snowfall the other day. And uh, I'm playing with a new... Uh, digital scope here right now that I just got in the mail this morning, so uh, checking that out and uh, learning all about that. So, uh, nice little seven inch uh, monitor and uh, uh, lightweight so I can carry it places I need to take it. So, uh, have a great day and uh, stay safe down there, over. Yeah, okay, real good. Yeah, you're coming in good. You're up to a six and a seven and uh, starting to be Q5. So, uh, yeah, what kind of digital scope is it with the seven inch monitor? Uh, what, what brand scope is that? And uh, what kind of work do you uh, plan on uh, using it for, uh, Frank? Over. Uh, Roger, it's a uh, Frenzy uh, F I N I R S I. Uh, it's, uh, it's a one giga sample, uh, 100 meg, uh, bandwidth. And so far it, uh, looks pretty close to, uh, specs, uh, and, uh, it, uh, it works pretty nice. Uh, I'm happy with it. And I'm using it mainly for audio work, uh, troubleshooting, uh, uh, and some IF work in uh, in my radios, but that's uh, that's about it. Over. 
Yeah, okay, real good, real good. That's interesting. Yeah, I got a, I got an old dual tray scope. I haven't turned it on in years, and uh, I should turn it on, see if it still works. But uh, uh, they are handy for uh, troubleshooting, uh, that's for sure, and uh, uh, doing certain things. I got a bunch of stuff that doesn't work, so uh, I should uh, get it out and see if mine still uh, still plays. And uh, I got a, uh, I forget what brand it is. It's a Japanese brand that uh, was a telecommunications uh, uh, test equipment in Japan. It's, it's a 100 megacycle uh, uh, dual trace uh, uh, scope. And uh, uh, it's not really as fancy as the new ones, but it does, uh, it always worked for me. And it was cheap. I bought it at a ham fest, so, uh, and I've had it for a good long time. Okay, uh, well, thanks for telling us about your new toy there, and uh, have fun with that. Thanks for checking in to eCars. You're coming in good on the, on the secondary antenna today. Uh, N2ZGN, K3PG73. 73, Paul, take care. N2ZGN. Okay, we're clear with N2ZGN, and let's see who else is out there. This is eCars. We're looking for check-ins. Anybody I can hear, call now. Kilo 2, Hotel Victor Echo. Kilo 2, Hotel Victor Echo. Uh, let's see, uh, Chris in uh, Bayville, New Jersey. Uh, I'm not sure where that is, uh, Chris, but uh, you're coming in. I've worked you a couple of times. Uh, uh, let's see, not for a while though. Last time I worked you was, uh, February of, uh, last year. So, uh, back to you, Chris. How are you doing today? K2HVE, K3PG. Oh, Roger, Roger, Paul. Yeah, you're sounding good here in, uh, Bayville, New Jersey. We're approximately in the middle of the state, a little bit towards the south side, 45 miles north of Atlantic City and, uh, 50 miles due east of Philadelphia, about three miles in from the big water out there, Paul. Good morning, everybody. We're at 37 degrees. We're going up to about 45 degrees. Plenty of sunshine, but a very stiff northeast wind out there, so I imagine the water on the bay, uh, Barnegat Bay is pretty choppy and out on the ocean, but all is well here. E-car is number 20301 Lifetime, and yes, it's been a while, so I'm late by at least one month uh, uh, checking in with you for in the, within the year, uh, Paul, so uh, thanks for being there, thanks for the service, and nothing much going on, just waiting for spring and waiting for fishing season to start over. Yeah, okay, real good. Well, it's, it looks like it's coming. It looks like it's coming, Chris. So uh, I'm feeling like I made it through the winter with the uh, flowers and uh, flowering trees and daffodils out. Uh, and uh, I'm going to have to start mowing the lawn. So uh, uh, have you started that yet, Chris? Uh, negative, negative, but we do have those, we have these little white, uh, white flowered, uh, weeds that come up, and they're, they're about six or eight inches tall, but the grass and everything else pretty, it's pretty much stagnant right now. It looked like it was all gonna start popping. The buds on the trees got, uh, stalemated by this, uh, cold front coming in, but I think we'll be on our way very soon, Paul. And thanks very much again for the contact. You're sounding great. 5-9 in the Bayville, New Jersey. You're right near Tom's River. We're like two towns uh, south of there. So, And uh, all is well. Hope everybody has a good day, a safe day out there in E-Cars. Uh, back to you. This is Kilo 2 Hotel, Victor Echo, 20301. Okay, uh, real good, Chris. And uh, nice, nice strong signal, my good copy. Uh, 115 miles, sounding good. So uh, thanks for being there. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Enjoy the day and uh, think about fishing uh, there, Chris. Uh, clear with uh, K2HVE, and this is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. Net control this hour, Kilowatt 3, Papa Golf, looking for check-ins. Anybody I can hear? Whiskey Alpha 3, Delta, Victor, Oscar. Uh, I heard a Delta Victor Oscar, I think, something like that. Delta Victor Oscar uh, station, uh, you're quite light. Uh, say your call a couple of times phonetically, over. Roger, roger. Whiskey Able 3, Delta Victor Oscar. Stand by, I'm on the floor square right now. Stand by, 
Let me go to the high tower. Stand by. Okay, uh, uh, Whiskey Able 3, uh, Delta, uh, Victor, Oscar, I think I got that right, uh, Everett in Palmer Park, uh, Maryland. Uh, so, uh, let's see, I worked you once before. I got you once in the logbook, so that's probably a good call. And, uh, let's see, I got a number, uh, Ev 30390, and, uh, you're pretty light, but I'm hearing you. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 3, Delta Victor Oscar, uh, K3 PG, uh, go ahead, Ev. Roger, Roger. Switch back over to the High Gain High Tower. I, I, I was on the four square when I heard you. Uh, that seems to be the quietest and can, can copy your signal. But right now, I switch back over to the High Tower. You're about a five, 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 seven down here in Maryland right now. Right now, it's 43 degrees outside my window. Back up to you. Uh, yeah, Whiskey Able yeah, 3, Delta uh, Victor Oscar. Stronger on the High Tower today. So, uh, how much power, how much power are you running, Ev? Over? Uh, right now, about 90 watts, about 9090, nine over. Yeah, okay, uh, real good, 90 watts to a high tower. And, uh, yeah, real good, it's working today. And, uh, you're all, you're pretty close, uh, 46 miles away, so, uh, uh, pretty close, but, uh, you came up a good bit on that antenna. Uh, from uh, Palmer Park, Ev. So, uh, what do you got going on today? Over. Uh, roger, 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 Roger. Well, the, the high towers are very noisy. It's very noisy. The four square gives me a little bit of uh, 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 a little bit of directivity, and also cuts down the noise. All right, you take care. Have yourself a good day. Whiskey America Three Delta Victor Oscar. Okay, uh, real good, Ev. Uh, thanks for checking in today. And, uh, yep, let's see, it's been, uh, uh, two, a little over two, well, it's been almost two years since I worked you, so, uh, uh, keep, uh, keep checking in to eCars and, uh, we will hear you next time. Clear with Ev, WA3DVO Palmer Park, uh, on the high tower, and this is eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service, that control this hour, Kilo 3. Papa Golf K3 PG looking for check ins. November 3 Golf Lima Tango. I think that was, uh, I tripped my box accidentally. I think that was uh, Golf Lima Tango and there was somebody else. Kilo Charlie 3 Golf Bravo Whiskey. Okay, I got Kilo Charlie 3, Golf Bravo, Whiskey. Okay, let's do these two. Uh, GLT first, good morning. Good morning, from November 3, Golf Lima Tango, Gary, in Northern Lancaster County, Pop Alpha, and your signals are 5-9 uh, plus here in uh, the northern part of the county, under uh, cloudy skies, but uh, thin cloudy skies, so we're getting a little bit of uh, eh, sunshine, brighter light through them. But um, we're expecting, I guess, some rain showers perhaps as we get into the day. Temperatures are not going to get much above 55 today, and uh, our low will be 42. So we're beginning to moderate, but not quite spring yet. And I am not going to cut the grass until I absolutely have to. This is November 3, Golf Lima Tango. How copy? Yeah, real good, Gary. I haven't cut the grass for a couple of years now, so uh, I hired a lawn service a couple of years ago, and uh, uh, I've been trying to uh, uh, not do that just because I dislike it so much. But uh, uh, I still got I still got a lawnmower, but uh, and uh, my neighbors are starting to mow their lawn, and uh, uh, I did contact the lawn service, so uh, it's starting. Uh, Hey, uh, you're sounding good, Gary. And uh, what's your power and antenna right now? You're coming in pretty good. Over. Uh, I'm using the 33-foot uh, vertical, the uh, 05 vertical, and uh, about 700 watts. I don't think I need all that, but that's it's just what the amp does when I uh, when I drive it with 50 watts from the flex. But uh, I could probably go barefoot if I wanted. But eh, the amp's on, so I'll use it. November three, Golf Lima Tango. Good morning. Yeah, okay, uh, real good, Gary. Well, you're about a seven or eight, uh, hitting eight a little bit. Uh, so, uh, that's good today, uh, for, uh, uh, 80 miles. Uh, so, uh, yep, uh, uh, I, I turn the power on usually, uh, unless I'm, uh, trying to 
do something that, you know, uh, something else with like a, a, a little radio or something like that. So uh, I'm running uh, uh, about 700 watts or so, I guess, uh, right now too, uh, with a uh, uh, a 30 uh, a 30 foot fiberglass mast with uh, two wires uh, tied off into tied off onto the bushes in the in the yard. Uh, so uh, that's about what I got uh, here, uh, Gary. Uh, it's coming in good. Thanks for being there. You have a good day up there. Thanks for checking in. All right, 73 from November 3, Golf Lima Tango. Okay, clear with N3 GLT. Thanks, Gary. And uh, next up we got a uh, Kilo Charlie 3 Golf Bravo Whiskey. Good morning. Hey, Kilo 3 Papa Golf. This is Kilo Charlie 3 Golf Bravo Whiskey. Keith in Stewartstown. Yeah, I've been listening to all the traffic on the net about the bridge, and I was watching the bridge collapse on the TV, and it's like... How can a ship, there's, there's lots of area in between those two things. How can the ship just hit it, a direct hit? <laughs> Over. Yeah, it's hard to believe. I haven't seen it yet, and I just heard about it on uh, on uh, eCars, uh, Keith, when uh, 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 K3RRP uh, reported it, and... Uh, uh, I, I can't even really believe it, but uh, that's uh, that's what uh, that's what happened apparently. So uh, uh, it's a really big tragedy. And uh, let's see, I got I found an old uh, uh, listing here for you that says you're running a FT891, uh, uh, and. Uh, Let's see. I, I wrote down that you have a half wave, a half wave uh, squirrel. <laughs> I don't know how I got that, but a, a half wave something. Anyway, uh, Keith, uh, that's what I got on you, and uh, in Stewartstown. Uh, so uh, coming in, uh, you're coming in pretty good. Uh, I got a c copy on you. Any, anyway, uh, back to you, Keith. Over. Yep, yep. I have a Nelson Antennas NFED half wave, and around the end of January, I discovered some squirrel ate my coax between my choke and my antenna connection. <laughs> so I couldn't figure out why my radio wasn't working, why, why things were going wrong, and I searched and searched Martin Luther King Day. I was playing with my antenna, figuring all kinds of stuff out. There was a section of lead, section of the... Um, coax from the choke to the antenna that was under leaves and I didn't see it until I started using my um, nano VNA to start testing things and it's like found it, it's like something chewed it and and someone else had said that sometimes coax is made with soy in the um, cover so the squirrels might have thought it was tasty <laughs> over yeah right right well I've, I've I've heard that, uh, so uh, I don't really know, but uh, uh, I've heard that, and uh, <laughs> yep, they may uh, may taste good. It may be tasty to some squirrels. So, uh, oh boy, I was trying to uh, relate the squirrel to uh, the type of antenna, but it's more like the squirrel ate the coax. So uh, anyway, I hope you got that done. And uh, yeah, the nano, uh, the nano. Uh, uh, I think you said you troubleshot it with the nano uh, uh, VNA, and uh, uh, you might you might comment on how that worked uh, and uh, what you saw on the VNA. I don't have one. I have a, uh, I have an old uh, uh, MFJ uh, 259 uh, that's not working. So uh, uh, I haven't used it for a long time, but I, I usually use uh, uh, the uh, I usually use the meter to uh, uh, tune my antenna tuner without putting a signal on the air. So uh, I wonder how you do with the uh, with your uh, nano VNA and uh, uh, how long have you had it and uh, where did where did you buy that from, uh, Keith KC3. Uh, GBWK3PG. 
Yeah, I got my Nano VNA from Amazon. It's funny, I got it like a couple years ago. Never played with it, didn't learn how to use it. I kept saying I need to learn how to use it. Then when my antenna wasn't working, um, I researched on the Internet how to use it for an antenna analyzer, and I figured out how to use it, and I figured out the problem with my antenna. So it was a worthwhile investment. I needed something to kick me in the butt to figure out how to use it. <laughs> Over. Yeah, real good, real good. Well, it's, uh, oh, I'm glad you got it going. I got some, uh, I got a bad piece of coax on this antenna that, uh, uh, one of the yard guys cut with a, uh, a hedge, a hedge clipper. And, uh, I went out and, uh, uh, I went out and, uh, spliced it back together without soldering it. And, uh, I th and uh, I've kind of forgotten about it, so I really need to change it. I've got an unsoldered, uh, uh, handmade splice with uh, uh, electrical tape over it uh, to, uh, behind one of the bushes here uh, on the coax I'm using right now, and I, sh I really should ch replace that. So uh, anyway, it's good to hear you, uh, Keith, and uh, thanks for telling me. Uh, an update on the squirrel story there, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good day up there in Stewartstown. KC3, Golf Bravo Whiskey, K3, PG, anything else, Keith? Nope, nope, that's it. Everyone on the net, have a great day. 73, all. Okay, 73, Keith, we'll catch you next time. Uh, this is uh, eCars, East Coast Amateur Radio Service. I control this hour, Kilowatt 3, Papa Golf, K3, PG. We're looking for check-ins. Anybody I can hear, call now. Kilo Bravo Kilo 3, Oscar Romeo Alpha. Whiskey Bravo 2, Lima. Kilo 2, Zulu, Victor Lima. KC2, CKO. KC2, Charlie, Kilo, Oscar. Okay, I got it. I heard about four or five people, but I only got two partial calls. I got a kilowatt two, and I got a KC two, uh, Charlie Kilo Oscar. Uh, kilowatt two, kilowatt two, your full call? Kilo two, Zulu, Victor Lima. Kilo two, ZVL. Uh, Van, how you doing? Indian Lake, what's it like up there, Van? Over. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, well, I'm not in Indian Lake. I'm still in Ordell, New Jersey. Uh, they got some snow up there. Been pretty cold. Uh, about eight degrees uh, a couple nights ago. Uh, got down into the teens. But down here, we're in the 30s, head, uh, or in the 40s. Uh, Going to be heading to 48 overcast skies today here. Up all. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, real good. Uh, real good report from New Jersey. What What town is that, Van? Uh, I forget. Uh, I'm in Oradell, Oradell, New Jersey, in the northeast part. Go ahead. Yeah, Oradell. Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah, real good. Okay, uh, real good, Dan. Well, I'm starting to think about my uh, uh, my trip to uh, Saranac, uh, which won't be coming up till uh, uh, May, but uh, May and June, I guess. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm uh, looking forward to going up there this year again. And uh, when, when do you think you might go back to Indian Lake? Have you made any plans yet? Well, I'm going up for the uh, for the eclipse. I'll be up there by the eighth, and uh, so that'll that, that'll be when I'm up there. Uh, but uh, depending on how much snow is left, I may come back. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, real good. Real good. Well, that'll be exciting. Uh, I was looking at. Uh, uh, I'm just going to bounce this off of you. I was looking at. Uh, 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 air, airport things and one airport, I think in Indiana or Illinois, one of the I states was having a solar eclipse fly in and, uh, they, uh, uh, they had to cancel it. Uh, the airport decided they, uh, or the town decided to cancel it for, uh, uh, security reasons. So, uh, uh, I don't know what that's about, but, uh, uh, I guess uh, uh, just too many people uh, or something. Anyway, uh, uh, good luck with that, uh, Van, and uh, I hope you have a good uh, a good time going up for that. 
K two Z Z L K three P G. What else, Sam? Yeah, okay, Paul. Yeah, I, w I would imagine Saranac Lake is going to have a lot of people flying into it up there because that's, uh, that's right directly in the path. So uh, probably a lot of the small airports up there <laughs> are going to be uh, are going to be inundated. That's for sure. Good to hear you, Paul. We'll catch you again. K two ZVL. Take care. Okay, take care, Van. Thanks for being there, and uh, good to hear you. Okay, uh, next up we got another uh, KC two. Let's see, KC two seek. CKO, I think it is. Uh, that looks like Paul in uh, uh, Grandsport, uh, New York. Uh, Paul, how copy? KC2, CKO, good morning. Yeah, good morning, everybody. KC2, CKO here. Uh, we had about 20-something uh, degrees here this morning, but uh, it's nice and warm and down in the shack here. And uh, we are, we're going to, the wife and I are going to take a ride to, uh, Further, further north, probably uh, up around Saranac Lake, also, uh, or around maybe Plattsburgh. Who knows? Uh, just, to, just to view that. So there's going to be uh, probably a lot of traffic on the north way here. Um, but we're just, we're just a, a few miles south of the um, Adirondack State Park here, so it won't, it won't be too long of a drive for us. But I'm going to go to a uh, probably a welding supply store and pick up a couple. Uh, dark lenses just uh, just for it too so uh it should be an interesting thing um uh, but uh back to the group kc2 cko over yeah real good paul kc2 cko k3 pg yeah real good well the uh the airport that was going to have the fly in for the eclipse uh i think was in i forget where it was it was either illinois or indiana one of the i states and uh, uh, they had, uh, uh, I think, one of the local, uh, like, uh, EAA, uh, Experimental Aircraft Association chapters, uh, uh, was going to do some hosting, and they bought, uh, they bought uh, 5,000, uh, uh, you know, uh, lenses, you know, with the cardboard uh, uh, to look through. Uh, with the dark lenses and uh, uh, they were uh, uh, since it got canceled they took the town or whatever the airport told them they couldn't do it uh, uh, for security reasons so they were uh, they were selling the selling off the uh, 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 the lenses and I think they were uh, I forget what they were it was something like three for a dollar no three for five dollars plus a dollar for shipping or something like that, <laughs> something crazy. Anyway, uh, uh, we we go up to uh, uh, Saranac uh, uh, usually twice a year, Paul, but we're not going to be there for that. Anyway, have fun doing that. First time contact for me, I think, and uh, ho hopefully we'll work you uh, some more on e-cards, uh, Paul. Thanks for being there. Back to you, over. Yeah, okay, yeah, I just joined a couple of days ago here, so I'm I'm waiting for waiting for my number, but uh, it's a it seems like a nice screw up uh, group on here every morning, and uh, I'm enjoying it since I retired. So uh, life is good. Seventy three is all. Okay, KC2, real CKO. good. Uh, we'll look oh, for you again, QRT. and uh, we'll hear you again. Okay, that looks like the end of my uh, shift here um, by a minute. So uh, Vic, are you around? There'll be a four T H R K three P G. Yes, I am, Paul. Uh, no bridge troubles in Bear Gap. How are you this morning, WA4THR? Yeah, WA4THR, yeah, real good. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen the uh, seen that yet. I just heard about it uh, on eCars. I heard that news on eCars. That's a, that's a major, uh, major disaster for a lot of things. You know, a whole lot of, a whole lot of uh, cars uh, uh, come in, uh, uh, from overseas, uh, in Baltimore and, uh, containers full of stuff to go into Walmart too. So it's gonna, it's gonna have an economic, uh, impact besides the, uh, uh, the having to reconstruct the bridge and the, that, what a nightmare, uh, Vic. It's hard to believe that, uh, 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 you know, you, you, I guess it was a little more than a bump, but uh, it's hard to believe that the whole thing came down and uh, 20 cars in the water or something like that. I don't know. 
Anyway, uh, Vic, we had a pretty good shift. The uh, the A index yesterday was 64, uh, which I've never seen it that high. Uh, I've never even seen it close to that high. So it's down to 22. So uh, uh, go get them. I'll sit back and listen, Vic. You have a great day. WA4THR, K3, PG. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, okay, Paul. Yeah, the uh, solar flux is up to 190, I think, and early this morning, I mean like 3 o'clock in the morning, 20 meters was open around the world. You could hear uh, Australia talking to Africa here in the States. I mean, it's just amazing. This is the peak, so uh, enjoy it. That's <laughs> 3 Paul. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, this is Whiskey Alpha 4, Tango Hotel Romeo. My name is Vic, Victor India Charlie, E-Cars 4760. I'm located in Bear Gap, Pennsylvania. I'll be your host this hour. But first up, we want to pause for anybody with priority traffic or a schedule for the top of the hour. Nothing heard, but just as an announcement, if you are mobile and you haven't heard and you're heading to or from Baltimore, uh, avoid that. Uh, the uh, bridge, uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge, is down, and uh, uh, 95 is closed uh, through that area. Uh, so uh, just to remind you, you are listening to the East Coast Amateur Radio Service, and since 1968 we've been meeting on this frequency seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year starting at 7.30 in the morning Eastern Time on weekdays, 8 a.m. on weekends. Net controls changing hourly and closing at 1.30 in the afternoon. If this is a directed net, that means you should only be talking to the net control unless that station asks you to call somebody else. And we use a list. We get a list of stations, speak to each of those in turn, and then we get another list. So if we miss you on one, please wait till we're taking the next list, and we'll try to get you then. If you're mobile, portable, or QRP, let us know when you check in. You'll get priority and go to the top of that list. eCars is an open service. That means you do not need to be a member or anything. Everybody is welcome to check in. But if you'd like to find out more about eCars, what it is, what it does, how to join, stuff like that, take a look at the website, www.ecars7255.com. That's ecars7255.com. And with that uh, all taken care of, let's start off and listen for mobiles, portables, and QRP stations. Any of you guys, call WA4THR. So QRP, W3RKI, Syracuse, New York, QRP. WA1, Kilo, Papa Delta, Mobile. All right, uh, I've got uh, W3RKI, WA1KPD. There's another one in there. November 2, Mike Sierra. Romeo, Foxtrot, Kilo. All right, November 2, Mike Sierra. Uh, we're looking for uh, mobiles, portables, and QRPs. Ken, are you one of those right now? Oh, nope, sorry, Vic. No problem. We'll get you here in a minute. All right, any more mobiles, portables, or QRP? All right, let's get these three then. Uh, Rick, W3RKI, QRP. Good morning, WA4THR. Good morning. Thanks for taking the call. Terrible, terrible thing about that bridge in Baltimore. Um, anyway, this is W3RKI, Syracuse, New York, and it's going to be in the 60s today up here. I'm going to get outside and do some work. So I'll let you go. W3RKI, thank you for taking my call. 73. All right, Rick, very good. Yeah, here it's uh, 45, probably going to get up uh, relatively warm. Yesterday afternoon was great. A little bit uh, hazy overcast, though, and rain expected tonight, so we'll see. Anyway, good uh, copy. I guess that's the little 10-watt K2, and it's doing a good job. Rick, 7-3. That's it, K2, 10-watt, 73. All right, uh, W3RKI, QRP out of Syracuse. We'll clear with him. Next up, wa one KPD Mobile up in Portland. Good thing you're up in Portland, Carl. Good morning. Well, good morning, Vic. Uh, WA1 KPD Mobile 1. Actually, I'm in Sturbridge, Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Uh, uh, heading on home from uh, my daughter's uh, wedding down in uh, D.C. Had a wonderful time down there. And uh, the QRP station in Syracuse is just on and put a nice signal uh, in here to... Uh, Sturbridge Pass, just about the south central part of the state. So, uh, good thing up here, Vic, and nice to hear you on. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, Carl. Where did you say you were in Massachusetts? Uh, over? Stourbridge. Stourbridge. Okay, Sturbridge, Mass, and Mobile headed back to Damariscotta. So, uh, very good. Well, it's a good thing you left the uh, D.C. area when you did, I guess. Uh, so, <laughs> I imagine 95 is going to be a mess. Anything we can do for you, Carl? No, we'll keep it up there. All right, very good, and uh, we're glad to catch you in here. Good, uh, good mobile signal. I got to make sure I tag it as mobile. I didn't when I first checked it in, so got you now. All right, the W O N K P D uh, mobile clear with him. Next up, Mike uh, Q R P N two M S W A four T H R. W A four T H R. This is November two. Mike Sierra Q R P on the micro S version six. Uh, Temperature's about 40 degrees in the here. It was sunny yesterday. Uh, I am trying out the Marshall bit next to me. You are right now. This is the version 6, but by version 4, it has grown more to go. Um, there's, see, there's a little Q and C, so is my readability good here? You are about a 5x7, WA4THR, November 2, Mike Sierra. Well, you are also a 5x7 here, Mike, but the audio sounds fine. No problem with that uh, version 6. Uh, uh, is that the, the stock mic, or is that one that you've uh, made some mods to? Over. No, this is the L Lecraft MH3 mic. It's a fabulous mic, and I use it on micro grips. It is nice because it fits in, even though it is a four conductor jack, uh, it works well in the micro bit X. Go ahead. Well, that's great. Uh, it uh, sounds good. Yeah, no problems at all. And sorry about your uh, version 4 having some audio troubles. Any other version, I would say check the audio chip, because they were known for blowing the uh, audio amp. Uh, it was a, not a LM386 in the first ones. It was a TDA something or other, but even the later ones. Um, but the version 4 is the only one that has discrete components. It doesn't have a chip for the audio, so I'm not sure what to tell you there. Anyway, Mike, uh, good luck with it, and we'll catch you later, okay? Okay, uh, just a correction. It, 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 it is the version 4 audio is working fine. It is just low. Uh, we were talking about using ADC, and I'm thinking of using an SA604 uh, receiver chip to go in. RF derived AGC to the ver version 4. Anyway, I'll let you go, Vic. You take care. WA4THR, November 2, Mike Sierra Clear. All right, Mike, I will, uh, I'll send you an email uh, about that. Yeah, the, the version 4 is notorious for very low audio if you're not using earphones. But uh, I added a, a AGC circuit as a preamplifier uh, ahead of the last stage, and it brought particularly the higher bands up very useful. Uh, it's still not as much audio as you get out of some of them, but it's easy in a shack, in a room. It's plenty of audio. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll send you some information about that. Anyway, that's into MS QRP in Leonardo, New Jersey. I'll clear with them and... We'll shift to doing a general call-up. Anybody, anywhere, still if you're mobile, portable, or QRP, tell me that. But anybody, anywhere, call WA4THR. Kilo Delta 4, India Zulu. Juliet Yankee. Romeo Whiskey 3, Juliet Romeo. Kilo Nancy Hotel. For India Zulu. All right, a lot of pileups there, and I missed some. I've got uh, Romeo Fox Kilo from before, uh, Juliet Yankee, Juliet Charlie Bravo, KC1MR, Echo Nancy Hotel, uh, KD4 India Zulu. Who were the others? Fox Trot Kilo India. Romeo Oscar November. November Echo Juliet. Radio Kilo Norway. 
All right, I've got uh, adding to this list uh, Kilo India, Romeo Oscar November, November Echo Juliet, and I think it's another Romeo Oscar. I get Romeo something November. I think it's the Romeo Oscar November again. Was there another one in there? You know what, Charlie A, Sierra Delta Lima. All right, Sierra Delta Lima. I didn't hear anybody else, so we'll run with this list. Pretty, pretty long list. Ken, thanks for your patience. WB2RFK, WA4THR. W-A-4-T-H-R, W-B-2-R-F-K. Well, good morning, Vic. We're cloudy overcast, supposed to get rain this afternoon. And I was daydreaming. I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> but uh, uh, my brain was somewhere else. But everything going pretty good here. No use complaining. So I'm going to stay on the warm side of the door. It's still, it's in the mid-40s now. Supposed to get up to 60. So uh, I'm just going to take it easy today, Vic. Well, that sounds like a good idea. I doubt that that'll be my case, but uh, we'll see. I'm not sure. We've got a company coming for the weekend, and I think my wife may have jobs for me. And if not, I've got uh, tractor oil to change, and there's probably grocery shopping to be done. And we'll see what happens here. Anyway, good to hear you, Ken, and I uh, hope you have a great week. Anything else we can do for you? Uh, you have a good Easter, my friend, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go do some shopping tomorrow because my wife has to go to the, uh, to the, uh, get a, get a check after surgery and that. I got one visit tomorrow and, and one, uh, uh, Wednesday. So I guess we'll do some shopping while we're out. So have a good day, my friend. All right. Good to hear you, Ken. WB2RFK, Ken in Archdale, North Carolina. I'll clear with him. Next one up, AB4, Juliet Yankee in Bedford, Virginia. Good morning, Glenn. Good morning, Vic. This is Alpha Baker 4, Juliet Yankee, Bedford, Virginia, uh, where we've got 49 degrees and a light overcast, and I think it's going to uh, continue to get tougher and tougher until this evening. We'll have some rain for the next couple of days. So it's supposed to continue to get warmer, though, and continue warming on into uh, to the Easter weekend. A good signal this morning, you're 5 over 9. Sounding good, and the band's in excellent condition. Thanks for what you do. Have a super day. KB4JY. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I, I Initially, they were talking about some nice weather here, but it looks like uh, rain is coming from the west directly east, currently in Pittsburgh. It'll probably be here tonight. I hope it clears up after that. So we'll just uh, we'll just have to see what, uh, what happens. But the temperatures certainly beat what we were seeing a few days ago. We were, I think we were down there uh, around 20 over the weekend, so this is a little better. Go ahead, anything else, over? No, that'll do it. I'll stick around and listen for a while, but have a great day. AB4JY. All right, 7-3, Glenn. AB4JY, Bedford, Virginia. I'll clear with him. And uh, back over my shoulder, good morning, Charlie, W3JCB, WA4THR. Well, good morning to you, Vic, and all those that can uh, hear me. W3JCB here in Rainy, Northwest Pennsylvania. We got uh, 46 degrees. I think it's flying to me, but it's yeah, pretty close. But uh, just check your weather uh, map, and it looks like it's going to be an all day rain. But hey, at least the truck's going, and uh, the temperatures have bumped up a bit, like you said. So I just finished my second cup of coffee, and I've been watching all morning at the uh, awful tragedy there, that bridge collapse in Baltimore. So, yeah, that's not a good thing. Hey, Vic, you're sounding good. You're looking good, too, by golly. So, I want to hold it. We'll turn it back to you, W3JCB. All right, uh, Charlie, something's going on with your uh, radio there. It uh, it might be RF getting into the audio. Uh, it's a very uh, a constrained and tight sound with some, uh, you know, scratchiness added to it. Doesn't sound like you normally do. Maybe your coax is getting wet. Uh, I could send you a recording uh, if you wanted uh, wanted that, uh, or you can just uh, go over to uh, Jeff's site N three J no N A two U S. He records uh, every session, and you can go back and uh, uh, you know look at the e cars today at the. Uh, at uh, uh, ten sixteen in the morning, and you can hear what you sound like on that. Something's going wrong with it, though, Charlie. Over. Okay. Well, I don't. I turned the amp off, and I had my speakers, uh, external speakers, on. That might have been part of it. But uh, we're at uh, hundred watts now. Does that sound any better? 
Well, it, it seems every bit as strong. Yeah, it does sound better. So it definitely was some uh, RF getting back into it. Over. Roger. Okay, well, we'll have to uh, check out the problem there. But, uh, hey, thanks, and uh, we got something to do today, I guess, while it's ran. So W3JCB, back to net. Yeah, if you if you go on the uh, interwebs and uh, check uh, check uh, the NJ2 US uh, recordings where he has all the e cars every day recorded, uh, you can uh, you'll you'll hear the difference there and, and you'll see what's going on. 73 JCB Reno PA, I'll clear with them. Now up to uh, Boston. Good morning, Ray KC1MR WA4THR. Well, it's good. It's good morning for now, but it's going to rain. <laughs> so what else is new? Anyway, good morning. Good morning, Vic, and uh, you sound good. And that other one had quite a bit of RF on the signal. And anyway, I guess we're going to put up with the rain again. Uh, they're supposed to have a monster thing happen on uh, third Thursday. So uh, my wife is heading down to uh, Florida to visit with our older son, and I'm here taking care of the cat. Well, I know. <laughs> our, our cat woke me up at 3 o'clock in the morning having caught something and uh, running around making noise, and then... Uh, uh, my wife woke up, said, turn the lights on, and when I did, the cat let go of whatever it had, and I, I just said, well, I'm just staying up, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes they can, you know, it's great that this cat is a great mouser. I hate it when they let him go, though, Ray, or bring him to you to play with. W-A-4-T-H-R. Yeah, she's just so very proud. <laughs> but my cat uh, is about two and a half years old, and... Hey, Daddy, how do I catch the mouse? That's pretty fast. They're pretty quick. Yeah, they. Uh, this one is uh, probably the best mouser we've ever had. And being out in the country, we get mice finding their way in. And she, I, I'm convinced she was trying to teach us to hunt. She would bring live mouse up to the bed and let it go for us and say, there, catch it, just catch it. And when we wouldn't, after a while, she started bringing us dead mice because she thought we were starving, I guess, over <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, do you have uh, uh, indoor outdoor moss, or do they mostly hang around your, your indoor location? Well, this, is, this cat has uh, been always an indoor cat. Typically, they're indoor outdoors, but this one has always just stayed in. And uh, these are just the little field mice that find their way in to find a place to warm or look for food or something like that. We replaced the refrigerator and found a pile of cat food behind it where the mice have been stealing cat food and piling it up for the winter over. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, the uh, field mice is really cute. And I had one of them in, uh, in a cell window, and I wouldn't, I, he would not move them at how close I came. So he had a set of clutches, that's for sure. Yeah, they, uh, they're, they're cute, but a real pain. <laughs> but the cat's pretty good about finding them and being very patient, waiting for where they come out, you know, finding like uh, uh, where plumbing comes through the floor somewhere or a, a vent or something. They, they'll, they'll sit there all day waiting for them. All right, Ray, I better get down the list. Good to hear you. KC1MR up in Beantown, Massachusetts. I'll clear with them, and we'll see what's happening in New York. Good morning, Mike. K2ENH, WA4THR. Well, good morning there, Dick. WA four K H R K two E N A twelve. At least eight stations broke in and I've been listening on and off here, so you yeah, quite a long list here awaiting you. You're coming in just uh, about uh forty, thirty eight to forty. It's starting to warm up a little bit. There's still traces of snow here and there, but it's quickly melting fortunately. Glad to get rid of it. So there's a scoop of rule, and you're about 10 over 9 here. We'll keep it short because you have a good list here, Dick. K2 E N H. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Yeah, you're hitting uh, 10 over 9 on the peak, so a pretty good, uh, pretty strong signals here this morning. Band's really in not too bad a shape at all. 
Uh, although I don't see all that many signals on the band at the moment, but, uh, you know, they're all pretty strong, the ones that are there. All right, Mike, we'll see you later. K2ENH, Arcade, New York. I'll clear with him and get down to uh, Baltimore area where things are tough. Good morning, Jack. KD4IZ, WA4THR. Yeah, good morning, Vic. <laughs> yeah, that was a shocker this morning. Uh, woke up. We had some friends that uh, were coming through on their way. Uh, after the weekend, actually, it was kind of interesting. They came up from Florida, stopped in Chapel Hill. Uh, my, uh, and they were there over the weekend visiting at the same time we were there. And, uh, so we came up on Sunday and, uh, they spent the night with us last night. So they, uh, weren't going to head up the corridor. They're going up the back way up into, uh, northern Vermont. So, uh, we weren't really paying attention until I got down here and, 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 and Susie told me what the headline said and I quick watched the video and not long after that I posted that information. So anyway, uh, one more issue to deal with. It looks like the harbor will be closed for a few weeks here while they try to clear the uh, pieces of the bridge and recover whatever they can recover. But uh, that happened at 1.30 last night. Katie, four eyes at. Yeah, just as a point of uh, uh, interest, Jack, is that the only uh, docking harbor? That ship, I think, was on the way out. But it looks like there's no way for anybody to get in or out of the harbor there now. Is that right? Over. Uh, that is right. Uh, the uh, both terminals. There's a there's a terminal on the. Uh, the Tapsco branch uh, uh, down where the Coast Guard base is in, in Curtis Bay area. There's there's a there's a rail terminal down there. There's another one up on the north side of the uh, harbor. Uh, actually, two on the north side of the harbor. Uh, the only the only open areas are at Sparrows Point, and I don't think they're really set up to do uh, cargo loading on and off the container ships. I haven't been out there in forever since they shut the uh, steel mills down, but uh, that's uh, that's really a mess because it it screws up that plus the uh, uh, the boat traffic that or the ship traffic for the uh, commercial pleasure trips uh, that go in and out of there. So huge impact. I think I was seeing something like 80 B with a B billion dollar. Uh, a, a trade and uh, commercial activity back and forth out of that port. Over. Yeah, that's a mess. I guess the uh, incoming traffic can divert up to Philadelphia or even maybe New York, but uh, the outgoing, they're going to have to unload those ships if they can and put them on trucks and truck them somewhere because this is not going to be a short-term thing to get that out of there, I imagine. Anyway, Jack, good to hear you this morning, and uh, we'll catch you later, okay? Yeah, Roger. Yeah, no, they'll, they'll probably uh, they'll probably do some on on and off loading at uh, Norfolk. Uh, that's a terminal down there too, but that means the uh, land traffic's going to be heavier. So uh, you know, it's a, it's already a mess. <laughs> what can you ask for? Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Good to hear you, and I hope the uh, by the way the audio signal and all should be balanced out. I finally got all of my. RF was taken care of. Over. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's nice, punchy audio. No problem. So, Jack, 84IZ, Forest in Maryland, near the uh, site of the uh, um, of the uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. We'll clear with Jack. Next one up, uh, one ending in Kilo, India. Good morning, WA4THR. WA4THR, Kilo three, Foxtrot, Kilo, India. Number three zero eight nine or two. I finally got a number, so I say hello. I'll keep it short because I, I see the time is moving and you got a list. Hope everything is good on your end. K three F K I seven three. Hi Jerry. Yeah, very good. And I have recorded that three zero eight nine two on the roster from Penn Hills in the Western PA. Uh, he's sounding good, uh, Jerry. Anything else over? Uh, negative. You are five over nine here and solid. The audio is as good as it always is. K3FKI out. 
All right, thank you, sir. You uh, looked like S8, S9 uh, at that moment when you were uh, giving that report. Yeah, K3FKI will clear with uh, Jerry. Next and up is uh, Romeo Oscar November. Good morning, WA4THR. Yes, Whiskey 2, Romeo Oscar November. Uh, you got me? I do, Ron. Good morning. How are you? I'm oh, pretty good. You guys sound great up here. You're S9 plus into Milton, Vermont. Yesterday, right is Ron, and uh, we've been listening here. Everybody sounds really good. We have a beautiful day up here. It's a sunshiny day with about 42 degrees, and the, the, the six or seven inches of snow we have is starting to melt away, so that'll be good. And we probably still going to be in for a little bit more, but not a whole lot, I, I hope. Anyway, not too much else to uh, tell you. We don't have any traffic, uh, but we do like to check in from time to time, and I'm pleased that you picked us up. So uh, I don't have anything else. We'll turn it back to you. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll look forward to talking again uh, soon. WA4CHRW2RON, Ron is Milton, Vermont. Okay, Ron, just a correction on my call. The uh, suffix is Tango Hotel Romeo, not uh, C. Uh, like uh, 10 Hungry Rats, since we were talking about field mice and stuff, <laughs> or top heavy radiation or something. Anyway, Ron, good to hear you. W2RON, Milton, Vermont. I'll clear with him, and we'll get up in uh, the Canada. Good morning, Terry. VE3NEJ, WA4THR. Hey, good morning, Vic. <clears throat> the QSB is like taking a, its toll on you. Um, yeah, but, hey, whoever's got that cat where the mice steal the cat's food, I think I'd be getting rid of that cat and hurry over it. Well, <laughs> if it wasn't for the cat, we'd have mice. <laughs> so, uh, and plus, uh, you uh, you got to know my wife. She uh, There's no animal that... Uh, the animals take higher priority than me, any animal. I can remember when I was dating her, she rescued an injured worm and uh, kept it in a jar and fed it for days before letting it free. This is, uh, you know, the cat uh, cat has a priority here. Over. Hey, uh, Zach, sorry, man. It's, uh, you drifted down into the noise there, so let me put a lid on it. Don't waste any time on me today because it's uh, not working right now anyway, Vic. 7-3, buddy. Thanks for trying. VE3 at EJ. All right, yeah, solid copy on you. I tried uh, changing antennas. It might have been the wrong thing to do. And we have a very uh, strong uh, DRAP approaching, uh, 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 just getting into the area. So, and it looks like we, uh, in the last hour or two, ha uh, had an M-class flare. So all of that's kind of messing things up. But we got you on the list, Terry. We'll catch you later, hopefully tomorrow. B 3 NEJ, Kitchener, Ontario. I'll clear with him. Go back to that antenna that I was trying, because it should work up in Michigan. Good morning, Rob. KC8SDL, WA4THR. WA4THR in the group. Joel, uh, Philly, South Lima. Good morning, then, brother, uh, brother Dick. I'm on the swan this morning. How copy? Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, I'm glad you are. Probably need a little extra power today. How's it going, Rob? Not too bad. Not too bad. Got a 49 degrees, partly overcast, I guess. Not too bad of a day. Boy, I got a quick question on that container ship that hit that bridge. Was that a drawbridge or a swing bridge or a regular bridge over it? Regular bridge, uh, like a box steel structure, you know, uh, with uh, like, you know, like, uh, you know, built like a box all the way across with multiple piers. You hit one and uh, that one came down and then the others started pulling apart and the whole thing collapsed from one end to the other. Over. Oh, QSO, QSO, boy. Well, uh, Thanks for the info, Vic. Over. All right, very good. Yeah, it was uh, 
it was at uh, you know one thirty in the morning, but it was clear. There's a uh, if you go online, there are lots of videos of the moment the ship hit the pier, and um, uh, bear in mind that this is in the harbor, so it was probably being operated by a pilot, a local pilot, to take it out of the harbor. That's the general rule. And it appeared to be in full control, except it hit the pier. Lights were on, and as soon as it hit it, the bridge hit the front of the deck, and all the lights went out. But it, uh, uh, and there are, they think, fatalities, but they just don't know. They think there might have been several cars on the bridge. There may have been some construction workers uh, pouring concrete. I've heard that they've rescued uh, two people. Uh, nobody on the ship apparently is hurt, but uh, that's uh, that's the story. Anyway, uh, the news is uh, is uh, live and changing, so keep up with that. KC8 SVL up in Bay City, Michigan. I'll clear with Rob. Reorient the antennas back uh, uh, to favor the north and south, and we'll look for more check-ins. Let me know if you're mobile, portable, or QRP, but anybody anywhere is welcome. Call Whiskey Alpha 4, Tango, Hotel, Romeo. November, Quebec, November 8, Charlie. Radio. Hello, Hello Bravo, Bravo 8, Norway. Echo, Quebec, Quebec. November 2, Zulu, Golf, Number Radio, Kilo, North. All right, I got... Some, missed some. Got November, Quebec, 8, Charlie, Echo, Quebec, Quebec, Zulu, Golf, November, or Romeo, Kilo, I think, Norway, or Romeo, Kilo, or something. And who are the others? Whiskey, Bravo, two, Lima, Kilowatt, Oscar. All right, Lima, Delta, Mike. Not very strong, but got you, Mike. Uh, was there anybody else? Let me get Mike while I can, because the way the band is uh, heating up here as the sun gets overhead, I might lose him. Uh, W8LDM, good morning. W84THR. Yeah, I had heard some folks saying it looked like the uh, lights went out and the power went off before it hit. Uh, the video that I saw, it looked like the lights went out when the bridge hit the lights on the front of the uh, deck, and then everything went dark. But uh, it, that could be it. I mean, there's uh, surely some explanation, and I guess it'll be a while before we know, Mike. All right, uh, we'll see you later. W8LDM, Marysville, Michigan. Not real strong today, but we'll get back and get to the other list. Bill, you were sounding good. NQ8C, WA4THR. Uh, well, good morning, Mick. WA4THR, NQ8C. I'm uh, very glad to hear that. You know, the band sounds kind of funny here. Seems to be a great deal of QSB on it, at least here in my location. But other than that, things are rolling along. Just wanted to jump in and say hello, over. I'm glad you did. Yeah, we had a pretty strong flare uh, in the uh, in the uh, M class. And if you look at the D layer absorption prediction, it's just about got us wiped out. <laughs> Any polar path is pretty well dead, and it is uh, it is uh, affecting things uh, up quite high in frequency. On the regular uh, direction, up around, uh, up through 15 meters, things are being attenuated. So not not a great day for uh, for uh, that. But uh, boy, overnight with a solar flux of 190 and no active uh, influence from the sun, I was hearing on 20 meters in the middle of the night, Australia folks talking to Africa folks, and you could hear it both sides. It was a uh, pretty amazing. Uh, running 100 watts between them too. Anyway, Bill, good to hear you. Anything else? Ah, uh, that'll do really well, Matt, but, uh, yeah, this one kind of weird. Uh, I had one, I guess, Friday night. I was in a three-way conversation on 20 meters, you know, with a, a couple of Australians, and then there was a guy from New Zealand in here, and all of us were running 100 watts, and I just got a, got a wire up, so, uh, hey, you know, it's kind of weird, but it's fun. I enjoy it. 7-3, my friend, NQ8C. 
Yeah, this is the time to enjoy it. The peak of the uh, cycle 25 is uh, coming up on us, if it's not already here. And uh, just amazing what you can do with uh, with little uh, little power antenna. The bands are amazing, especially when you get away from some of this turbulence that the sun does when it's overhead. NQHC, Yellow Springs, West Virginia. I'll clear with Bill. Next one up, KB8 Echo Quebec, Quebec in Ohio. Good morning, Larry. Yeah, good morning. Uh, thought I'd get in here and say hello. KB8 EQQ, AD148, um, Salem, Ohio, where it's uh, about drowning out. Go ahead. Yeah, very good. You're sounding good here. No problems from uh, Salem, Ohio this morning. I didn't look at the estimator, but, uh, yeah, I, I think the weather's typical for a lot of folks. It was identical to what they were giving me from Michigan. We're at 49 degrees and light overcast. Over. Yeah, QSL. It's not real cold. It's 41, and uh, it's been raining since, you know, over the night. And nonstop uh, heavy. <laughs> oh, well, there's nothing I can do about it. Carry on, KBADQ. Just want to say hello. No, I'm glad you did, and uh, always good to hear you, Larry. KB8 EQQ in, uh, in uh, Salem, Ohio. I'll clear with him. Next one up is up in Peru, uh, the one in New York, not the one down south. N2 ZGN, good morning, WA4THR. Hey, good morning, Vic. This is N2 ZGN, mobile, by the way. And I'm in uh, Stable Forks, uh, just coming to Stable Forks. Uh, Pretty good, yeah. I didn't realize you were mobile. I would have put you up to the top if I did, but uh, no problem. Into ZGN, and, and are you headed up toward Plattsburgh? Is that where you're headed? Over? Uh, negative. I'm heading away from uh, Plattsburgh. I'm heading southwest. Into okay, very good. Well, no problems uh, copying the mobile, although the QSB is a little more pronounced. Uh, anything we can do for you, Jerry? All right, very good. That was into ZGN Mobile up in New York. I'll clear with Jerry. Uh, next one up is uh, November 5, Romeo Kilo November, also New York, but uh, up around Adams, I guess. Good morning, Robert. Well, good morning to you and the rest of the group. And you are correct, except I'm up at our clubhouse just uh, west of Watertown. In fact, it's going to be a great spot out in the country. We have about three acres of land plus club building and, and storage buildings and silo and antennas. And a good place for the um, viewing of the uh, eclipse. So, and plus we'll be in the center of everything. So, no, and away from the crowd. Uh, so I may come out here when that is. And as far as cats go, yeah, I have two of them, and they're definitely not mousers. They'd rather take a watch the mouse steal their food. And, uh, <laughs> of course, I, I, I've got working coming over and putting traps down about once a month and double-checking everything. So I haven't had a mouse in about a year, year and a half, but uh, every once, once in a while they get in. Um, other than that, Sorry to hear about the uh, bridge collapse in Baltimore. Never been through Baltimore. Well, I have been through Baltimore, but that's been about 40-plus years ago, back about 1978, so quite a long time ago. And uh, only running 100 watts into a uh, long wire antenna up here offset. 73 and back to the net. November 5 radio kilo November. Yeah, okay, Robert. You uh, you were telling me the town that your clubhouse is in and what's the name of that again? Over. Well, the club is the Jefferson County Radio Amateur Club. It's in Jefferson County, New York. It's just west of Watertown off of Route 3. And uh, 
uh, we're actually in uh, the township of Houndsville, and but we're still basically part of Watertown, just the town of Houndsville. And uh, we've got about three acres that the club owns, and you know, lots of land and uh, a lot of place for an antenna project, a field day, and you name it. Oh, uh, that sounds great. Yeah, Watertown uh, rings a bell to me then, so uh, that's good. Well, that's uh, that's terrific. Uh, with the with the if that's a good spot for the eclipse, uh, probably total blackness. You could get involved in some of these things where they're going to try to see what happens to radios when the sun goes out. <laughs> uh, what does the propagation change like? So anyway, good to hear you, Robert. N5RKN up in uh, Watertown, New York at the uh, Jefferson County Radio Amateur Club. We'll clear with him and we'll do another call-up. We're looking for check-ins for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. And anybody anywhere is welcome. Call Whiskey Alpha 4 Tango Hotel Romeo. November in Uniform Whiskey Four Romeo Tango Hotel. All right, November Uniform Three Quebec, uh, one ending in Tango Hotel. Was there another one? Whiskey Bravo Two Lima Kilowatt Oscar. Lima Kilowatt Oscar. All right, well let's take these three then. Uh, November Uniform Three Quebec in Carnegie. Good morning, Bob. Ah, good morning. How you doing? I heard you guys talk about cats before. I a good laugh. Uh, so I can relate. I have a ten-year-old cat, so I can relate to what you guys are saying here. She likes to go after the uh, toy mice bring to us in Carowall, and she wants to give a praise for catching the mouse. So we praise her for it, and all's good. So it's kind of hysterical. Hi, hi. Yeah, this uh, this particular cat is a Hemingway. It's a polydactyl, six uh, six toes or six uh, yeah toes on every paw. And uh, that much more claws to catch something with, and she is very good at it. And I think Hemingway's were known for that, and that's why he had them, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, the the, uh, the only uh, disappointing thing, I don't mind her catching them. I don't mind her eating them. Uh, I don't even mind occasionally when she leaves one out on the floor somewhere. It's when she brings them into the bed with us for us to play with. I'm not so thrilled by that, Bob. Over. Yeah, I know to me, I want to bring you a gift, so yeah. That's your sign of affection, so I know it's weird, but that's the way it works, yeah. Now, I have a 10 year old, um, uh, gray and white tabby. Her name's Heidi. She's a really, really nice cat. Unfortunately, I took her to the vet on Thursday. She has to get all her teeth taken out, so she's not going to be happy with us. Hi, hi. Yeah, we had one for a long time that was pretty much toothless, but somehow she managed to, uh, Survived. She was one of the barn cats. All right, uh, Bob, good to hear you. NU3Q, Carnegie, Pennsylvania. I'll clear with him. Next one was uh, one ending in Tango Hotel. Good morning, WA4THR. Uh, good morning, Vic. The call signs Whiskey 4, Romeo Tango Hotel, Bob. He calls number 4287, if you can hear me. The band is really, really bad today, at least in my, in my location. Anyway, I'm not going to hold it because you might have a hard time copying me. So just wanted to check in and say hello to everybody. So turn it back over to you, Vic, W-A-4-T-H-R, W-4-R-T-H. Yeah, no problem at all, uh, uh, Bob. Good copy from Hanover, W-4-R-T-H, 4287 on the list. But uh, I'm gathering that, uh, you know, the, the closer you are to the having the sun directly overhead, the more trouble people are having. <laughs> so uh, that uh, that's the way it works sometimes. Anyway, 7-3, Bob, good to hear you. Okay, Vic, 7-3, have a good day, W-4-R-T-H. All right, yeah, S-7, S-8, no problem. Uh, clear, W-4-R-T-H, last one on this list, Lima Kilowatt Oscar. Uh, good morning, W-A-4-T-H-R. W-A-4-T-H-R and the uh, group, W-G-2-L-K-O. Name is Mike, uh, what's my number, 20693. I'm hearing everybody, not real loud, but I'm hearing everybody. Uh, regarding the grid, remember, first reports are always wrong, um, but my guess, uh, I, yeah, I do have some experience with ships and boats and coast guard and all that. And my first guess is that they may have temporarily lost, uh, possibly generator power, which means they could not run their um, hydraulic pumps, so they would not be able to control the uh, runner. And without electrical power, even for a couple seconds, they couldn't run the, um, the thruster. My guess is that that's what they're going to figure out, but it's way, way, way too soon uh, to tell. Over. Yeah, 
it, uh, I suspect you're probably right. It, if some, for some reason, they lost control and, and steered right into the uh, into the uh, into the bridge rather than going under it. So uh, something happened, uh, and that's uh, probably uh, you know the Octum's razor. The simplest explanation is probably the right one. Anyway, Mike, good to hear you this morning. Anything else? Uh, no, just uh, um, our boat is probably going in the water next week, and shortly after that, you will hear me on QRP uh, whenever we're on board, uh, uh, or thankful. Um, so we're all excited about that, which means I'm not working on the model trains now because now it's boat season. Over. Well, we'll look forward to it. Uh, always interesting to hear QRP stations and uh, QRP uh, mobile, maritime mobile, aquatic mobile, uh, airborne mobile, aircraft mobile. All of those <laughs> are, are always interesting to pick up. Uh, so we'll look forward to that when you get your boat in the water, Mike. WB2 LKO over in Marlton, New Jersey. I'll clear with him. We'll do another call-up. You're listening to the East Coast Amateur Radio Service, and we love to get check-ins from anybody, anywhere. Let me know if you're mobile, portable, or QRP. Net control is Whiskey Alpha 4, Tango Hotel Romeo. My name is Vic, Victor India Charlie. I'm in Bear Gap, Pennsylvania, and I'm listening. Four X-ray mobile. Uh, was that the four X-ray mobile? Is that right? Uh, the mobile. Let me point to the south. The mobile station. Uh, call again, please. Four X-ray. Yeah. What's the rest of the call? Whiskey India four X-ray. All right, I'm getting uh, India for X-ray. Let me see if that comes up when, uh, and fills it out. Still don't have it. Uh, is it Whiskey India, Kilo India, or what is it? Over. Okay, sir, it's Whiskey India for X-ray. All right, now I got it. Whiskey India for X-ray, and uh, I don't believe we've talked before. What's the name and where are you located? Okay, name here is Tom. That's Tango Oscar Mike. And the QTH is Virginia Beach, Virginia. Oh, very good, Tom. I've got you dialed in now. You sounded pretty good. WI4X, Virginia Beach. And uh, you guys may be getting some more uh, uh, container ship traffic now that uh, Baltimore is out of the uh, out of the picture for a while. What are you running there in the mobile, uh, Tom? Over. I'm running uh, 95 watts from an IC7100 into an Outback uh, Perth antenna with the, uh, with the Wander lead on it. All right, I remember those very good, and it's uh, doing a good job. Good copy up into eastern Pennsylvania. Anything we can do for you today, Tom? No, I just wanted to check in. I wanted to say we're having a, a rather it's a solid overcast day. Uh, we're supposed to start getting some more rain uh, starting, I believe it is Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, we had about uh, three inches of rain last week. It looks like uh, uh, we're going to get it again. Uh, all in all, it was uh, no real major flooding or anything, thank goodness. But uh, we're uh, hanging in there, 46 degrees, 46 degrees. And, uh, you know, I heard you all talking about that ship. I read about that this morning. That, uh, that container ship, it was a full 67, 67 seconds before, uh, you know, before they hit it. And 67 seconds before that, the lights went out on the on the container ship. I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but that's just too weird. And uh, they should have had all kinds of uh, uh, proximity units going off, screaming, "Hey, you're going to hit something!" Hey, I don't know. It, it just sounds weird. Yeah, I, I, the uh, the video I saw was just at the moment it hit, and the lights were on. Of course, they went off when the bridge hit the ship. Knocked out the uh, the lights in front. So, but uh, if it was 67 uh, seconds before that, that was not on the video, <laughs> and uh, that would probably uh, that probably uh, explains it clearly. They uh, it either it was an either intentional uh, uh, problem, which I doubt. It's more likely that they had uh, some uh, a mechanical or electrical issue that uh, caused them to lose directional control there. Too bad. It's hard to stop those things. You know, a lot of weight. So it's tough to uh, just uh, throw the brakes on. Anyway, Tom, nice to meet you. Look forward to doing it again. Have a great day. Over. 
This, you take care. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. And uh, uh, good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. We'll uh, talk at you tomorrow. This is WI4S Mobile, Virginia Beach, Virginia. I'll be clear. All right, seven three, Tom. That's WI four X Mobile in Virginia Beach. Uh, we'll clear with him. Looking for more check ins. Anybody anywhere? Call WA four THR. Good morning, Larry. K one FRC Kilo one Fox Radio Charlie. Kilo Charlie three Golf Bravo Whiskey. Kilo Charlie three Victor Alpha Foxtrot. All right, I missed some at the beginning, but I've got uh, K1 Fox Radio Charlie, KC3 Golf Bravo Whiskey, KC3 Victor Alpha Fox. Who are the others? Kilo Bravo 3, Kilo Sierra Bravo. Kilo Sierra Bravo, are you mobile there? Over? Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Kilo Bravo 3, Kilo 5, and Mobile, Mobile. All right, we'll get you up at the top. Uh, uh, anybody else I'm missing? All right, Rudy, gosh, this is right in your neck of the woods. I guess you're having to detour a bit. KB3 KSB Mobile, WA4THR. Uh, good, uh, good morning, sir. No, I don't have to mow. I don't have to go that way no more. I used to go that way every day, take this lady to work, but I have to go that way no more. So I don't have to mobile up that way. I have to detour that way. Good morning, sir. Kilo Bravo 3. Okay, well, that's good, uh, but uh, I suspect you'll see more traffic on whatever way you go because that's a, a major thoroughfare that now has to go some other way. So, anyway, uh, good to hear you this morning, Rudy. Anything we can do for you? Uh, no, sir. You're absolutely right. It's going to be a mess in the city for a while. No, sir. Thanks for picking me up. Good morning. Kilo Bravo 3, Kilo Sideband Mobile listening. All right, that's KB3KSB in the aforementioned Baltimore, Maryland, Mobile. I'll clear with Rudy. Get back to the top of the list. K1FRC in Connecticut. Good morning, Steve. Hey there. Good morning, Larry. How are you? Um, Steve, up here in uh, Beacon Falls, Connecticut, we're, um, we're holding in at uh, 45 degrees, well, 44.9, so call it 45 degrees. Uh, wind is, um, well, you know, it's... It's hard to tell. It says uh, one mile an hour, but I'm in a I'm in a deep hole where the weather station is, <laughs> so I don't think it's uh, completely accurate because the wind is pretty stiff if you're in a parking lot, which I was earlier. Barometer two nine point eight eight and um, slowly falling, and um, I don't know. I guess that takes care of the weather information. Um, yeah, it's cold out there. The, all the news this morning talking about the um, talking about the uh, bridge collapse on the Patasco River. You know, I used to work um, in Baltimore. I actually was stationed at Fort McHenry as a active duty reservist who trained reserves, and from the reserve center, you could see that bridge going across the Patapsco River. And I just cannot fathom that thing coming down. But I always have wondered when I'm going over a giant bridge, you know, is this thing going to fall while I'm driving over it? That's got to be an absolute nightmare, for, especially for anybody that worries about such things. Good Lord, well, you're doing a good service here. Um, you know, just talking about it and getting the word out to the world um, that may not already know, that maybe hasn't turned on the television, and uh, you're doing a good job. Your signal is up and down, and you want to talk about weird solar conditions. You go from 10 over to about an S3 to an S5, and then back up. So, I don't know, it, it's going to be a wild day. My other radio is uh, sitting on six meters, waiting and hoping for an opening this afternoon. Anyway, it's all I got, Larry. Um, have a good shift, and um, we'll talk to you down the road. Huh? All right, very good. Uh, you mentioned uh, my name as Larry a couple of times. The name here is Vic, Victor India Charlie. It's possible if you're looking at QRZ, you entered the wrong call. It's Whiskey Alpha 4 Tango Hotel Romeo. But I don't mind. I mean, I imagine Larry's a fine guy, and I'm honored to be uh, called after him. Steve, over. You know what? I was li I had my log open, and I looked at the entry underneath yours. 
I'm sorry, Vic. Uh, <laughs> you know how many times I do that to people? Good Lord. Man, I apologize. Uh, you know what? They, the, the, like I always say, you can call me uh, late to work, and you can call me uh, anything you want. But my real name's Steve. <laughs> and that's the one I sign the checks with. But anyway. All right, no problem. <laughs> I, and I do that sometimes because I have lists here that I'm uh, working through the check-ins. Of, I'll sometimes call the one above or behind or something like that and myself. K1FRC up in Beacon Falls, Connecticut. I'll clear with Steve. Next up, KC3 Golf, Bravo Whiskey in Stewartstown. Keith, good morning. Hey, good morning, Vic. Yeah, nasty stuff about that bridge. You got up and turn on the news and saw a ship hitting and saw the whole thing collapse. It's like, you know, there's that whole area in between the supports. Uh, just, something just seems fishy to me. Over. Well, it's amazing, uh, you know, how uh, it, it, sometimes you hit something just the wrong place. Once that one pulled apart, it looks like it pulled apart the joiners at every other every other uh, pier, and uh, those sections just uh, fell apart uh, all get together. Just That's the part that surprised me. You would kind of a thought one would have gone down, certainly where it hit, but uh, to have all the rest of them come off, too, that was, uh, that's amazing. Anyway, it's a mess. I don't know how old that bridge is. I'm sure we'll hear all of that stuff. You don't see a lot of uh, open steel structures like that anymore. They tend to be, you know, concrete and... Uh, and uh, and uh, supported only on one uh, one end or something anymore. Good to hear you, Keith. Anything else? No, no. I just when the ship hit that and I saw everything collapse. It's like, can you imagine being in a car on there? It's like, oh man, you hit that water and it's game over. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> oh. back to net. Yeah, I've, it's you know to be developed. Uh, one of the uh, one of the reports was there might be seven cars in the water, but uh, who knows? Anyway, KC3 GBW Stewartstown, Pennsylvania. I'll clear with uh, Keith, and we'll go get KC3 Victor Alpha Foxtrot up in or down in over in that old Brad. You're in Maryland, anyway. Over. Roger, Dick. Yeah, this is Brad from Mount Airy, Maryland. Um, Proud member of ECAR, 30902, and uh, just listen to your conversation. All I can say about the bridge is I'm glad it wasn't during rush hour. That would have been a disaster. So I will make this my 73 and clear with you, Dick. Uh, over. All right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, if, uh, if probably the least traffic that you could imagine on that bridge would have been at 1.30 in the morning, I know one uh, one report was that there were construction workers doing uh, during roadway repair uh, up there, and uh, maybe seven of them, and uh, they've pulled two people out of the water. One uh, not injured at all. He must have climbed up on something. The other, uh, uh, you know, frostbite kind of stuff from the cold water, but is alive. I don't know about uh, who else. Ship reported they're not missing anybody. Uh, so the question is, who was on the bridge, either in a car or at the work, that, they'll, uh, that are potential fatalities? Anyway, nice to hear you this morning, Brad. Anything else? No, no, that's it. Um, you're very, really bad. It's amazing. Uh, while you talk, you can go all the way down to 3 and then all the way up to 10. So I hope you hear me clear. Uh, 73. Yeah, no problem. That uh, DRAP is right on top of us. And sneaking in from the North Pole, too, <laughs> that, uh, the total blackout stuff is uh, already down into southern Canada. All right, uh, we'll catch you later. That's KC3BAF. That, uh, that clears that list and uh, clears my shift. So we're right on time to switch over to the next net control. Uh, we'll see if he's ready to pick it up. WA3GIN. Dave, are you in there? WA4THR. Yes, sir. Good morning, Vic. WA3GIN. Copy you, Lima Charlie. No problem with you either. Well, good luck. The band is uh, pretty pretty uh, uh, schizophrenic this morning. <laughs> You've got a big signal, but uh, uh, it's uh, certainly the uh, ionosphere is uh, in storm conditions up there, churning waves of magnetic part of a, of a conductive particles. I guess. Anyway, all yours, Dave. WA three GAN seven three WA four THR. Okay, Vic, very good. Thank you very much. Well, 
let's see here. There we go. This is WA3GIN, Whiskey Alpha 3 Golf India November. And the name is Dave, Dog Alpha Victor Easy. And we're located in King George County, Virginia, about uh, 90 miles west of the Atlantic Ocean on the southern shores of the Potomac River. And I'd say 50 miles south of Washington, D.C. And we got a beautiful day here. And severe clear is the forecast for today, currently 49 degrees. We're standby for, uh, first of all, anybody with any uh, traffic or any uh, schedules for the top of the hour, NFI. Net. So, uh, I got a call from the kitchen. I'll be right back. So nobody there. How about uh, mobiles in motion? Any mobiles today? Kilo Bravo three, Kilo side band mobile. Okay, Rudy, I got you in there today. Any other mobiles? All right, KB three KSB, go ahead. Good morning, sir. You sound real good. I think you got a cold or something, but you sound real good in Baltimore, huh? Kilo Bravo 3, Kilo Sideband Mobile. It's uh, 47 degrees, and it is a problem. We've been having the key bridge. Thank God I have to go that way no more. Is that right? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I've been on that bridge more than once. That's a shame. A 47-year-old bridge. But, boy, when they go, they go fast. Especially uh, that type of design. Because all the, the stress is spread across the entire structure, so... When you lose support in one area, uh, it just pulls everything right apart. There are some uh, live videos of that incident last night, taking place last night. Uh, I think they're on Facebook. Uh, uh, and if you're really interested in bridges, you can go to Wikipedia and, uh, and Google uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge. And you can read all kinds of statistics about the bridge, how high it was, how long it was, et cetera. But it's going to be a, it's going to be interesting. That, and that's not going to be replaced uh, like a piece of asphalt, but uh, that we've seen in Philadelphia, for example, up in Pennsylvania, for a couple of weeks. This is not going to be a couple of week project, unfortunately. We just replaced a similar design bridge uh, over here uh, on the river, and it was a multi-year project. Uh, so, I guess there's going to be some heavy traffic on the alternate paths uh, for quite a while. Anyhow, Rudy, you're sounding good, and thanks for checking in with us. Drive safe. Thank you, sir. Thanks for taking me up. I do appreciate it. I know exactly what you mean by the... Uh by the bridge and I have them up. You sound real good. Take care. Kilo Bravo 3, Kilo Sideband Mobile. Thank you. All righty. Any other mobiles for East Cars today? All right, then. How about QRP stations? Any QRP? All right. No QRP stations. Then we'll take a fixed station list for the East Coast Amateur Radio Service Network. Kilo Delta 4, India Zulu. So what, Charlie? Yeah, Lima. Okay, got the Joy Boys in there this morning. KD4IZ and KC8SDL. Jack, how you doing? I, I heard you on Sunday, uh, but not here at my station uh, when I was playing back... Uh, 
the, the video from uh, from Jeff's station. I heard you calling, trying to check in, but I could not hear you down here. Well, that doesn't have uh, surprise me. <laughs> yeah, you know that mobile installation is. Uh, I won't call it marginal, but uh, forty meters. Uh, that's a that's a tough stretch for for any mobile. Uh, if you're not running a whole lot of power, and I, I tend to keep that idling, uh, I don't I don't like to push it too hard. And um, the auto tune mechanism for the mobile antenna it doesn't always put it right on the spot. So uh, sometimes it'll be right off the spot, and uh, the radiation is inefficient. I just didn't have time to adjust it over. Yeah, yeah, no. I don't, I think the skip just wasn't there. Skip was funky on Sunday. Yeah, the uh, ionosphere was pretty roiled, roiled up. Well, anyway, Dave, I, uh, before I left to go down to North Carolina, I did work out the, uh, the issue with the uh, audio panel. Uh, Jeff stuck his head in and Help me put the last tweak on it. It may be a little compressed at the moment, but it shouldn't be too bad ever. Yeah, it doesn't sound bad at all. Uh, and you, uh, not at all, but you're at home now, right? Oh, yeah. I'm on the 7610 using the amp. You know, I just wanted to give us a stress test today because tomorrow's that day. And I've got the 11 o'clock shift. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Good. Yeah, it sounded good. I have no complaints. Well, in that case, neither do I. That's really good. Well, good to catch you on this morning. And, uh, yeah, I posted some, I, I, I don't know whether, yeah, I guess you do use Slack. The, the, the CNN ongoing update link is on Slack. And, uh, I put out a quick note saying anybody, uh, who checks in and is north south uh, ought to be told to go west of Baltimore or through the tunnels. Of course, uh, anything with a gas canister or hazmat can't go through the tunnels anymore. That's all uh, been taken care of. So they'll have to go around the west side of Baltimore uh, on the uh, on 695 loop over. Yeah, I'm sure all the truckers have got that message from their satellite link. Uh, uh, somebody's got their box turned on. Yeah, that usually happens. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, I was I was more thinking about people coming back from Florida in their RVs. Man, there were a bunch of them on the road, both yesterday and particularly on Sunday, on our way back north. Um, and those guys all have propane bottles and everything else, so they cannot go through the tunnel. And... Uh, that's a major issue. Anyway, I guess uh, uh, the uh, pandemonium crossroads there where 695 cuts off 83 and 695 dovetails back into 95 up north of Baltimore, uh, those are going to be just a mess today. I haven't even looked at the Google map to see, but uh, name of the game, Katie 4 eyes it. Yeah, okay, very good. I think if it's less than 10 pounds, one one unit less than 10 pounds, I think they do let you go through. I, I just read that quickly this morning when I was looking at the restrictions. So, Bill, I wouldn't want to take an RV through that place. I get, I get claustrophobic. Oh, I, 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 I used to drive. I, I had a, a, a camper van. I used to drive through there all the time, and they didn't uh, they didn't have the bottle warning up back then. Uh, but I always thought about it. Uh, I just had a a, a, a grill sized bottle, but a lot of those big RVs have got 25 pound bottles, uh, the bigger bottles, and they aren't going to go through. Right. I wouldn't let them through anyway, just because they're too darn big, and uh, I'd probably freak out somebody uh, driving in a VW. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Anyhow, sounding good. You'll be all set for tomorrow. Yeah, 
sounds a winner. Katie Four Eyes, uh, Patty to Rob up there. I think I, I heard him. Go ahead. All right, catch you later. KC8SDL, come on in. Well, good morning, Mr. Davis. This is the A3CIN. And the group, you know, is Charlie. Well, I got this one on. Hey, I'll copy. You sound good. Okay, very good. Uh, very good. Very good. Very good. Rob, yeah, the band's really quiet today. I can hear you. Over. Okay, uh, copy that. Yeah, it's a little bit noisy on this and here about like, QRM up on 58, but got to get copy. Boy, do you think about that bridge there, that freighter? That's pretty sad, but I've been watching the news about this morning, but hopefully there's no fatality, but it's sad. But, yeah. I don't know. Okay, yes. Uh, yeah, so I got to report. We got 49 degrees. Pretty nice day. Currently cloudy. Pretty nice degree. Okay, very good, Dave. Dave, you have a good day. We'll talk to you another time. Eight, four, five, three, five, seven. Okay, Rob. Fine business. Yeah, there were four. I could tell from the video. It looked like there were about four work vehicles on the bridge at the time. So, uh, and they took the ride. They rode the bridge down. So I don't know where those folks were, but it looked like most of the traffic had crossed it before that thing went under. It was a big 18-wheeler that had just crossed it. <clears throat> it's only one shot. It's only one camera shot, so it's really hard to tell exactly what was going on. But it looked like that boat was uh, drifting hard, and. Uh, There's an obstacle uh, coming in that maybe he was trying to get around uh, or correct it. I don't know. We'll find out more in a week or two. East Cars Radio, this is WA3GIN, King George, Virginia. Operator Dave listening for any check-in. Victor Echo 3, November Echo Juliet. All right, uh, E3NEJ, long time no here. Yeah, yeah, you disappeared off the map with your amplifier being down. Over? Yeah, yeah, well, I think conditions had a lot to do with it, too. But uh, we're running the little 7800 at the moment, still waiting for the tube to get here. So what kind of power are you producing today? Yeah, about a KW. Okay. Yeah, you're sounding okay. You're plus 10. Sometimes plus 20, sometimes that's 7. So take your pick. Oh, and I, oh, I got one preamp on, but I also I preamp by 6 dB and attenuated by 6 dB. Now, does that make sense? I'm uh, not sure what you're trying to achieve. Well, it's an RF preamp is turned on. I just noticed it's turned on. But so is the 6 dB attenuator. So that's an RF attenuator as well. <laughs> I can hear you okay. Yeah, it's like that, that thing, you know, you stand beside Buddy in his pickup truck, tell him to go ahead and back up. Unbelievable. Well, anyhow, then the good news is that I can copy you. Well, as long as we can copy, that's right. What do we got up here? 43 degrees. So oh, humidity's on its way up. Must be some rain coming. Okay. I see the sunshine has disappeared, and I have clouds on my display, so... And my cell phone shows me raining here, so I guess that's what's happening. It must be raining outside. I see it on the internet. Over. <laughs> Are you in the basement? Of course, with no windows. I have a box. All righty. Terry, take care. Have a good week. Okay, Dave. I'm starting to lose you. Good. We'll talk again then, sure. Ben's got to get better. If not, we'll have to use the telephone. See you later, Dave. Be three NEJ. All righty. Well, if this is the peak of the cycle, I want my money back. Uh, uh, me too. East Cars Radio on 55. WA3 GIN listening. KI4 FON. All right, Mr. Don, up in Alexandria. KI4 FON. Come on in. Hey there, <laughs> you're doing, it sounds like you got the kind of problem, but uh, it's all uh, running well here, uh, so, so 
Oh, it's got to our, our army running around. Our army. But uh, we're all doing fine. Uh, see you later. All right, Don, very good. Nice to have you in here. I'm still waiting for the weather to warm up, though. A little bit chilly out there, even at 49 degrees. It's cooler than that. Thanks for checking in with us. Have a great day. Say hello to the boss, and we'll catch you later. Yeah, 73. Hey, boop. East Cars Radio, WA3GIN, listening for any state. November 2, Papa, Oscar, X-Ray. Hello, Charlie 1, Mike, Django, Mike. All right, N2, POX, and KC1, MTM. Any others? Nothing heard. K, excuse me, N2, POX. Good morning, Rich. Hello, WA3GIN, N2, POX, 21212 on the roster. Morning, Dave. Um, how are you? Everyone's talking about the bridge collapse. Yeah, well, that's I, that's refreshing. Uh, so I, it's sad to see it happen, but uh, I I prefer talking about uh, anything but politics. So the bridge will suck a lot of the air out of that today. So, roger that. Um, here's something interestingly stupid. Um, I heard a media figure saying that you would think the bridge would be able to sustain a collision like that. Um, hello, uh, the tanker weighed 95,000 tons, so um, I don't know what this uh, media personality was thinking about. Hey, there should be an IQ test for the talking heads. I've been saying that for a long time. Some of the stupid stuff that comes out of their mouth, it just makes you shake your head. Yeah, roger, roger, Dave. Like that guy in that show said, just the facts, ma'am. All right, Dave, you have a good day. Uh, and uh, thanks for taking the net. WA3GIN, N2POX73. All right, buddy, very fine. Nice to hear you again. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it'll warm up to 60. We'll see. Next on the list, KC1MTM. Come on in. Good morning, Dave. It's a gloomy day here, overcast. Pretty bright, but uh, and no rain in the schedule. It is, however, 44 degrees, which is pretty pleasant. Uh, I'll copy, over. Okay, well, the band is not, the band's not very robust today. You're an S6, S7 here, not too bad. Uh, it's, it's quiet, so uh, it's a Q5 copy. Go ahead. Yeah, same here. You you usually blank out the background noise, but that's not happening today. That sun is really tearing us up. But I have a 5 by 9 signal on you, though, so it's, uh, you're doing well. Yeah, well, you were in 5 9 that time. Uh, the noise floor is uh, about five and a half, six here, so. Well, anyhow, it is what it is, isn't it? Okay, well, listen, thanks for joining us this morning. Have a great week. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thanks for your service as a net controller. Uh, my number is 10500, by the way. And uh, it's good talking with you. Have a great day. Seven three. All righty, very fine. Thank you very much. Certainly appreciate keeping us busy here. Peace Cars Radio, WA3GIN, listening. Hello, Charlie 1, Mike Romeo. Hello, Delta 2, Victor Lima, Quebec. Whiskey no, Bravo 2, Lima, Delta India. Forever 2, Zulu Echo Alpha Mobile. All righty, I got N2 ZEA Mobile, I got uh, KC1MR, KD2 VLQ, N1EXI. Uh, were there any others? KLO2, Quebec Whiskey, Quebec. KLO2, Quebec Whiskey, Quebec, who else? Anyone? Whiskey Bravo, 2 Lima, Kilowatt. 
added somebody in there, but the QRM took you out. We'll call again. Let's get the mobile station first. N2, ZEA Mobile. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Glenn. Gulf Lima, Echo November, QTH Long Island. And just sitting in the park a lot, playing with the radio. Just talk to you guys. How are you doing today? Glenn, we're fine. You're listening to the East Coast Amateur Radio Service Network. Uh, traditionally uh, all about mobile operations, so glad to have you checking in as a mobile, even if you're, uh, what do they call that, fixed mobile. You're 59 plus 5 here into King George County, Virginia, which is 50 miles south of Washington, D.C., and 90 miles west of the Atlantic Ocean. And my name is Dave, and the call is WA3GIN. Tell us about your mobile setup. Oh, let's see, we got an ICOM 706 I got from my dad, and we've got a Scorpion screwdriver in the back, and just got a, a Meritron antenna controller just to install that. Seems to be working pretty good. What's your call again, please? Whiskey, America 3, Germany, Italy, Norway. Roger, Roger, thank you. How do you like that Scorpion antenna, and how does it work with that Ameritron controller? Seems to work pretty good. The problem here in Long Island, we got low bridges and they keep whacking the stinger on it. So I've replaced that a couple times. The trees don't help. But otherwise, I like it. It seems to work pretty good. It's got a very critical uh, spot for SWR. Get the top of the band, you got to tune it again. Bomber band, you got to retune it. So I need to live with that. Yeah, well, that's cute. You, want, you really want that. Uh, otherwise, the antenna is not very efficient, so. It's a compromise. It, uh, you can live with that. And you can also fold that, that stinger over. <clears throat> we used to, we used to run ours, uh, perpendicular, not perpendicular, parallel with the bumper. You know? So just fold it over, uh, and, uh, and tie it off on the other end of the, of the, uh, of the bumper with some, uh, ham rope or something like that. It works just as well, believe it or not. I do believe it seems to be working okay. What does that do to the radiation pattern? Uh, you're not worried about radiation pattern on HF Mobile. It's a big blob, and it doesn't really matter what you do. It's always going to be a big blob uh, on 40, 25 meters. You, you really don't start getting into a pattern until you get up to 20 meters and higher. Oh, okay, I get it. It, um... Uh... So at 20 minutes higher, would, would that affect the pattern much? What would it do? Nah, you might see somewhat of a pattern as you start to get closer to a quarter wavelength. Uh, you, you could see where the where the metal of the vehicle might uh, pull some of the signal in that direction. Again, you're not going to be worried about that because it's not going to be that noticeable. It's not going to be 6 dB difference. Roger, I understand that. I just got to worry about the bridges here. How you guys do today? What's up? What are you going to do uh, for today? Yeah, exactly right. So, so you know, you know, exactly right. And when you go in the parking lots, you don't want to whack all the fluorescent tubes that are still hanging down. So, uh, folding that over is a is a great way to go, and then you don't have to think about it anymore. And it worked just fine here on 40 meters. You're doing a great job, you know, 5, 9 plus 5. That's wonderful. Well, that's a nice report. Well, that's what they say about uh, propagation. You're going to be 5, 9 into somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> it's a work. No, that's true. Very true. All right, well, listen, drive safe, keep your eyes open, have a great week. Thanks for checking in these cars. We're here seven days a week, 8 a.m. until about 1.30 every day. Great, thanks for the combat. 7-3, take care. All righty, that's 7-06. Cars Radio, next on the list is AC1MR, Mr. Beantown Ray, come on in. Good morning. And uh, anyway, I, my, I got kind of a crazy antenna pattern anyway on my home, home set here, so I, <laughs> I might as well be mobile. Anyway, Dave, good morning. And uh, it's a cloudy day. It's got to rain a little bit, but it looks like we're going to have a rainy week. My wife is heading to Florida with, to visit my son. So I'm going to be, it's going to be me and the cat taking care of each other. Go ahead. 
carry a doe very fine. Well, you take good care of the cats, the cat will take good care of you. Yeah, that sounds like it. But anyway, you're five and nine, and uh, plus five, so you're doing a real good job. Kids, all things considered. And uh, that's about it. So you take care, David. Have a good day, okay, buddy? All righty, very good. Thank you. We'll catch you later. Uh, next on the list is Katie Two VLQ. Good morning. Welcome to East Cars. Ah, good morning, Dave. Good morning, Dave. Uh, East Cars number two one two two five. Uh, name is Vince. Uh, we've chatted before from time to time. I was just taking a listen, uh, seeing who's on forty meters. Um, yeah, I was working the higher frequencies a little earlier. Uh, they're just sort of opening up. There's uh, ten meters is uh, is probably kicking a little more signals than. Uh, uh, 15 or so, but uh, it, it's opening up, and we can get some good conversations up there. But always nice to come down here and uh, hear all familiar faces on, on e-cars. Weather here is uh, just about everywhere else in this area. It's um, sun's trying to break out. It's pleasantly 48 degrees. Um, I'm just counting the days till it gets warmer and warmer, and uh, spring is here. Trees are budding, and uh, uh, we're happy campers right now. So nothing uh, unusual to report. Uh, and thanks for uh, doing net control. You you do a great job, Dave. Thank you. WA three G I N K D two Victor Lima Queen. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, sounds like you're all set for the week. Uh, so far we're doing good. The tree pollen is mostly pretty high right now, and not bothering us much. So no complaints there. East Cars Radio on 55, next on the list. And one, e X I E X I. it's all yours. Oh, that was a fun toy, so it was in the days. This is November 1, Echo X-Ray India. Name is Greg. It's located in Little Lake Harbor, New Jersey, about 20 miles north of Atlantic City, where it's uh, like 48, like everybody else seems to be the common number here, 48, and, uh, you know, partially overcast. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. Rain coming, big deal. Uh, I have a uh, foot barometer, I can tell, you know. Uh, once I can't fit in my shoes, <laughs> I know uh, rain is uh, coming soon. Anyway, uh, you take care. We'll be uh, listening. Really good signal. Very nice signal from uh, King George, uh, Virginia there. Uh, back to net control. This is N1EXI. Over, over. Okay, very nice to have you come in here this morning, Greg. Appreciate that. Thanks for the report. You're also sounding good here. And it's just a sort of a lazy Tuesday morning here, not pushing it too hard. So, that's why I was in the kitchen making a pie for Easter. And uh, for that sun to really warm the place up a little. Take care. Season's greetings. And next is K2 QWQ. Good morning. K2 QWQ. All righty. Nothing heard there. It's 30 minutes after the hour, 1130 here on the... Uh, I call this a Tuesday, the 26th of March. This is station WA3GIN, operator Dave. Transmitter is located in King George County, Virginia, where it is 49 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. You're listening to East Cars, and we're standing by for East. Whiskey Bravo 2. Hello, Bravo 8, Echo. Kilo 1, Victor Yankee United. Kilo 3, Echo Zulu Juliet. All righty, I got a KB2, I got a KB8, I got a K1, and I got a K3TZJ. Now let's go up to the W2, WB2, come in with your full call name and location. Uh, I think you're calling me, it's Whiskey Bravo 2, Lima, Kilowatt, Oscar, WB2, LKO. Name is Mike. Uh, e car's number 20693. I'm hearing all stations, uh, not uh, super loud, but... Um, the band seems quiet. 
um, just, uh, I just saw a most recent report about that bridge, uh, and of course, first reports are always wrong, but apparently the ship notified, um, officials, uh, that they had lost power temporarily. And if they did, then that means they're what they call a vessel not under command, which means they can't control the rudder and they can't control, uh, so that may have been what happened, but uh, I get uh, the Coast Guard publication proceedings, and in about six months they'll have the uh, investigation finished, and then we'll know for sure. Over. Oh, okay, very good. I think the uh, the video that showed the power loss is on the bridge, uh, not the the ship, but uh, hard to tell from an amateur uh, video. You're correct. I'm sure there'll be more to know about it. Those things are monsters, and uh, you know, in the old days, you called. They used to be called a pilot. A pilot uh, was in charge of the bay, or sometimes a river, and they would sort of uh, manage and escort those ships in and out. And I think they aren't doing that anymore. And Maybe uh, maybe they were going to bring that back. That certainly certainly uh, could have helped. Perhaps could have helped. What happened? Uh, but that thing looked like it was all over the place. Again, just uh, from one perspective shot, hard to tell. It's not like the not like the basketball replays where you get uh, shots from eight different cameras. Thanks very much for joining us this morning, and have a good day, Mike. Okay, you betcha, everybody. Have a great day. Yeah, I, I suspect they still do have uh, a river of pilots uh, when those ships come in, and it, uh, automatically people start saying, uh, well, was there some kind of conspiracy? I uh, Rumors start flying almost immediately, and most of the rumors are based on nothing. Um, so I, I think it was purely an accident, either somebody not paying attention, but that's probably not the case here. Uh, I'll bet six months from now you'll find out it was a mechanical problem. Over. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Well, you know, the Internet has empowered a lot of sick puppies, and not just in this country. There, there are sick puppies all around the planet, at, you know, dropped at birth or something, and uh, the, that brain cells aren't working exactly right. And they'll see something like this, and they'll want to they'll want to twist it in something that you no know, they think is clever. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> they just have to share the planet with these nutcases. <laughs> the internet uh, gives them a platform where they can uh, view their stupidity day and night, seven days a week, twenty four hours a day. So that's why they have the delete button there. I'm going to get some AI on this system here that I have, and I'm going to use that AI to eliminate all those whack jobs and those uh, lids. <laughs> Take care, Mike. Next station was uh, KB8. Come on in. Kilo, Bravo 8, Echo, Quebec, Quebec, 8148. Larry in Salem, how are you today, Dave? Hey, we're doing good, Larry. What's happening in your world? Yeah, I'm sitting here listening to the wind and the rain. Uh, it's been blowing since, uh, I don't know, maybe 2 o'clock in the morning. So that's kind of depressing. Go ahead. Yeah, unless you're sleeping. I like to sleep. Boy, I love to sleep when it's raining. But uh, and I don't mind Mondays. I don't mind rain on Mondays either. I used to. When I was working, you know, uh, a rainy Monday was... As any other day, I'd rather have it sunny on on the weekend and rain on Monday and Tuesday. I could live with that too, because I can't go anywhere fun anyway. Larry, take care. It'll be over soon. Yeah, QSL. Well, it's needed. You know, uh, this makes a better summer. KBADQQ seven three for now. Oh yeah, talk to any Californian; they'll tell you about rain. <laughs> take care. Station K1, how about your full call name and location? Okay, uh, this is K1, uh, ZYU, Victor Yankee United, uh, Ron here in Westbrook, uh, 10176. 
And copy in the net fine. Uh, should I continue or uh, did you just want that initially? Oh, it's nice of you to ask, Ron. Uh, no, I got it copied. It all pretty well. You got a little bit RF on your audio this morning, Ron. Are you doing something different? Uh, does this sound better? Does this sound better, Dave? Uh, yeah, I think it cleared up. It's a short transmission, Bo. Go ahead and make another transmission. We'll keep listening. Okay. Uh, yep, uh, RF in the shack. That uh, seems like it comes back and bites you when you at least expect it there. Anyway, uh, uh, that sounds great. And uh, I was I, I was trying to get on earlier, but I, I had company. But I'm looking for my buddy there, uh, WA1KPD Mobile. And I wonder if you have heard him on your uh, uh, session here. And if so, uh, maybe I can connect with him and we can move our frequency back to you. Well, I have not heard him. We've had two mobiles in here. One was uh, KB3KSB, and uh, the other one was uh, N2ZEA. But go ahead and call your station, see if he can hear you. Okay. If not, I'll uh, have to rely on, uh, on the Internet to try to connect with him, and then we can get on. So, Carl, you in there, WA1KCD Mobile, on your way home, uh, K1VYU. Are you there, Carl? No, nope, don't hear him. So, he's either uh, having some lunch or uh, busy in traffic. So, uh, that's it for me, Dave. Uh, and that sounds great. Uh, I'll be listening. I listen often. And uh, uh, it is sort of a relaxing day. Uh, everyone seems to be having some good conversation here and passing on a few extra uh, bits of knowledge and activity there. So, uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, carry on and uh, 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 hold everybody there on the net there. Ron here in Westford, Connecticut. Uh, back to you if you want BYU. Okay, Ron, very fine. Here's your, I tuned you in about 150 cycles low. So I'm thinking maybe you're using a, an older radio, but at 150 cycles low, you're sounding pretty good. Here's what you sound like here in King George. I'll uh, have to rely on uh, on the internet to try to connect with them, and then we can get on. So, Carl, are you in there? WA1 KPD Mobile on your way home. Uh, K1 ZYU. Are you there, Carl? Yeah. Uh, sure enough, I'm using an old FT 101B. Yeah, okay, and that's that's par for the course. They're usually about 100, 150 low, but otherwise sounding pretty good here. All right, take care. Have a good week. Thank you. You too. Next on the list, uh, K3, TZJ. Come on in. Yeah, W3GWF, K3TZJ. First, I better make sure you're copying me. I'm only running 5-1. We're 5 one there. Uh, go ahead. I copy you. You're light, but we got you. Go ahead. Okay. This is the first time I've uh, used this on low power on 5 watts. It's a uh, military backpack radio, uh, an HF radio made by Datron, uh, and it's uh, T1099 Alpha. So we're on 5 watts at the moment, battery power, uh, but we're feeding a uh, virtual outside, so that might help. Anyway, uh, you're doing really well in here and do a central PA. We're here for CPA. E card 30303. Uh, go ahead. Alrighty, you took a little fade there at the end, but uh, hey, you're getting through with five watts, not bad at all. 73, and thanks for checking into ours. This is station WA3GIN, Jen like the liquor, operator Dave here, and uh, we're listening for any station. Kilo Bravo 3, Alpha November 2, Romeo. Hotel Julia, Kilo. Alpha Charlie 1, Delta Romeo. Alrighty, I had a KB station, an N2 uh, station, and an AC station. Let's get the KB. A uh, full call name and location. KB3 Oscar Romeo Alpha. KB3 Oscar Romeo Alpha, what's going on? Well, woke up to the news about the Key Bridge being gone. Uh, I live in the Baltimore area, and that is all that's covering the local news here. Uh, that's a major route, and it's going to affect a lot of people for a long time. 
Yeah, I think there's something like 12 million people cross that bridge every year, 12.1. Uh, so you can do the math, quite a lot of cars. That luckily, there weren't any uh, significant amount of traffic on there last night. I was watching the video. and I'm sorry, we doubled? No, I was just saying that uh, I go over that bridge probably, you know, four, five, six times a month. I have friends that live in Pasadena just on the other side of the bridge. And uh, yeah, it's going to cause a lot of problems, not only up and down the coast, but locally here. We're trying to divert traffic and such over. Mm -hmm. Sure. How long is their new, uh, how long will the new ride take you? Oh, probably got to add, oh, probably good uh, 30, 45 minutes or more, depending on the time of day. Uh, our local beltway, 695, is not good on any day. And now with the added traffic of people trying to get around the bridge, um, it's going to be even worse. Over. Yeah, I suspect they're going to, a lot of the heavy haulers will be moving west. They'll be taking 81 and, and just, you know, bypassing that area before they cut back over to get to New England. We carry a lot of traffic uh, coming up and down 95. The key bridge is a main part of uh, 695 and 95. So the concern here is all the hazardous materials that travel up and down 95. Now they're going to have to find ways to get through the city to carry their traffic or go around the beltway again, adding to the traffic and the concerns. Over. Right. Well, 895 is not that far away. <clears throat> so, the 895 bridge over by Fort McHenry will probably pick up most of that traffic, I would think, and uh, up to Pulaski for the industrial park up there. So, it's, it's not a, it's it's not good. It's definitely not good, but it's also not the end world either hate to see any portal like any uh any kind of uh major route like that get taken away but they're lucky but frankly they they're pretty lucky they what they really have to do i guess next now is uh open up the uh you gotta open up the harbor so they're gonna they're i can imagine that their first uh after the initial investigation their first Duty call is going to be to open up a channel through that mess. Anyhow, we'll all find out because I'm sure CNN will be blasting it away 24 hours a day for the next two weeks. Thanks for joining us. Carrie. Take care, too. Kilo Oscar 3. Kilo Oscar 3. Ralph. No, oh, she can't say my own call sign here. KB3ORA. I'm gone. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Uh, nice to have you in here today and come on back. Station with the N2 in the call. You're next. Station with the N2. N2, HJK, Paul in Raleigh, North Carolina. E car is number 21035. Hey, how you doing, Paul? Uh, Paul, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm testing out a new radio and new software that's um, trying to learn it. I'm on a, um open uh, HP SDR, which is a Hermes. It's a 5-watt uh, SDR, uh, similar to the Anons, and uh, it's feeding an amplifier, so I'm putting out about 100 watts, 130 watts on peaks. Just curious, I've got pure signal turned on. I'd like uh, an audio radio check, please. And it looks like my spectrum is pretty well contained, but uh, thanks for picking me up. Back to you, N2HJK. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, the pan adapter here on the Apache Lab 7000 uh, says that your signal is clean. Nice railroad tracks there, so pure signal is uh, doing its job on the transmit uh, bandwidth. Uh, it, it, that's not going to ever change how you sound, but it will certainly change how how you're heard <laughs> by adjacent signals. It's a it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. When you have a clean signal like that, people tend to move in.
closer to you. And their signals, especially analog signals, are not going to be as clean. And uh, so you're going to have to contend with them. They're not going to. They're not going to have to contend with you. So it's a. It's sort of a, a double-edged sword there. Audio sounds okay. I, I wouldn't say it's uh, SDR grade yet, but I'm sure you're working through all of that as you uh, as you get from familiar with the features and the adjustments and the tweaks and everything. Here's how you sound down in the northern neck of Virginia this morning at a 2.7 received bandwidth. So the audio radio check, please. And it looks like my spectrum is pretty well contained, but uh, thanks for picking me up. Back to you, N2HK. There you go. Okay, I've got some work to do. I've got a relatively inexpensive USB mic right now. I've got a studio mic that I have to hook up. Uh, I'm just happy to be able to get the signal out. I had a couple of settings in Thetis, which is the software, that were a little confusing, and I was getting no audio. But uh, at least now I'm getting audio out. Next thing is get some fidelity. Thanks for picking me up. You have a great day. This is N2HJ. All right. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. How far are you away from that USB mic? I'm about a foot and a half, 18 inches. Yeah, that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem. Get in there till you're only maybe three or four inches away, and I'll, I'll bet things change dramatically. Yeah, Roger, the band is fading on me right now. You're fading in and out, but uh, thanks for the comeback. I'm about uh, uh, eight inches away right now, so thank you. N2HJK. Okay, good enough. Yeah, it didn't make a difference. You got to get rid of some of that uh, reverberation that was coming in. And you picked up a little bit of low frequency response, which it also uh, needed. So you're in the right, you're headed in the right direction. Take care and uh, come on back. Always uh, people here that can help. Uh, that was Paul in 2HJK. Next, AC1DR. Yeah, Roger, Roger, AC1DR. Uh, good, uh, good. Well, I guess it's still morning. Good morning. Uh, we have uh, 43 degrees in central Vermont. And uh, we're starting to lose a little snow. Still about a foot. Hey, Vent, uh, back to you. All righty, thank you. Uh, uh, what was the name there in Vermont? Steve, Steve. Okay, Steve. Nice to have you in here this morning. Signal. And uh, the band's a little quirky. Uh, some QSB for some people some of the time. Uh you're doing good, though, I must say that. And so the other station before you was working on his homebrew SDR. He was also 5.9 plus 5 uh, with 100 watts. That's pretty good. What's going on up in Vermont, Steve? Got you finished with the white stuff yet? No, we uh, still have about a foot of snow at my house, and we're starting to lose it, though. It's above freezing, and uh, we're starting to lose it, though. Uh, so uh, I guess in a couple of weeks we'll have the snow gone. Uh, but uh, skier is still going full bore. Uh, any event, thanks for picking me up. You're four seven, four seven. A little light to me today. Okay, all righty, very fine. Well, thanks for joining us, and have a great week. Seven three. All righty, East Cars Radio on fifty five. Whiskey Alpha three Golf India November W A three G I N listening any station. Go Sierra Mobile. Kilo Delta 2, Sierra, Sierra. Kilo Bravo 1, Hotel Romeo, Lima. All right, I got a KD2, Sugar, Sugar. I got a KB1, HRL. Who is the station with November in the beginning? Echo Sierra, Mobile. Okay, Mobile in there. Let's get the mobile first. What's the mobile's call name and location? Whiskey Alpha One, Alpha Echo Sierra. Ernie here, uh, up in Connecticut. We got 45 and overcast. How you doing? All right, very fine, Ernie. Yeah, we're doing good here. Nice to hear you this morning. Where are you headed? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, got some traffic on the highway. Going to the accountants today. See how much money we owe the IRS. <laughs> Pain no matter what, over. I hear you. I hear you. I took care of that already. Thank you so much for joining us. Drive safe. 
Roger, Roger. Hey, thanks for being there. Have a great day. Seven three. All righty, good deal. The station with I think November six. Yeah, November six. Echo Charlie the uh, Mike Lake Wiley, South Carolina. Uh, Danger five nine here uh, this morning. Uh, very nice signal. Good audio. And uh, wonder uh, if you have any comments on the audio from this end. We're doing a little bit of uh, adjustment. What would you like me to look at? Uh, clarity and or distortion. Uh, it's an HW101. I've got uh, a processor ahead. And uh, I, I think it was on the verge of maybe over driving the input of the radio. But I, I turned down the mic level on the radio, so uh, hopefully we're, we're, we're in the clear. Okay. Um, all right. What processor are you running? It is a GPX 286S. It's got uh, uh, compression section, uh, bass, and uh, higher end enhanced if you need it, and uh, gating, which we certainly don't need. Okie dokie. Well, conservation and moderation is the secret to uh, clarity. I'm listening to you best about 90 hertz lower in frequency, and uh, I would still rely on your ALC meter for how hard to drive the front end. So keep your mic gain, uh, set your mic gain vanilla, set it up vanilla, and uh, make sure it never gets beyond half half scale of the ALC range. Keep it within half scale. Then uh, you can throw your com audio compressor in there. I guess that's an audio. I used to, golly, decades and decades and decades ago when DBX first got started, I used one of their uh, devices. Uh, we used to use them to enhance the recordings. We would compress on the recording and then expand on the playback. And you could you could use that function uh, basically uh, as a noise gate, and it worked pretty well. But um, that's that uh, that 286 you have is uh, is gone way beyond just uh, the simple enhancement for uh, magnetic tape uh, enhancing. So, but that's what I would do. Just keep it keep the, all those features down to uh, to very moderate input because you're really not going to hear it especially on the one on the on the on the heath kit you're just not going to hear the difference that much but you will hear any additional distortion you will hear that here's the playback for you uh, listening at uh, 2.7 kilohertz bandwidth uh clarity and or distortion um it's an HW101. I've got uh, a processor ahead of it, and uh, I, I think it was on the verge of maybe overdriving the input of the radio, but I've, I've turned down the mic level on the radio, so uh, hopefully we're, we're, we're in the clear. You can, you can see where I was starting to move down frequency to pull in the, uh, the center part of your transmit. So... Not bad, not bad at all. I would say that uh, you were probably overdriving the finals there, so my guess is the ALC found it. And that will push you into RF compression, which will also give you some distortion products as well. Anyhow, you're going to have fun tweaking all that stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to back up to you. Uh,
a good deal. I don't know if there's an I.O. group for the Heathkit stuff or not. There probably is. Uh, there's certainly, uh, there's, you know, that's a common issue for many of the tube radios. And uh, some, some folks have come up with solutions that were pretty good. But after a long transmission, things warm up. As the temperature starts to change, frequency is going to shift a little bit. Then you go to listening mode. Things cool down. Moves in the other direction. So that's that's pretty par for the course. Uh, but uh, I, these I/O groups are very very helpful, and I highly recommend them to anybody, whether you're on an Apache Labs or you're on a Halicrafters SR2000 or you're on uh, Eastkit. Um, you know, more eyes on the problem uh, comes up with more interesting solutions. Uh, enjoy. And check in with us again, and we'll see uh, how things progress. Appreciate it. Okay, you have a good one. N6 ECI. Okie dokie. East Coast Radio, it is now 57 minutes after the hour of 11 on a Tuesday for all you retirees, uh, March the 26th. This is station WA3GIN. Operator Dave here. We're standing by for any other stations. Whiskey White, Bravo Echo, Romeo Lima. Sugar, sugar. All right, KD2, sugar, sugar, come on in. Yeah, good morning. A wonderful day. Bands are kind of crappy, but that's okay. Yeah, I was copying the mail. Just thought I'd call in and check in. And, uh, my e-cars number is 20409, and I'm located in uh, Hudson Valley, 70 miles north of New York City. Name here is Dennis, and uh, back to you. Have a great day. Hey, Dennis. Thank you for being here today. Anything special happening for you? No, this is one of my quiet days, thank goodness. I'm retired, so it was good that you told me it was Tuesday, so I'm up on that. And, uh, no, not much today. Just... Uh, Sitting here copying the mail. All righty, good deal. Well, thanks for joining us. Appreciate your check-in. And speaking about check-ins, uh, how about KB1HRL? You're next. Oh, good morning. Uh, oh, good afternoon. <laughs> Thank you, Pick. Dave, this is Tom up here in Massachusetts. Uh, kind of cloudy today. and Looks like the sun wants to burst out, but it hasn't yet up here in Central Mass. Over. Yeah, you're getting some of that weather we had a couple of days ago. It's coming. It's headed your way, buddy. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Have a good week. You too, Dave. Seven threes. Fifty-nine minutes after the hour, WA3GIN will take a few more. K3 YFX. Alrighty, K3 YFX. Good morning. Well, uh, good morning. I've just been, I'm a new ham, new at this. Uh, just been in the dial and, uh, had it on to you guys, just been copying the mail. So how's your morning going? I can't complain. Can't complain at all. What's the name there, Tom, and the location? Uh, first name's Eric Echo Romeo, Echo Romeo India Charlie. I'm in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, which is 60, 75 miles east of Pittsburgh. East, okay. Good to know. Good Pennsylvania people up there. Eric, you're doing good. Welcome to Amateur Radio. This is the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. We call it East Cars. You can Google us, uh, ECARS7255. Put that in the search bar and it'll bring you to our homepage and then you can see what we're all about. Basically, uh, a friendly place to stop. As you're tuning around, we're here seven days a week from 8 in the morning till about 1.30 in the afternoon. Net control operators usually have a one-hour shift, and the shift changes at the top of the hour, like right now. And a uh, friendly bunch of guys in here, really smart. we will get some really smart characters on here as well. So great for technical questions and uh you know, some capabilities. One of the fellows here has a live stream of the uh, of the network, so people can go back and play the video and and look at their signal on the pan adapter of an SDR radio and also listen to their signal. So that's a very helpful test tool. 
and that comes at no extra charge. Um, so that's a little bit about it. And uh, you got a good signal, so whatever you did there to build your station for 40 meters, you did a pretty good job because we're hearing you. And today is not one of the best days, uh, 40 meters. So uh, I'd say you, you did good. Well, I appreciate that. I'm just running a Yezu FTDX10 at 100. Um, I've got a Yezu M90D desk mic and a... Uh, on his UR6QW 8-band equalizers? Well, you certainly don't need that with that FT10. That, that radio is uh, SDR radio. You can't really improve on that much. But, uh, hey, you're coming through. Yeah, I had it uh, set up. I had a Yezu FT840, which I need to go over. It's got a receive issue. And, uh, yeah, I'm on a 124-foot NFED. Well, that's working for you. That part's doing good. All right, I'm going to do the shift change here, and uh, you're welcome to check in with the next net control and take care and have a great week. How's that? Uh, 73s, you have yourself a good week, and it's good talking to you. K3, YFX. All righty, glad to have you in here. So that's it for me, boys and girls. We uh, will look forward to hearing you all again Saturday at 11 and Sunday at 11, or next Tuesday at 11. This is WA3GIN. Be well, eat well, and be nice. You, gotta, you know, it's always good. Always. You can never be wrong. Just take the high road. We'll catch you all later. Your new net control is going to be George, W3GWM. At least we hope so, and uh, so uh, we'll see. In the meantime, uh, until next time, 73. This is WA3GIN. Over to you, George. Yeah, I don't think George is going to be there. I'm going to fill in, Dave. WA3GIN, WA2SES, but I did hold it for a second. I didn't hear George. Did you hear him respond? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> well, couldn't ha hey, I'm happy that you're picking it up. Yeah, no problem. I'm in the uh, schedule in the book here. Um, evidently, George this week still got a problem, so I'm assuming he's okay. I haven't heard. Uh, I just saw, I assume you see the back channel. Jeff just bailed. He evidently has a family emergency. Hope things are good there. Uh, but um, anything else, or I'll take it for the next hour here. It's all yours. We're good to go. Uh, 73. And thank you so much for uh, jumping in. I know we all appreciate when we get uh, our uh, substitutes pop in and help out. 73. 73, Dave. Great signal, by the way. 20 overs. Times are peaking over that. And I guess the band isn't too great, but uh, you're always booming up here to northern New Jersey. All right. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo Sierra. My name's Dave. Uh, located in a little town called Kinelon, New Jersey, about 25 miles west of New York City or so. And uh, I'll be your net controller for the next hour. So here at the top of the hour, can I just check for any mobiles or priority traffic? Any mobiles or priority traffic, please call now. Oh, you were stronger before. I should have written it down. Uh, Whiskey Alpha 1, and I didn't get the rest of that. I know you're in there. I'll see if we can pull you out a little bit. Uh, good afternoon. Okay, I got the Southern Maine. Is it maybe it's Julia Papa Delta? No, that didn't work either. I'm sure we've worked before. What's I'm missing the the suffix there? It's uh, something Papa Delta. What was the other letter? Yeah, there we go. I'm sure WA one K. Uh, PD. There we go, Carl. All right. I knew we'd worked before, and uh, I just uh, didn't pull it through initially. But uh, good, good, good mobile signal. You're about to, you know, I'll say Q4, but uh, no problem. I'm probably getting 90% of it. I just uh, missed that one letter there. Uh, into northern New Jersey. Over. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you got to get to the 
<laughs> yeah, the snow on the ground. I'm sure you didn't have that in D.C. since we don't have it here. Yeah, very good. Uh, the safe travels back to home there. And I uh, understand that story. We did that at the beginning of March. Uh, had it up actually from the Florida area. Stopping in Georgia to see our daughter and son of long gang. And then uh, we had it back up into here with uh, no snow. And knock on wood, we really haven't had any much trace. So I understand our property at Adirondacks that got put this past weekend. So <laughs> we'll be visiting that soon, though, hopefully. Uh, you came up to a 5.9 there, a little up and down QSB, but uh, good copy that time, Carl. Anything else we can do for you? All right, well, an hour and a half, you still got a chance to get another net controller there. So uh, actually, uh, Jeff won't be able to... If you're reading the mail, Jeff won't be there, but Tim will be there. K3JTA will be on at uh, 1 o'clock. So. Very good. Uh, if nothing else, I'm going to move on there and see who else needs help, Carl. Uh, no, I guess Carl's good. All right. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control. Looking for more mobiles or priority traffic? Nothing heard, any QRP stations. Okay, nothing heard. Let's start a list. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control. Looking for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Kilo Charlie 2, India Kilo. Echo, Sierra Mobile. Okay, India Kilo, hang on. I got you. The Echo Sierra Mobile, good morning, or good afternoon, sorry. WA1 AES Mobile up here in Connecticut. Name is Ernie. We got 49 and overcast. How you doing? Very good, Ernie. Yeah, good, good signal. You're 5859 five, here into northern New Jersey. So good signal from Connecticut with the mobile. No problem copying. Whereabouts in Connecticut are you? Yeah, leaving uh, Shelton. Leaving Shelton going up to the home QTH in Naugatuck. Yeah, not a bad day. Sort of a funny band today. Hey, thanks for picking me up. You have a good day down there. Yeah, it's interesting. Definitely tell your mobile up and down, but uh, <clears throat> great signal at the end there again, 5-9. And we know where Shelton is. No problem with that. My uh, son and daughter-in-law live in uh, Bethel, so we, we know somewhat of Connecticut. Not a lot of it, but the eastern side a little bit. Um, but you have a great day. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll lose my voice here. And I hope to catch you again. Thanks for checking in the mobile. Um, in fact, I don't know if we worked before. I wanted to take a quick peek before I turn this thing over. Um, hang on. AES. Yeah, I guess we have worked not too long ago, Ernie. So but back in October. So I just checking on that to make sure. You have a great day and uh, sounds good there with the mobile. All right, we'll be clear with uh, Ernie. And next in the list is Kilo Charlie Two India Kilo. Kilo Charlie Two India Kilo. Member number is two one two zero one. That's two one two zero one. The name is Paul Papa Alpha United Lima. I'm located in Catskill, New York. Yeah, very good, Paul. Good signal from Catskills. Uh, basically know where that is. Actually, our daughter, Lori, who I just mentioned, actually came from Poughkeepsie. Her and my son met in college up in New York State there. Uh, good signal, a good 5-9 plus into northern New Jersey this morning. Over. Yeah, we're not far from Poughkeepsie. We're about 120 miles north of New York City along the Hudson River. Yeah, Roger, I uh, understand. And a nice, nice area along the Hudson there. Been up it through with a boat and uh, drive up the freeway a bunch. I'll have to say that. We have property up in the Adirondacks. Anything we can do for you this morning, Paul? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that's about it. Yeah, we just spend uh, a lot of time up in the Adirondacks as well with an RV. So back to net, KC2IK. Very good, Paul. Well, that's what we actually keep on our property, though it's here with us now yet, but uh, we have a fifth wheel we go touring around the country with. You have a great day. I appreciate checking in and saying hello, and I look forward to chatting with you again. That's Kilo Charlie 1, India Kilo. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control. Looking for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now.
Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar, November. Hey, Don, Whiskey 3, Delta Oscar, November. Good afternoon. I was typing some, so you're obviously Q5. I didn't really pay 10 signals straight, uh, but uh, good signal. Hey, Roger, Roger, you're topping out about 20 over S9 down here in Manchester. So, uh, hey, we got the sun shining. Looks like it's going to be another nice day. So, uh, can't really complain about the weather. So, uh, anyway, I heard you calling for check in there. Thought we'd say hello. E car's number here is 30 triple deuce for life. Back to you. Yeah, very good, Don. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been an interesting warm spring, and I guess relatively warm winter. We weren't here for all of it, but, uh, uh, we can't complain, and the city is out starting to bloom, which to me is two to three weeks early, and whatever. So we'll take it, <laughs> and we'll take. Of course, you're going to take whatever Mother Nature gives you, but we're definitely enjoying the better weather she's giving us. Anything else we can do for you, Don? Yeah, not a whole lot. Uh, I think we're going up to about uh, 55 today, so uh, ought to be a pretty nice day. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like we're in the 50s and 60s uh, all week long till next Monday. So it uh, looks like Wednesday we can get a little bit of rain, but it's supposed to be 53. So uh, Saturday, 59. Uh, Sunday, 60. So all right, temperatures don't look too bad. <laughs> anyway, carry on. We'll catch up with you later. Have fun. Thanks. Yeah, you too, Don. Appreciate you filling in and doing the, the net control stuff as you do. Uh, that's W3DON. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control. Looking for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars on 7255. Looking for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Kilowatt 2, United Foxtrot Hotel. Hello to United Foxtrot Hotel. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. <clears throat> I was just tuning around and heard you uh, heard you calling for check-in. Name here is John, Juliet Oscar Hotel, November, located in the northwestern part of New Jersey. And uh, not too much not too much going on here. Just a nice, clear, chilly day. Well, a little overcast, but. Uh, but at least we don't have any rain. I think that's coming. But uh, just thought I'd say hi. Back to the uh, back to the group. Yeah, yeah, very good, John. K2UFHWA2SES. So I got a couple questions. Name here is Dave, by the way, and we're located in Kinelon, New Jersey. So I consider myself part of the northwestern part of the state. You're uh, 20 plus, so you're obviously quite local. I'd be curious to know where you're located up here. Over. Yeah, Dave, uh, copy that. Um, I'm actually uh, in the town of Vernon. Um, we're, pro we're pretty close. We're probably 20, 25 miles away. Uh, I'm running about 90 watts barefoot um, from a FTDX10 uh, into a uh, G5RV, about 25 feet above the ground. Nothing special here. Um, grew up in Bergen County, which is also close to you. And moved up here about uh, 20, 25 years ago. Back to you, Dave. Control about two, United Foxtrot Hotel. Dave, yeah, very good. Job. Did you say you're in Vernon? I, I'm not sure I caught the, the uh, town. Uh, yes, I'm actually in Vernon um, with a Sussex mailing address, uh, which is indeed accurate uh, on QRZ. Yeah, okay, just, just was curious, yeah. Uh, I understand that all too well. My brother-in-law lives in Wantage with a Sussing mailing address, so. And we won't go there because I live in Killon and our post office is at, is at a butler and, and don't ask all the confusion that causes, that's for sure. Well, this is East Cars. Are you familiar with East Cars? There was a little uh, QS Baker. Uh, try that again, Dave. 
Yeah, uh, this is a East Coast Amateur Radio Service Net. I didn't know. I was curious if you knew about this net. Over. No, I didn't. I was just um, just threw on the radio, checking the bands, and uh, I noticed ten was open pretty good, and um, slid onto forty, and heard you calling for check-ins, and uh, figured I'd say hi. So uh, greetings to everyone that can hear me on the East Coast Net. Um, back to net control. Yeah, very good. Yeah, we're uh, a little net to, uh, from 7.30 to 1.30, Monday through Friday, and from 8 to 1.30, basically, on weekends, uh, built back in the 60s, really for mobile support, um, a.k.a. way before cell phones, et cetera, and uh, help out mobile assistance. And so we're not really a rag to net, but uh, that's what it's all about. You can always look us up, and uh, members, non-members, welcome to check in. So good signal from Vernon. And, yeah, we're not too far apart, depending where you are in Vernon. I know that area fairly well. Grew up in West Milford, so kind of know the general area fairly well. Uh, anything else we do for you, John, before I look for more check-ins? No, not at all. Everyone have a great day, and uh, have uh, have a better one tomorrow. And uh, I'll be listening for a while. Kilowatt 2, United Fox Shot Hotel. We'll be listening. Yeah, very good, John. KCUF. HWA 2 SDS. You have a great day. Appreciate you checking in. Nice to meet your acquaintance. All right. This is Whiskey Alpha 2 Sierra Echo Sierra Net Control for East Cars. Look for check ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra, net control for East Cars on 7255. Look for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars on 7255. Look for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. November 1, Foxtrot, go November. Hello, Leroy, N1, yeah, N1 FGM, yeah. WA2SES. How are you on this beautiful day? I am doing very fine, Arrow Dave. It is a beautiful day up here in West Southfield, Connecticut. It's a little bit overcast. No sun shining, but it's still nice, and it's 49 degrees, and you're a 5'7", over. I oh, appreciate that. Yeah, you're about 5'9", plus 10 or so. No problem at all copying today. And, yeah, we're sitting with the same cloudy weather. I didn't really see what the temperature was. I forgot to look. And oh, I just want to show me the S&P index versus temperature right now. Uh, but um, it's in the upper 40s, I'm sure. And I uh, can't complain about it. I was doing a few things yesterday in the yard. I'll probably do a few more after this. A little more cleanup, and as we get ready for spring, over. Uh, Roger that, Dave. Yeah, you jumped up to a 5'9 plus on that one there. No problem there, Dave. You have a good day, and thanks for freaking me up, buddy. N1 FTN, we'll be clear. WA2SES. Very good there. I appreciate checking in, as always, and uh, look forward to catching you again. And uh, always good to hear from there. Uh, voice uh, jump in here. All right. Well, this is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control. Looking for more check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Whiskey Alpha 2, Delta. Whiskey Alpha 2, Delta. I'm not sure if somebody has tried to check in. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey three, Romeo, Papa Alpha. 
Okay, I got Whiskey 3, Romeo, Papa, Alpha. Was there another station? Whiskey 5, 2 Delta. Uh, there's one more that's kind of weak. Let's, let's pick up the uh, Whiskey 3, Romeo, Papa, Alpha, then I'll try the other station again. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dave. I've been listening here for a few minutes. Uh, name here is Bruce. We're in uh, central Pennsylvania, just outside of State College, where the main campus of Penn State University is. Uh, just put up a new uh, MFED dipole yesterday and uh, scanned it in this morning, so we're giving it a try. I'm trying to get a feel for uh, what the radiation pattern on this thing is. I hear you very well. Uh, heard another station t from New Jersey. Uh, both of you were 5 by 9 this morning. Uh, anyway, that's a uh, story here. Uh, again, the name is Bruce. Uh, the call is Whiskey 3, Romeo, Papa, Alpha. Yeah, very good, Bruce. W3RPA from WA2SES. Well, you're 5'9 five nine plus, 5'9 five nine plus here. No problem copying you. Uh, coming in there from, uh, by Penn State. Know where that is? Been to Penn State. Uh, actually, I'm business, I could say. Um, probably the only time I was there. My daughter, I think she did, maybe did apply, but we didn't take her out there. I remember that. So, any case, uh, nice area of the country. And, uh, like I say, good signal, so, uh, the antenna's doing well. I don't know how much power you're running. Uh, we have a dipole up at about 50 feet, and we're running about 350 watts, uh, generally in your direction, over. Yeah, very good. Uh, we have a real high noise floor here this morning for some reason. Uh, I just turned the radio on after uh, taking the analyzer off, and uh, boy, I was surprised at how noisy it is. But you're coming through just fine. Um, yeah, I, I'm, again, I'm curious to see what the radiation pattern on this one is. Uh, it replaced a uh, off-center fed dipole that didn't fit the property very well, uh, didn't tune very well, but this one uh, seems to be uh, spot on right across uh, 10 through 80 meters. So, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased, but again, I'm trying to, very interested to see what the radiation pattern is. Yeah, did you say this was an N-Fed? I forgot. I know you just said the, the uh, off-center Fed didn't work for you. Is this an N-Fed? Yeah, the, the N-Fed that I, or the, I'm sorry, the off-center Fed dipole that I had previously, uh, the center point was over the house, but only by about 10 feet. And that put it about 25 feet above the ground, uh, which was too low. And being above the house, that wasn't right. It was just a poor choice on my part. Nothing wrong with the antenna. It was a poor choice on my part. So now the, uh, the end fed, uh, is free and in the clear. It's about 30 feet up, uh, between the chimney and, uh, a, uh, uh, big pine tree in the backyard. So, uh, again, we scanned it and, uh, it, it dropped in on each, each of the bands, uh, just perfectly. So it's from my antennas and, uh, it, the build quality is excellent. And, uh, so far we'll see, but, uh, uh again, the, uh, radiation pattern is, uh, an unknown. So I'm going to have to take some contacts to figure that one out. Yeah, very good there, Bruce. Well, it's doing well. You're, it was very steady, 5.9 five, nine, five, nine plus there, so no problem at all. It's working well. I was just curious. I actually just made it uh, off-center fed to uh, try up my place in the Adirondacks, and um, I have a G5, uh, G5 RV, which I always take down for the winter, and it, it just aesthetically, I know the wife would like some wires hit, hit a little more, even though she's a licensed radio lady, but... Um, I got it, and uh, I said, ah, you know, an off-center fed would actually work quite well here, so I'm going to try it, Just, but I like experimenting with antennas, so that's what I was curious. Anything else we could do for you this morning, uh, this afternoon, Bruce? No, that's it. I don't want to tie up your net here. Uh, I'll listen for a while and see uh, what other contacts you make. Uh, again, uh, I don't know if it's the uh, sunspot activity that we have, but, uh, boy, the noise floor is high this morning. Wow. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe it'll clear up. We'll see. Anyway, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure. Good contact. Nice talking with you. Uh, look forward to catching up with you again. So 73 is to you. Uh, and again, we'll turn it back over to you. This is Whiskey 3, Romeo Papa Alpha. Yeah. Yeah, very good.
very good, Bruce. W three R P A I W A two S E S. So just so you know, you went between five nine and, and ten over that time. So uh, conditions are a little rough, from what I understand. Um, that kind of reported from the when I picked up the net at noon time. Uh, Dave, uh, as I was saying, it was conditions that I do notice the noise for me is about an S5, which is very high compared to normal. So you have a great day, and let me move on. There was another station. Let's see if uh, this band has shifted a little bit, and I can pick you up a little better now. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control, Free Scars. Look for check-ins. You are echoing small whiskey. November Bravo Delta. Okay, I got November Bravo Delta. Before that, I think there was an 8, maybe Sierra Whiskey or something. Uh, Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Whiskey. Ah, Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Whiskey. Okay, we got you. All right, let's take these two because conditions are up and down somewhat. Uh, so let's see, the November Bravo Delta. Good morning. Good morning. This is Kilo Charlie 1, November Bravo Delta. Scott in Belchertown, Massachusetts. The car's number 10509. I've got 45 degrees gray skies. It's not too bad out there. You're coming in a solid 10 GB over 5.9 here in the Massachusetts. Go ahead. Yeah, very good, Scott. Um, and my apologies for saying morning, it's actually afternoon, so I'll wake up. Uh, yeah, you got a great signal in northern New Jersey. You're about 20 over 9. Between the 10 and 20 over 9 here. So no problem with the, the signal strength coming through at all. And uh, a good signal there uh, from Massachusetts. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, you just have good luck making more contacts. I just turned on the radio first time today. You're talking about conditions. I, I haven't experienced it yet. But uh, good luck and take it easy. See ya. Yeah, thanks, Scott. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, like I say, Dave. They, GIM was commenting and kids were good and I know the floor is about S5 which is high for me but it's always fun always fun to do this and uh, get people to check in and try to help them out with see the signal reports as new antennas or whatever you have a great day and I uh, look forward to chatting with you again there Scott alright next on the list was Kilo Echo 8 uh, Kilo Whiskey good afternoon uh, good afternoon to you and thanks for checking me out um, first of all what are you uh, yeah, I wasn't paying total attention, Ken, but I think you were pretty close. Uh, I'll get, take a better check here in a minute. I'll try the RIT, but go ahead. I think we doubled to the beginning of that, um, but uh, yeah, you're you're making in with no problem. And as far as being on frequency, I think you're pretty close. Um, you said I think you said Old College, you were fixing up there. It uh, sounds pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't have any audio recording capability to play it back, but you definitely got enough signal strength. You would have heard it uh, uh, with some good clarity. Over. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if you and I have ever worked in that. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, George is supposed to be here at this time slot. Um, I'm not sure what's up with George. In fact, I tried to ask Dave, and he didn't answer that question. Um, uh, George hasn't been on in a week or so. I don't know if he had antenna issues with that wind and snow came through or uh, or what. Well, hopefully, it's not health issues. Uh, but the name here is Dave, Delta Alpha Victor Easy Dave. Call Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo Sierra. Okay, little town called Kinelon in New Jersey here in Northwestern. We're 20, 25 miles west of New York City here. And uh, we worked less than what I have anyway uh, back in May of 2023. So uh, it's all say 10 months ago roughly, or a little, a little less than 10 months ago. I was probably running uh, net control then there. Uh, and you were probably, you were running mobile at the time. So uh, I, you know, who knows where you were, but... Uh, I see it in here. I got Intervale on New Hampshire, and you said the northern part. I don't recognize that, so it must be fairly north of um, Manchester, which is about as far north into uh, New Hampshire that I know about. Over. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm up uh, about 50 miles from the uh, Canada border, up uh, north of, uh, of Mount Washington. Um, I've been absent from e for the past month or so because of some radio issues. I do work a lot of mobile. Uh, but at any rate, 
settling around with this uh, with this last line a few days ago, and it looks like I, I accidentally stumbled on getting it to work. I'll let you get back to doing that. Thanks a lot. 73, 88, paid up. Yeah, no problem, Ken. Well, that's what we're here for, to help out. So, uh, yeah, it, it's good you got it working. And, uh, uh, yeah, actually, I guess you contacted somebody, K-A-R-F-I, at the time, too. So, just look at my notes from back then. But, uh, sounds good, and uh, no problem copying you today. So, we'll update, say we've uh, had a more recent contact here. And look forward to chatting with you again. Over. Okay, 73, yeah, have fun. 73, you have a great day. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars. Look for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Kilo 2, Zulu, Victor Lima. K2ZVL, WA2SES. Hey, good afternoon, Dave. Uh, how you doing? Good, Van. Uh, you must be uh, hanging home right now. Nope, I'm still in Oradell for right now. I'm going home to uh, watch the eclipse from up there, so I'll be up there by the 8th. Uh, but I'm still down in Oradell right now. Yeah, that's what I meant by that. <laughs> Just that the, the strength is so strong, I assume you're in Oradell and not upstate. Yeah, I heard we talked to our neighbors the other day, and they said, uh, well, they just say, I think Terry was talking to Lee, I think 12, 16 inches of snow, something like that. Yeah, we got eight in Indian Lake, but they got more down south of us. So I know the Albany area got about uh, over a foot. So yeah, yeah, probably a day in that area, they probably got around the same. Yeah. She said it was a pile of snow, and she says, I was done with winter. But I said, well, we'll be up in another. We're probably, we're trying to go up for the eclipse. I assume you might be there for that, too. Yeah, I'm headed up for that, so um, I'll be up there for that. I don't know. Uh, it depends on how much snow is left up there, but uh, I may stay. I may come back. Well, I don't know yet. Yeah, okay, well, I, I'm assuming in another two weeks that it's going to be gone, but we'll check and see what's happening next week. I think it's supposed to be relatively warm, but uh, that's our plan. So whether we stay at our place or um, we head over to Vermont, though I don't know if I want to deal with all the traffic, but I may try to sneak over early. I have a friend that lives up uh, in the Brandon Middlebury area, so uh, we may try to sneak up there, which would be a little bit darker over. Yeah, I copy that. Uh, yeah, the traffic's going to be a nightmare up around that area. Probably there's going to be a lot of people there. I was uh, I was thinking about uh, the Saranac Lake Airport, which is just a little north of me. Uh, that's where we keep that 185 in the winter, and uh, I bet that's going to be inundated with people flying in there. But we'll have to see. A uh, good area. We'll catch you again, Dave K2 ZV. I'll take her. Very good, man. Appreciate you checking and saying hello. It's been a while, so good to hear you. And uh, maybe we'll. Uh, we're at the mobile running around up there one of these days. All right, that's Van, K2ZVL, running out of Oradell, New Jersey right now. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control. Looking for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. November 1, Golf Foxtrot Mike. November 1, Golf Foxtrot Mike. Good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, Dave. November 1, Golf Foxtrot Mike. Name is Gary, located here in northwest Connecticut, little town called Winstead. Today we got 47 degrees overcast. Not too bad of a day, I guess. They, it was supposed to be uh, drizzly and colder, but uh, I think they got that one wrong. Or maybe it's coming later, I don't know. But anyway, you got a, you got a great signal up this way, uh, almost 20 over. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just said hi, Gary. Um, yeah, you're about the same. You're a nice 20 over there today from Winston. Nice signal, no problem, and very steady over. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I got a pretty good shot down towards your way in uh, Maryland and, uh, you know, New Jersey, Cape May down that way. So uh, the antenna's kind of yeah, the side of the G5RV is uh, looking at you pretty much. So anyway, just wanted to check in. I'm just waiting for my pizza to get done in the toaster oven, and I'm going to have some lunch. So back to you. Oh, that sounds good. Lunch come at 1 o'clock or thereabouts when we uh, change shifts. Of course, the wife, I said, saw some in notes. says, I got a doctor appointment at 1.30, so, or I doctor appointment. So I don't know what. So I guess she's leaving me. I'll be on my own. Oh, well, that's such the life of a bachelor. All right. We'll t uh, chat with you later there, Gary. Good to talk to you and enjoy that pizza. N1 GFM WA2 SES. Looking for check ins for East Cars. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Yeah, Delta 2, a Whiskey Alpha Mike. KD2, WAM, good afternoon. 
Good afternoon. Uh, I just wanted to know. Uh, I I don't I don't know if I talked to you before about your call. Uh, what's your call? Hey, Bob. The call here is Whiskey Alpha Two Sierra Echo Sierra. Name here is Dave, and we're located at twenty twenty five miles west of New York City in northern New Jersey. Over. Did you say it was Alpha Sierra Alpha? The call is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo Sierra, Sugar Easy Sugar. Over. All right, Dave. Well, thank you for letting me check in. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, very good there, Bob. You're up in Auburn, New York, correct? Roger, where are you working with QTH, Dave? Uh, my QTH little town called Kinnelon, New Jersey. But I was just checking, your QTH, you're up in Auburn, New York. You're in Auburn, New York. Is that correct? Over? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm up in Auburn, New York. That's correct. And uh, 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 something's nice in uh, 40, 50, 51 already. Oh, my God. It's getting nice out there. Oh, there you go. Well, I say you got a nice 5 9 signal here into northern New Jersey today. So I just wanted to make sure you had moved and uh, a good signal since we talked. Uh, uh, last time we talked was in uh, August, uh, August of 2023 there, Bob. Over. Okay, Dave. Uh, we'll catch you later. And, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say 73 there, too. Thank you for letting me check in. 73 there, Bob. You have a great day. Appreciate you checking in. That's Kilo Delta 2 Whiskey Alpha Mike. All right, this is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars. Look for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars on 7255, looking for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. This is Kilo Delta 2, Oscar Hotel India. Kilo Delta 2, Oscar Hotel India, good afternoon. Bob, well, you got a great signal. Whoops, did I hit? No, I didn't. Um, you nice five nine plus ten before I forget. Well, I'm getting to play radio here for uh, an hour is what I've been doing. Of course, I went food shopping uh, this morning for the wife and I. I was like, yeah, I think we need a few things. So ran out and did that. And this afternoon, since it's, uh, it's going to be in the low 50s, I think, or upper 40s, it's going to be somewhere in that range. And no rain, so we're going to go out and pick up some more sticks and do a little more yard cleanup. Uh, uh, as spring is hopefully coming here, uh, things are starting to uh, look a little bit more colorful around here with some of the uh, uh, facetia turning yellow and flowers starting to pop up and things like that. Over. Roger that. On spring, I'm looking forward to it myself. As far as the yard cleanup, I schedule it. I'm a little too old to be getting over all that much. But uh, we still enjoy life. We still have good times. Uh, other than that, I'm going to cut it short, and uh, you have a good day. This is KD2, OHI, 73 days. Very good, Bob. Well, you have a great day, and a good signal, I'd say. Nice 10 over there uh, from Fairport, so enjoy it. All right, we'll be clear, Bob. KD2, OHI, this is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control. Look for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Whiskey 2, Bravo Oscar Charlie. That's Whiskey 2, Bravo Oscar Charlie. Yeah, Whiskey 2, Bravo. Yeah, Oscar Charlie. I'll get it right. Good um, afternoon. I don't think we've worked before. I don't believe so either because I'm usually not on this early during the day. 
Uh, however, I've been sitting here working on an SDR radio that I'm trying to get going, and I've uh, been sitting here listening to you folks on the SDR while I was working on that, and decided that I'd turn on the big rig and uh, get in here and say hello, and, and just kind of let folks know that uh, we're here and listening and enjoying whatever you're talking about. Okay, very good. So, since we haven't worked before, my name is Dave, Delta Alpha Victor Easy, a little town called Kinelon, New Jersey, and uh, so we're a little 20 miles to west of New York City. Uh, so what's your name and location there? Well, my name is Jeff, Juliet Echo Foxtrot Foxtrot. I'm located in Syracuse, New York, actually in a place called Solvay, S-O-L-V-A-Y. It's just uh, about a mile and a half from the center of the city of Syracuse, and uh, we're kind of nestled in here as a little village. Uh, quite a... Uh, uh, a uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> quite a quite a town for quite a while. It had hosted Allied Chemical and several other companies here, but uh, those have since gone by the wayside, and other companies have taken over. But uh, we're also the home of the New York State Fair. That is true. <laughs> and I don't want you to be reading the mail, so I'm probably up in the Adirondacks. But I also, when I was working, now retired, um, used to visit and uh, work out of our uh, place in Binghamton, New York, which originally was Johnson City before we had the flood. Um, and now it's actually Endicott, I guess, technically. But that area. So I, I know somewhat of that general area. Plus, I had a son that went out to um, RIT. Um, which means he went past Syracuse, but that's okay. Uh, so we know the general area of New York where you are. you got a great signal, by the way. You're uh, between 20 and 30 over 9 here, over. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, we're running a, a IC-718 uh, into a... Uh uh, yeah, an Ameritron 811H, uh, which is into a, uh, uh, MFJ, Mighty Fine Junk, uh, 962D transfer, uh, tuner, and, uh, putting it out on a G5 RV, and it, uh, seems to work real well. It's doing very well. I, I understand some of those. The tuner and the uh, amplifier match. Uh, however, I'm using a Kenwood, in this case, 590SG, and I have a dipole I'm running right now, though I do have a G5 RV floating in the yard here. Um, and I used to run one upstate, but I'm going to, for fun, uh, try a 80-meter uh, off-center fed uh, and just see how well that works upstate for fun. But I'll keep my G5 RV around in case I don't like the way it works, because I do think... Uh, I have to say that G5 RV is pretty versatile. So, well, you're doing a great job. That's what I say. Anything else we can do for you, Jeff? No, I just, uh, like I said, I just thought I'd stop in here and say hello and, uh, you know, kind of visit and go from there. Uh, I appreciate your being here, and uh, thanks for running the net for, for George. I, I've never talked to George either, so, uh, but uh, you guys sounded interesting, so I figured I'd stick my nose in. Yeah, very good. Well, we have a lot of fun, and uh, I like say I don't. Uh, George would normally be up and running, but uh, I think he had antenna issues. So I'm hoping that's what it is. He had that last year; he ran into a problem with it. So we'll see what happens here. But uh, I'm going to move on and pick up uh, others, unless you need something there, Jeff. Over. No, sir. I'm good. Thank you very much. I appreciate the signal report. Uh, you're doing about a five nine up here. I have no problem whatsoever. Your audio is great, and everything seems to be going really good. I appreciate that. You have a great day and look forward to chatting with you again. Check in again. I, I fill in as a, a, a substitute net controller scattered all over. Last week I did three shifts, I think. This week I got, well, maybe it was the week before. Uh, you know what happens when you get old, you forget. In any case, because I ended up working last week. So almost two weeks ago I got to do three. I probably couldn't do anything last week. I ended up, uh, I am retired, but they they want me back still once in a while. Last week was one of them. All right. We'll be clear <laughs> with Jeff. And let's uh, pick up a few more check-ins, like another 15 minutes or so. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control. Looking for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Whiskey Alpha 3, Charlie, Whiskey Alpha. Whiskey Alpha 3, Charlie, Whiskey Alpha 3. Okay, I believe there's two of you in there. Uh, I'm not sure I got enough out of any of the calls. I think one of the cars had, calls had Charlie India in it. Am I correct? Charlie Whiskey Alpha. Okay, we got the Charlie Whiskey Alpha. What was the other station trying to check in? Well, they went away. 
a Charlie Whiskey Alpha. Good. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I'm so used to running morning shifts. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Thanks for taking my check-in. The full call here is Whiskey Alpha 3, Charlie Whiskey Alpha. My name is Bill, Bravo India, Lima, Lima, and I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So we've got a few rain showers here, uh, scattered rain showers throughout the day here, and the temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. Over. Yeah, very good, Bill. WA3CWA from WA2SES. I think this is the first we've ever worked, so I'm filling in a couple pieces of information here quickly on my little lot. And uh, nice to make your acquaintance. You're about 5758Q5, no problem copying, over. All right, very good. Thanks for the nice second report. You're about the same here in Pittsburgh. Uh, just running an ICOM uh, IC7300 here with 100 watts for homemade dipole. And uh, this is a new rig for me. Just got it last month. So I'm still getting used to all the bells and whistles and the buttons. <laughs> And, uh, what goes on here with all this stuff here? Constantly having to uh, refer to the book but here to uh, pick up some, uh, some new tricks for this. Uh, over. Yeah, very good. That is true with the new ones. I happen to pick up a uh, little Icom 705, and it's amazing what all the things that it'll do with the menus and stuff. And I also have a, a the new Yazoo FT991 that I use in the RV. Uh, I kind of went with that one because I wanted the shack in the box so I could run my 2 meter 440 and, and still work the HF bands. And boy, a lot of stuff to these uh, new radios with all the computer control stuff versus the old uh, uh, spin a dial and push a lot of buttons. So, But it's amazing what they will do. And uh, yours sounds good and the audio sounds good. Over. All right. Very good. Well, thanks for the nice report and compliments on the audio. We'll uh, let you run along here and take uh, some other changes. So, uh, Oh, by the way, my East Coast number is uh, 30708. Do that. Okay, very good, Billy. I didn't have that in here, so I was going to look it up later to see if it uh, popped in, but since you uh, gave it to me, we'll just add it right in here. So thank you very much. You have a great day, and I uh, look forward to chatting with you again soon. All right, this is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars. Look for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Kilo 2, November. Papa, November. Yeah, K2, oops, oops, oops. K2, November, Papa, November. How you doing, Phil? Oh, can't complain. Still ticket anyway. <laughs> You're sounding good there, Dave. You're 20 over. Beautiful signal up here in Marcy, New York. You're hitting my antenna really hard. <laughs> it's uh, real good. Not much else going on. Our snow is uh, it's melting, but it's only not even halfway there. We had about you know, about 13 or 14 feet of snow here a couple of days ago, but I'm glad it's going again. So uh, <clears throat> I think spring is sprung, and then it got back at us and dumped a whole bunch of snow on top of us, but uh, so far so good. Not much doing, I just wanted to say hello and let you go get some more, uh, and you're always uh, booming into my antenna, so uh, thanks for doing what you're doing, Dave, and we'll catch you later. This is K2NPN in Marcy, New York, 7-3, and we'll turn it back to you, Dave. Yeah, very good. So, well, you got a great signal, just like last time. You're uh, uh, between 15 Teen and 20 over 9, so no problem at all copying. And you're Roger on the snow. If you're reading the mail, you heard my wife was talking to our neighbors upstate there at day in New York. And uh, <laughs> actually, I think it was like the day after it hit that uh, she was talking to Leah. And Leah was saying the same thing. Here I thought spring was coming and we got dumped with all this snow. So I just told her to get rid of it because I wanted to be up at her place for uh, the uh, um, eclipse here in a little while. So we'll see. But uh, good to hear you, Phil, and the great signal and audio is always so. If you're only running that 70 watts, so boy, it really comes bombing through down here to uh, put a great signal. All right, that's uh, Phil, K2NPN. We'll be clear with Phil, and we're looking for more check-ins. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra. This is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars. 
Seven two five five. Look for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere? Please call now. Whiskey Delta Two. We move Whiskey Yankee X-ray. Okay, I got the Whiskey Yankee X-ray. There was another station. Whiskey Delta Two, Lima Victor. Okay, Whiskey Delta Two, Lima Victor. I think. Let me get my hand running straight now. Uh, so let's go back to the top. Whiskey Yankee X-ray. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Whiskey Bravo Eight, Whiskey Yankee X-ray. The econ number is eighty-two eighty-nine for white. We got uh, rainy, chilly rain here. Pretty chilly and uncomfortable. Other than that, uh, we're doing okay. The uh, signals aren't the best on the band. There's probably all this crazy weather and conditions. How are you today, sir? Go back to you. Yeah, very good job. Uh, yeah, conditions have been up and down. I, I actually have done quite well. I can't complain. Uh, I know Dave G.I.N. was commenting conditions aren't good. The noise floor is high, about an S5 for me, which is high. Um, but, um, I, you know, I've managed to work a fair number of signals, and uh, we keep moving right along. So uh, uh, we've been relatively busy for the hour, so all is good. So uh, this is our first, I think, we've worked, though, from what I can see. So uh, nice to make your acquaintance. Over. Roger, roger. If you're wondering, uh, we're using our backup break here, which is a DAG-991. Normally, I'm on the uh, TS-890, but uh, I fire this rig up once more well just to make sure it works. Put it off of a homemade dipole for the ladder line. All right, sure. Have a good one. God bless, and hopefully you'll have a good, better day next day or whatever. Uh, this weather, I don't know, but it was beautiful for a while, but now it's switched around. Have a good day. God bless. WBWA. Yeah, very good job. I positive. We did work recently. I don't know why it didn't pop in right away, but when I moved south, it changed, so and it showed up. So, um, and once I saw the Struthers, Ohio, I'm like, oh, I think I've worked that area before. But uh, in any case, good signal, and uh, good to chat with you again. And you have a great day. Yeah, we have a partly cloudy day today. It's bright enough out, but it's not no sun. But it's okay. We'll take it. And we don't really need some moisture. We could uh, pass on some water for now. We got plenty. We'll take some later on if Mother, Na Mother Nature will be nice about it. All right, we'll be clear with Joe, and let's pick up uh, Whiskey Delta Two Lima Victor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dave. You're coming at five nine. I'm I'm located in Stockholm, New Jersey, not too far from you. Oh, yeah, I would say you're quite close uh, in Stockholm. Um, in fact, I was just up at Lake Tamarack, so I'll tell you how often I travel in your area. Over. Roger, yeah, my uh, Lake Stockholm, right off of uh, First Entrance to the Sussex County, off of Route 23. Oh, I know exactly where you are. Actually, I was just over Hollow Mountain Road on Friday night. We came from the fish fry at the church, over to our friends in, in, that live in White Rock. And on Sunday, we were up in Tamarack with our old, visiting our old neighbors there. Go ahead. Roger, well, you just passed right by my house. Down. I'm uh, in uh, Nestle, right in Lake Stockholm. Uh, the community of Lake Stockholm, nice community. Been up here for about uh, three, four years. Then I moved from uh, Pompton Lake to Pompton Lake there as well. Uh, very good. What's the name? My name is Lee, Lima Echo Echo, Lima Echo Echo. Uh, very good, Lee. Well, welcome to the area. I grew up in West Milford, so I kind of know that whole area. And I'm uh, a little older these days, so. <laughs> uh, but we had moved, uh, as I told my wife, as far east as I could ever live. Uh, 30 some years ago and raised kids here or whatever, but, um, and just because it was easy for us to go to work, both of us, we kind of, this is kind of the, the reason we moved to Kittle on, but, uh, good signal. I didn't even pay attention to the, uh, uh, signal strength because I was, uh, adding a few things. This is the first I think we've ever worked. And, um, I was just adding something to the lock here. So, uh, welcome to East Cars. Uh, have you checked in here before? This would be my first time. I've been listening for a little bit. Okay, so uh, East Guard, then you know, was set up in the 60s for uh, um, mobile operator support, if you really will. And then um, it was, you know, things have morphed since then a little bit, but uh, not really in the rag to nap, but we kind of help out others check out antennas, do whatever, do check-ins. And uh, we'd start March along, and every hour we try to switch uh, net control operators. So uh, in another five minutes... Um, 
Actually, I think Tim will be on uh, filling in for Jeff, who's normally on. <clears throat> and I'm doing a fill-in for George. Since I travel enough. I don't normally take a, a normal shift, but uh, but uh, good signal. And uh, I say welcome to the area. Yeah, I, it's been uh, 40 years or so ago that I lived up in Stockholm, in, in, like, in the Stockholm Township or Stockholm City, whatever you want to call it. Um, when I lived in Lake Tamarack, so it's been a long time, but, um, like I said, I know the area, and we were, we surrounded you, that's for sure, uh, over this past weekend. Go ahead. Roger that. Yeah, we love it up here. My wife is very happy up here. Like I said, we moved from, uh, Pompton Lakes. I'm originally from the city, but we've been in New Jersey for about a good, uh, I would say about 12 years now. We love it. It's a nice change. Very good. Anything else we can do for you before I move on? See if I get a couple more uh, contacts before the change of shifts. No, thanks for picking me up, David. And seventy uh, three. We'll talk again. WD two LV Whiskey Delta two Lima Victor. Yeah, very good, Lee. And uh, maybe we'll catch on the VHF for something one of these days. Running around local here. Uh, it's Whiskey Delta two Lima Victor. This is Whiskey Alpha two Sierra Echo Sierra Net Control. Look for check ins. Anyone anywhere? Please call now. Mike Romeo Uniform. Mike Romeo Uniform, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, hello, Charlie. Mike Romeo Uniform. My name is Delbert at Delta Echo Bravo Echo Romeo Tango. They're located in Elmira, New York. Echo Romeo. They got a key. Delta Echo. GX2 that I was just testing out. How's it sound? It's sounding very good there from Elmira. You're a 59 plus 10, and the audio sounds good down here in northern New Jersey. Name here is Dave Delta Alpha Victor Easy. Over. Roger that, Dave. I check in once in a while, but there's usually quite a gap. I might check in here at the start. I've been doing it for a few years, but only here and there. But, uh... I heard that about Tanner. I've been here since you uh, took over the portion of the net. And I just figured after a little bit, I sat here messing with some of the controls on it, and I thought I'd check and check out. Over. Yeah, it's doing very well. And uh, another two minutes, do another check and get another report here uh, as Tim comes on board. But uh, a good signal from Elmira. Um, I say, no problem with the audio from my perspective, and uh, good signal strength. Considering conditions are uh, up and down today, over. Uh, yeah, I've been here, I've been here to go up and down. I bought the foot at the ham uh, a little while back. Didn't have this point. I ordered a actually from that point. Uh, they still do in the box, so I bought that, put it on it, just figured I'd check it out. Yeah, it's working great. Um, all right, anything else, or I'll make a last call before we uh, switch it over to uh, uh, Tim. Nope, that's it. That's everything. I ought to tell you I'm getting a five right here. It's a little over as well, so I thought I, I forgot to get you a, a signal report as well. Anyway, I'll turn things back over to you, Dave. You have a good day, and thanks for giving the, the radio check. Okay, do them or you up very good. You have a great day, and uh, check in again with us. Good to hear you. All right, this is Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars. Look for check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Whiskey Alpha 2, Sierra Echo, Sierra Net Control for East Cars. Looking for check ins. Anyone, anywhere, please call now. Yellow 2, Quebec, Whiskey, Quebec. K2, QWQ, good um, afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. I checked into the net earlier, but I'm doing some antenna work. And where are you located and what's your uh, signal over? Yeah, hey, Doug, you're 5'9". I, I, I tried to look back quick when you said it as I was just typing a few things. Um, let me Give me a quick chatter and I'll, I'll uh, give you a better signal report. I'm located in uh, northern Jersey, a little town called Kinlon, uh, here west of New York City. Over. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. We're doing, we're doing ground waves then. <laughs> I'm in the middle of Burlington County down to your south. 
Wow, the noise is tremendous. What, what you said, ground waves? So I, I missed it. Would you say you were in Butler? No, I, Burlington County, Burlington County, down in the Pinelands, Burlington County, over. Yeah, Burlington Township. Okay, got that. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So we're doing a, it's an up and down. It sounds like would be my guess. Um, and yeah, we chatted best in uh, last in October here, um, but. Uh, yeah, you're five nine. Um, no problem copying. There's just noise levels come up tremendously all of a sudden. It was running five five, but it's like five seven to five eight. So I don't know what just happened. But uh, anything else we can do for you, Doug? Uh, maybe that's uh, leftover from the uh, solar magnetic storm. The band has been horrible for the past couple of days, so that may, may be a, a residual effect of the, uh, the the K index was up to sixty seven uh, yesterday. It's pretty horrendous. So. Oh, I, I really have nothing else. Maybe you scare up somebody else out there. But yeah, the band noise level is uh, is pretty terrible. But that is the way it goes sometimes. So seven three, and I'll be a listing out as I putter around the shack. Very good, Doug. Yeah, I say you get uh, another report here in a minute from another uh, uh, next controller if you'd like. But a uh, good chat with you again. All right, that was Tim, uh, K2QWQ, or but uh, that was Doug, K2QWU. Tim, I see you're uh, hanging around. Uh, you, uh, you copy me at all? Uh, K3JTA, WA2SES. Hi, Dave. Uh, Kilo 3 Julia Tango Alpha. Yes, your uh, single is very strong down this way. Um, you are 10 over, 20 over at times. Appreciate that. Yeah, you're uh, definitely about 10 over 9. So uh, I want to thank everybody who checked in with me. And uh, everybody have a great day and a safe day. And uh, Tim is your uh, new net controller. So over to you, Tim. K3JTA, WA2SES. All right. Uh, thanks, Dave. Hey, how many uh, check-ins did you have? All right. I do the old pencil and transfer. So let me see. What do you <laughs> I'm going to say roughly 30. I'll let you know in a minute. Okay, sounds good. Um, and then the mobile, uh, I'll put that out on Slack for you. Yeah, I'll put it up on Slack. That's what I'd say. You'll see it on Slack here in a minute. I'll count out. I think I was two mobiles, no QRPs, and I'll have to count them out exactly how many of the others. But I uh, uh, went from Ohio to Maine to trying to think of further south, really pensy. So that's as far as that's kind of the area we covered and the noise levels come up so have fun appreciate you stepping in for Jeff hopefully he's okay or family members okay whatever I saw the emergency thing uh, come out so we'll catch you later K3 JTA WA 2 SES all right Dave that sounds good 73 uh, hey by the way I want to say you do a great job with the net control I really enjoy listening to you all right uh, welcome to uh, today's one o'clock session of the East Coast Amateur Radio Service. This is Kilo 3, Juliet Tango Alpha, Net Control Station. My name is Tim, and my eCars lifetime membership is 30764. I'm at my home station in eastern York, Pennsylvania, a mile west of the Susquehanna River. Stations with a scheduled contact or urgent traffic, please call now. Any relays. E-Cars is a directed net, so all calls go through the net control. The membership in E-Cars is not required to check in, and any properly licensed amateur is encouraged to participate. If you'd like to join E-Cars or renew your membership, please refer to the website www.ecars7255.com. This net operates on 7.255 MHz, Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., and on weekends, 8 o'clock to about 1.30. And today we will have uh, the usual um, hard stop at 1.30. This is uh, Net Control K3JTA. We operate from a list of check-ins, so if you don't get in on a list, try to check in on the next list. We'll give a list in first for mobile, portable, or QRP stations. State your full call sign one time with phonetics and space them out. Go ahead. Okay. 
Okay, I hear a, a WA1 uh, in there. I didn't catch the rest of it. You're very, uh, you're down there in my noise level, which is an S1, by the way, today. Uh, do you want to give it a try? All right, I think I copy Whiskey Alpha 1, Kilo Papa Delta. Roger. Okay, copy the fast, the fast main. And um, are you mobile or QRP? All right, um, very good. I have you in the log here today, and um, uh, like I said, the signal is really way down there, and it's probably just, uh, you know, the propagation, but um, very good. Uh, can you give me your name? All right, Carl, I got you, and uh, I see you already here on the, in the log, so thank you for checking in today. And uh, we'll uh, look for your check-in another time, 73. Okay, any other mobiles, QRP, or portable stations? All right, we're going to open it to general check-ins. Please use your full call sign one time with phonetics and space them out. Kilo Echo 1, November Alpha. Kilo Echo 8, you are with me. All right, I have a November Alpha and a Kilo Echo 8 station. Anyone else? November Romeo 1, Oscar Alpha. Oh, got, got you there, Oscar Alpha. Very good, let's go with these three. Uh, Kilo Delta 1 November Alpha, go ahead. Uh, Roger, this is Kilowatt Delta 1 November Alpha, located in Groveland, Massachusetts, uh, about 30 miles north of Boston. I copy net control uh, quite well, 5 by 8. Uh, running, uh, uh, running a little bit of power here, I probably should increase this. There, it's a little bit better. Maybe you have thought, uh, maybe you can copy better. Name is Dave, Delta Alpha Victor Echo. I do have an e-card number, but I don't know what it is. You probably can look it up on your uh, computer. Um, back to that, this is KD1 and A. Okay, good afternoon, Dave. Uh, copying you at a 5-3 on my 7300. Uh, Thanks for uh, checking in. Um, what kind of antenna are you using? Over? I'm using a dipole. I'm using a dipole. Not a very good one either, but it it does work. Uh, over? Okay. Uh, you must have put some power on because you're a 5.5 five now and, and much louder. All right. Very good. Well, thanks for checking in today. Uh, can I do anything else for you? No, that's it. Uh, a little later on this year, I'm going to need to see if I can find a couple of friends of mine to help repair my uh, log periodic. Uh, but that's nothing you can do for me right now. Waiting for the weather to get better before we start climbing up on the roof. So, anyway, thanks a lot. Have a good net. This is kd one na Okay, thanks, Dave. Uh, you, your signal was peaking at a 5-6 that time, so good job on your signal. All right, Kilo Echo 8, I believe it was Zulu Whiskey. Go ahead. Oh, okay, the call here is Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Whiskey. Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Whiskey. You are a little bit light, uh, about an F6. Um, name here is Ken, Kilo Echo November, 8376 is my e-card number, located in northern New Hampshire, and giving a test run uh, to uh, Collins F1. Just got it on the air. You're my second contact, over. All 
right, very good. Copying you a 5-5 five, five here, 10 and 100% copy, over. Yeah, okay, unfortunately, you, uh, QFB got you, you're down uh, in, in the bottom of my noise level. I'll talk to you again, thank you very much, 73, K-E-A-K-W. All right, Ken, have a good rest of the afternoon, 73. Okay, this is Kilo 3, Juliet Tango Alpha. There was another call in there, Oscar Alpha, go ahead. Yes, thank you, Kilo 3, Juliet Tango Alpha, this is... November Romeo 1, Oscar Alpha. Name here is George. I'm in Oxford, Connecticut. All right, very good. Wow, yeah, great signal coming up here, 20 over. Uh, what are you running and what's your power in your antenna? Okay, yeah, I just, I took a break to make sure you were hearing me okay. I am running a uh, Yaesu FT-DX10 that I've had for, I guess, about a year, year and a half now. Great little radio. I'm running, and my antenna, and I run 100 watts, and my antenna is a G5RV up in the trees at about 35 feet. And this thing works better than I ever could have expected because it is in the woods. It's not out in the open. I live in a, a, a restricted area. But... uh Seems to be working pretty good. I'm hearing you at a, a plus 10 also. So thank you for letting me in there. Um, and have a great day. This is NR 108. All right. Very good, George. Wow. You had a great signal coming in here to South Central Pennsylvania. And uh, you have a good afternoon as well. All right. Uh, this is Kilo 3 Juliet Tango Alpha looking for check-in. Number eight, Juliet. Tango Alpha. This is Whiskey One, Bravo, Echo. Like Romeo Uniform. Okay, I copied a uh, November eight station, a Whiskey One station, and then there was a double with the next two. Uh, try it again. November eight, Juliet. This is Luke C1, Bravo, Echo Charlie. Uh, all right, I believe I got it now. Um, the uh, November 8th, I believe you said Whiskey Juliet. We'll fix that in a moment. And uh, Whiskey 1, Baker, Echo Charlie, I got you there. All right, uh, go ahead, the uh, November 8th, Whiskey Juliet. Oh, thanks very much for the... Uh, uh, I call back. Uh, call is November 8th, Yankee Juliet, and 8YJ, and this is Don in Canfield, Ohio. And you're coming in here about a 5-5. Five five. I realize the conditions are are pretty terrible today. <laughs> but uh, I do have a foot firm copy on you there. I wonder how you're copying me there. Uh, this is an 8YJ. Yeah, I got you coming in here also, 5-5, five, five. Uh, about 100% copy and uh, good and loud. Um, thank you for checking in from Canfield. Uh, uh, can I do anything else for you? Uh, no, just wanted to let you know I'm running uh, uh, Barefoot uh, Direct TR4 here. I did some adjustments over the weekend, and I just wanted to make sure it was still getting out and getting out properly, uh, so I guess I am. <laughs> uh, it's hard to test a rig when there's these kind of conditions. I heard you uh, run an IC7300 there. I'm thinking about getting that rig uh, as a, a birthday present here. <laughs> uh, so uh, it sounds good, uh, just not uh, all that strong of signals uh, from your area. I, I, I didn't get your name. Uh, could you give me your name there? Yeah, Roger. The name here is Tim Tango in New Mexico, and I'm located between York and Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Over. Got it, Tim. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, I'll say, say my 73s. I know you have a short shift there, and uh, we'll let you get on with the net. Thanks for the pickup, uh, 73s. Tenny YJ. Okay, sounds good there, Don. Thank you for checking in with that Drake equipment. Um, when uh, when I just first started out with ham radio back in 1976, 
Um, my buddy up the street I was fortunate to have a Drake station. It was actually just a novice station, and I'm trying to remember what the actual unit uh, model numbers were. Um, I want to say, uh, boy, N, Drake N1, I'm not sure. I need to look that up. He and I are still in contact. We text each other frequently, so I'll have to ask him what that is. Jog my memory a bit. And then um, uh, when he uh, went above uh, the novice, um, his parents bought him a transceiver from Drake. So, uh, and that, you know, back then that was new stuff. All right. Well, thank you, Don. Anything else? Uh, no, I uh, appreciate the pickup there. Uh, yeah, I, when I was a young ham in the 60s, six, <laughs> um, I always looked up to the, the Drake equipment as something that I couldn't afford, but I'd sure like to have. And I picked this thing up secondhand uh, last December. It was still operating, and it's, uh, it's working quite well. I just need some uh, tweaking here and there, but uh, still running after. I think this thing was built in 1970, September of 1970. So 24 years, <laughs> or no, 54 years. Sorry, can't do my math. Uh, so it's still it's still working. Sorry, Freeze, and you have a great day there, Tim. Any YJ. All right, sounds good, uh, Don. I don't know if you can hear me laughing over here, but um, I thought I'd be clever and uh, go to a search for Drake, and it came up the uh, the singer. You know, <laughs> Drake Radio came up with that singer. All right, well, uh, thank you, Don. You have a great day, and uh, I look forward to talking with you again. Uh, Whiskey Baker 1, I'm sorry, uh, Whiskey 1, Bravo, Echo, Charlie, go ahead. Uh, yes, the uh, reason I'm on the line today and calling, because I know you're in Pennsylvania, and I'm out here on the Massachusetts Rhode Island border, and we've had flood out here, and I understand the rain is coming again, and we still haven't exceeded very much. Is it raining where you are? No, it's not raining. Uh, the clouds have been changing. Uh, they're getting a little darker, uh, but the sun is still coming through, and um, it's about 50 degrees here over. Well, it's, it's in the low 40s here, but we're due for a lot of rain this weekend, and the reason I ask that is, again, we're at flood stage out here, and I'm only like 100 yards from the river. And when it comes up into the road, I mean, it's scary. So that's why I'm asking if it's raining out there. No, there's no rain here, but we do have it in the forecast uh, for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, like you, we've had a lot of rain here recently, but... Uh, uh, the river does look pretty high, but it's not near uh, flood stage. Over. Yeah, we are at flood stage. It has gone down about eight inches, but still, you know, on the areas that we were walking in the woods by the river, it's all flooded out, and a lot of the animals come from the river. But uh, okay, I'm just curious how. Thank you. Over. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Bruce, you take care out there. Um, be careful and uh, uh, bring up the weather radar uh, on your smartphone and you can see what's what's coming your way. Uh, anything else? No, thank you. Thank Okay, we're clear with Whiskey One, Bravo, Echo, Charlie. This is Kilo Three Juliet Tango Alpha. I have time for a few more check-ins. Uh, say your call sign one time with phonetics and space them out, please. November two. Whiskey Three Delta Oscar November. All right, I heard someone ending with November. Go ahead. Whiskey 3, Delta, Oscar, November. Okay, I got you there. How you doing, Don? Hey, we're doing okay, Tim. How are things across the river at Accomack here? Uh, just fine. No problems. 
Um, yeah, I was just telling Bruce that we, you know, you can tell the river is high. Um, when it is high, it covers up the little islands and, you know, outcrops that are sticking out in the middle of the river. Um, uh, but uh, we're not, you know, it's not coming up over the banks or anything at all like that. Man, yeah, Roger, on that. Yeah, I spent enough time on that river over my lifetime to... Uh know when uh when to stay off of it there <laughs> uh i used to do a lot of boating on the river there years ago so uh don't do it anymore but uh anyway got too many health issues to keep us from doing that kind of stuff anymore but uh yeah i used to used to spend uh a lot of my free time on that river over the years so uh anyway uh yeah a little light sound in here this morning but uh or this afternoon, I should say. But uh, anyway, we got you in there and uh, seen you were on, so we thought we'd say hello. Yeah, good. The uh, the river is beautiful. Um, here, uh, it is a mile a mile wide and a foot deep. They say, you know that. Um, but uh, you know, I my daughter and I are very fortunate to be able to drive across that river uh so frequently and um every time we go through there I I say what a beautiful river and you know I think about that because when I've gone out west I I had the pleasure of going out two times by car uh to the west coast and um you know I remember those rivers that you cross you meet them and then you cross over them and while you're doing it you're amazed uh, you know, and so I know people who come past my QTH here and they, they uh, enter that bridge. Uh, they're doing the same thing if, if they're not from around here. And I'm sure they're really impressed. Back to you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I guess you've seen the uh, ship hit the Francis Scott T. Bridge down there in Baltimore and uh, knocked the bridge down and... Uh, I seen another article that said the uh, surf was coming up over the uh, road down about around Indian River Inlet. There, go ahead. Yeah, that's such a shame. Uh, I feel for the the families of those folks. Um, you know, and I hope the emergency responders are careful. Yeah, Roger, Roger on that. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, that's a busy bridge down there. I've been on that many times, but, uh, all right, man, hey, we'll let you carry on with it. I know you ain't got much time left, so we'll see, you. uh, and let you get a couple more there. So, hey, good to hear you, Tim. We'll catch up with you later. Uh, have a good one over there in Akamak. We'll catch you later. W3DON. All right, thank you, Don. And it was good to hear you last night on that gator net, uh, by the way, and, uh, yeah, we'll, my daughter and I will be crossing uh, down through there, but on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Uh, and uh, we're going to be having, we're going to be sharing a Sunday, Easter Sunday meal with some relatives who are down there in Cambridge, which is on the eastern shore of the bay. So, okay. Um, thank you, Don. I think I have uh, time for one or two more quick ones. This is... Kilo 3, Juliet, Tango Alpha. November 2, Zoo Golf November. Kilo, Charlie 1, Oscar, Victor, Romeo. All right, I hear uh, November 2, uh, Zulu Golf, Fox, and um, and KC1, OVR. Uh, go ahead, Jerry. Yeah, good afternoon, uh, Tim, Sam, 2 ZGN. I got a little power on there now. And uh, we're 52 right now. We've been up to 55, and the clouds are starting to uh, get a little thicker up here. So uh, we're going to get rain tonight and tomorrow. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. Are you in your car? Negative. Uh, I'm at home. Okay. Um, your signal is way down from what it usually is. You're usually 5'9 plus. And uh, you're 5'5 five five here, so I was just curious. Just propagation. Hey, thanks for checking in, Jerry, and I'll listen for you tomorrow. Yeah, Roger. Uh, it's uh, uh, looking at DRAP, and we're going to hit pretty good there. So have a great day, man. Too easy, Jim. 
Okay, will do. 73. And this will be my last check-in here. Kilo Charlie 1, Oscar Victor Romeo. Go ahead. Yes, this is Kilo Charlie 1, Oscar Victor Romeo, Dave in Southampton, Massachusetts. Uh, glad I made it in on your last call here and uh, just came in from walking the dog. It's about 48 degrees here in Massachusetts. A little overcast, but not too bad. It wasn't bad out there. And just came in. Uh, I played some radio. Over. Yeah, Roger. What is your radio, your antenna, and power? I have a 7300. I'm running 50 watts out to a G5 RV. Ah, very good. You 55 here, no problem. Um, I have the ICOM 7300. I have an Ameritron ALS 600, the solid state uh, uh, amplifier. My antenna is 130 feet long and fed. Over. Well, you're coming through loud and clear here. I got you at a solid 5.9. Five 5.9. Nine. Five nine. Over. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Well, it's, uh, I'm glad you're playing radio. This is uh, one of the best hobbies uh, ever. I agree. Uh, I just discovered it about three years ago and really enjoying it. I'll say 73s to you and have a great day. All right, Dave. Thank you for checking in and being my last uh, contact for uh, this session. Um, that's it for me for this half hour. It was a really good net. Uh, thank you for your check-ins and participation today. Uh, all a bunch of good guys checking in. I appreciate you all. Okay, so uh, please keep this frequency clear as the Central States Traffic Net shares our pass band starting at 1.30. So eCars will be back tomorrow at 7.30. And let's see who's coming in here. Uh, I think Bob is coming in here, as usual, at 7.30. Um, and uh, I was taking over covering for Jeff uh, for this uh, half hour. All right, 73, and uh, take care. This is Kilo 3, Juliet, Tango, Alpha, clear.
One, two, three.
is the frequency news whiskey two Romeo Juliet Oscar. CQ, 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 this is Whiskey 2, Romeo, Juliet, Oscar, calling CQ, standing by.
One, two, three, four, five. And three QBZ testing.
Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK for BK, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK for BK, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo from US 6909, CQ Poda. Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, K7, RL8. <laughs> K7 RL8, thank you so much for coming in. You are 5 and 9 in US 6909. I need 4 after you. All right, Eagle, you look up to be about 5'8 here at the GPH. Just got in from the platelet donation. 73. Thanks for being out there, and uh, thanks for giving blood. QRZ, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. KK4BK, CQ Poda. CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo from US 6909. Whiskey 4, Whiskey Tango Romeo, QSL. Tango, Whiskey Romeo, Whiskey Romeo. Whiskey 4, Tango, Whiskey Romeo, thanks Barry for getting me corrected. You're 5 and 9 in the U.S. 6909. Thank you for South Carolina. You're getting me one more closer to that uh, Kilo Award. Thank you so much. So you got me down to four, so uh, you helped a lot. Good. QRZ, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK for BK, call me CQ Poda. Hey, Brian, did you get Richard? Hey, before What's that, John? Richard was calling me on the other thing and said that he's coming over here. But anyway, I just want to check with you, buddy. You're doing good. Hang in there. You're almost there. Yep, yep, I got Richard. Uh, he came over to this frequency, and we just got his check. So, uh, yeah, I'm down to need four. Need four. So, and we had Terry H and T come out, so I'm happy about that. Yep, I've been, I've been listening the whole time, so I'm on my way home. So anyway, all right, buddy, I'll just keep counting, man. Go get him, buddy. QRZ, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK 4 BK, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo from US 6909, CQ Poda. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK 4 BK, CQ Poda. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK 4 BK, come CQ Poda. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo from US 6909. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK 4 BK, CQ Poda. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, from here, CQ CQ Poda. CQ Poda, 
CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo at US 6909, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KC4BK, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK4BK, CQ Pota. From US, I can zone on CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK4BK, CQ Pota. From US, I can zone on Air State Gateway. CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK 4 BK, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilowatt, Kilowatt 4, Bravo Kilowatt. And CQ Pota from Park Kilo, from US 690. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. CQ Pota from US 690. CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. November 4, Yankee, Delta, United. November 4, Yankee, Delta, United. Station Union, Union United. Yeah, November 4, Yankee, Delta, Uniform. November 4, Yankee, Delta, United. November 4, Yankee, Delta, United, Nate. Here are 5 and 5, 5 and 5 in the U.S. 6909 QSO. Yeah, Roger, you're 59 in North Carolina. Have fun. Thanks so much, Nate. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Take care. QRZ, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. KK4BK, come in CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. CQ Pota, CQ Pota. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo. KK4BK, CQ Pota. <laughs> CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo, KK4BK from US 6909, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo, KK4BK, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo, Kilo, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK 4 BK, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK 4 BK from Harris Lake, US 6909, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK 4 BK, CQ Pota. <laughs> CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, from Harris Lake, U.S. 6909, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK4BK, CQ Pota. CQ Pota, CQ Pota, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, from U.S. 6909, need three fellows to get the Kilo. CQ Pota.
CQ Pona, CQ Pona, Kilo Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. Kilo November 4, Romeo Yankee, and have you 5 and 5, 5 and 5 in the U.S. 6909, QSL. Five, five, Boy, you come up to a 5 9 there, so I'm going to switch you over. 5 and 9 in the U.S. 6909. Gary, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Kilo Z. Kilo, Kilo 4. Bravo, Kilo. CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo, Kilo 4. Bravo, Kilo. KK for BK. CQ Poda. <laughs> CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK for BK, CQ Poda. CQ, CQ, CQ. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo from Park US 6909. CQ Poda. <laughs> CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK 4BK, CQ Poda. CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK 4BK, CQ Poda. <laughs> CQ Pona, CQ Pona, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK for BK, CQ Pona. CQ Pona, CQ Pona, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK for BK, CQ Pona from US 6909, Harris Lake, St. Kingland, CQ Pona. <laughs> CQ Pona, CQ Pona, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo, KK for BK, CQ Pona. CQ Pona, CQ Pona, Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. CQ 
CQ Poda, CQ Poda. Kilo, Kilo 4, Bravo Kilo. KK4BK from Harris State Gameland, CQ Poda. K-A-8-Y-O-R.